the things happening. Okay, how can we fix this? Gex and the Kets were playing. This play. Fucking go! Let's oh fucking shit, go! did none of them have sounds? <laughs> I wonder how this is happening right now. Yeah, this is supposed to just be playing some loud music and it never did anything. It was broke the whole time. I fight money! What could I do to fix this? I have no idea. I can't stream with silent notifications. It's not even a real Tevin stream. Also, what the fuck happened to P fan stream? He died. He died. Well. It's an accidental, not even a stall. Bro, I could have been figuring this out. I had no idea. Opening for Enthus. Bullshit. W closing Enthus. How that got something? Enthus is W closing. Make it make sense. Enthus is opening for Enthus is W closing. Okay, I get it. Look at that. Solid. <laughs> Hmm, control audio via OBS may have been a mistake. Thank it was a mistake. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Maybe you did hear him, and I didn't. Which is weird because I heard notifications during my last stream and I had the same sentence. But, um, you know. So we're going to play all these again, because fuck you. This will be the mental reset. Which is one of the best things you can get in life. It's like being kissed on a forehead when you wake up. And now I gotta listen to my own stream to confirm. Yeah, it just kind of worked that way last time. It was something I needed to click that I didn't click. I'm uh, gonna assume. But fuck it. Theo does streams just subscribe. Dude in life totally renewing my I still remember the two I remember one of the things I was supposed to talk about when I got yeah, back. I got my bits on me. It was about that YouTube channel. Shared. 95 bits. You have the right to But what was the other one? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the You're right to an attorney. One. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights I have? Thank, Thank you for subscribing. Thank, Thank, you, for subscribing. Thank, Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I got my bits on me. Russian one oh one cheers. We have a stupid voice. Bits. Shame oh, yeah. your I don't hear anything got different. Taken down Tevin. The saved playlists on your account was how I discovered so many hot trappers like B Pump Row and it's shaved. I eventually ended up making my playlist. I'm not here to, tip. Not here to get shout outs. I couldn't, I couldn't share, share all of us. It's just man. me and my gang. AEG. Is anybody all right here, gang? What up? I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I got my bits on me. I ain't trying to tip right now. I ain't trying to tip right now. And if a mob ain't right. me, I got a sock right now. I got a sock right now. Yo, if you was leaving on site, we're going to just turn it down a lot. Me and Ed Gang, we bought. Y'all free gang. I like a little bit. Yeah, I got my bits on me. Uh, we put all super right cool right shades right on. And if I'm being me, I got a sock right now. All right, everybody. Yo, Listen up. Turn on the stream right now. Turn on the stream right now. Me and Ed Gang, we bought. I should have turned my mic down before doing it. I don't feel bad. I'm trying to weed out the idiots. I'm not going to say any names. I just want them to wonder and guess and be confused. Does anybody want to pretend to do a shot with me? Before we do anything, because Frogger left. Frogger not here anymore. Stop lying.
Pulling up on strings to see what they are about. What? what? It's follower only, bro. So I have to change my route. What has happened? Lost, Lost in Tentacle with 160 bits. Do I actually have a hype train? I don't, I don't think I do. This is fake. How you doing, Tim? You I'm safe even when I'm not around. Let's get out. Yeah, I got my bits on me. I ain't trying to tell right now. I'm trying to tell right now. I can pause this because I got too much shit playing. I got a sock right now. Yo, you was leaving on site if I turn on the stream right now. On a string. Me and Ed Gang. Yeah, I got my bits on me. What the? What the? Lost underscore and underscore technicolor. What the fuck? 160 bits. Hype train. That was a game bug. Hype train. Alright, we're going to take a shot. Everybody, Everybody that shows up to Tevin streams, they love shot taking segments. And uh, do I have a doozy for you? You know, just because I'm a nice, chill, positive guy. If um, I'm not gonna do a full shill, I don't feel like asking you to follow people. What do I? You know what I gotta do? Why not? Why not? This is how the fans yeah, gonna take me down. You gotta say that dude was grinching away too much. If I ever get popular, wink, I'm gonna be on Amaran's stream like, yo, if 50 people follow this dude, I'm gonna take three shots. If 100 people, more people follow, I'm gonna take like 20 shots. They're gonna be dying in that bitch. It's gonna be great. This is my serious thing in face. I'm really going through it right now. Okay, okay, this will be all guy. Super cool, awesome, chill, extra positive individual. An, an upping, up and coming streamer, Rexum underscore. They have 61 follows. If five people follow and they get 66, I'll take two shots. I'm taking one anyway. Yeah, shout out Big Rex. And shout out Roderick. I have great news, Roderick. I finally ripped Thuggin' in 11 and 1 and 2. I also ripped it in 4K, but it's a 20 gig file, and I don't think anybody wants to download that. And it also don't look that much better. So, uh, yeah, if you want it, I got it that way. But I didn't do the safe for TV edit yet. I'm still working on that. But I do have the normal version of it. Hold on. I have a super exclusive link to drop in the chat. I actually don't even know if you can download it if you try to. I'm, I, I think you can. I should just test it myself. I'm going to test it myself. Trying to decipher what the link is here. I'm working on it. Like they're telling me my account is full. I think this means that you could download it, but I can't do something else. That's why I need to test this myself. Of course, I could have did this poetry. But dude, I had silent fucking notifications. Or at least I didn't hear them. And if I don't hear them, they might as well be silent. <sighs> I might as well explain what this stream is going to be. Okay, if you guys are wondering what this stream is, DSP did a very suspicious extended extra salty pre-stream segment. He got baited in like five different directions. And it was about his um, gambling situation and his, his super champion's addiction. Uh, no, his like... No. What's a really like, I need a partially sensual word. His fondness of WWE uh, super champs, super champions, WWE champions. I need to really stop calling it super champions. I just, I don't even feel like explaining anymore. Let's see. I think you can download this. Yeah. If you want to download Thuggin' It and Lovin' It 1 in the original copy. Original copy. In the original audio. The original quality. 
You got your link. Right there. It's a super chill mega dot nz link. The correct way to redistribute legal files. I got Thug and 11 at 2 too. These are the raw files. You probably need to use VLC player if you want to watch them. And we should all have VLC player because we all love anime. If Goon was it, he would get it. That's stuck in 11 and 2. Original quality. Should have said the lowercase. So uh, we got that. Don't worry, I'll post the link again in multiple ways. And you should be able to download it. Don't know how long that'll be the case, because eventually, my last mega uploads, I'm just calling it that, they just went away after a while, and I was like, dude, why can't I download it? Maybe if I gave them $5 forever, they would never got rid of it. But come on, I'm not paying criminals. Oh yeah, what's this stream gonna be? DSP went fucking ape shit, right? Talking about the super champions. WWE champions. I'm not calling it super champions anymore, right? We gotta stop doing that. I'm muddying the waters. He's gonna say a lot about him playing a different game. They're lying about me playing some game called Super Champions, and I never even heard of it. But he went off, man. It was fucking unbelievable. Very suspicious. And when you think he's about to be done, he just kept going. And then he then he hit us in the end with, uh, well, all the trolls are going to say this and do this. So basically, you don't have the right to do it. Because if you do it, you're making DSP right. This is something he always do. He go on rants and he says, well, people, the fucking idiots, they will talk about this and make their stupid videos about this. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, basically, something don't work that's supposed to work. What the fuck is it? Oh my God, Mix It Up was going to crash my shit eventually. Something don't work that's supposed to work. I think my other bot broke, bruh. I'm about to cry. But basically the stream, uh, at least part of the stream, is to watch that because it's too special. It's a little more special than a normal pre-stream. And I was listening to this pre-stream, right? I was listening to it on Frogger Stream. And I was thinking to myself, yo, it really is kind of like this every day. And then it stopped being the same. It was like if a fire happened at the same house every day. But then this one day, the fire is a little bit worse. So people go outside to look at it. That's what it was. It was very suspicious. I was like actually scared for my life listening to it. <laughs> I missed how his face looked during it. Because I was just listening on my phone. The only way I get background playing I was on fucking Twitch. Pretty sad about it. Because uh, that changes everything. I had to burn a Sean and Bin Laden CD to play in my old school. I was hurt, bro. The Wilhelm scream. Thank you for the prime. 15 months. You only get one of those every month. You showed up at the perfect time. I didn't even fucking start yet. And we're going to take a beginning of the stream shot. I forgot to even show what I got. Like legit didn't even show it at all. Overwatch. Big ups. Mike. This. Okay, so my Walmart fully restocked besides the meat. And the people that see my Walmart streams, they know the Walmart I go to is extra suspicious and special over there. I don't know what the fuck they do. But they always have the ball in stock. But the last few weeks, it was kind of sus with the alcoholic section. We'll call it that. But today, two. I wasn't gonna lose out, miss out anything similar close this time. 
they had the Kraken fully in stock. So we got two of them. I'm using an extra bummy camera for my real face. At least when I do shots, man. And I got my nice camera for uh, Anime Lady. She does not have a name. Uh, she was downloaded for free. As you can see, she's been fitted with WWE Championship belt, ice cream cone, uh, boob. Uh, a dingus is on the other boob. 1017 chain. The gift sub and follow thing stuck to fucking hair or something. Fourth place, like hairpin, prayer hand hairpin, and raisin canes, bread, earrings. She's having a lot of fun. These are the stupid fucking things I mess with behind the scenes. And then my stream crash every 30 minutes and I'm like, bro, what happened? That shit's so weird. I also got some snacks. Of course, I got snacks. We got actual, unheard of Doritos flavor. You gotta see it. You already can see it. You can barely see it. Doritos, tangy, tam, tam, tamarind, tamarind. Chat. What is it supposed to taste like? I honestly don't know. I almost missed this in the store. It was sitting in a weird spot. And I thought, well, I have to buy this. This is brand new Doritos. Speaking of, man. Yo, you guys know how much Doritos cost now? Almost $6 for that fucking bag of Doritos. Bro, that's a gallon of gas. Like, unironically. It's even more. It's a gift sub. We all just having fun. I got some Fruit Loops gummies. Yeah, I don't know what a tamarind tastes like. Is this a fucking Dorito that tastes like a fruit? I really don't know. I actually am massively confused about what those Doritos taste like. And I got, uh, yeah, Fruit Loop gummies because I never heard of these. I don't even care for Fruit Loops, but I mean, come on. Come on, man. I don't need to explain. I was going to have some new Bean Boozles today, but I didn't get my fucking Amazon yet. Which is why I'm running on a suspicious amount of RAM that may or may not lead me down the wrong path. Uh, Gameberg, thank you for follow. Speaking of following, did we do enough shilling? It was supposed to be 61 to 60 something? 66. Let's see, man. Yeah, it is new. I like how if you look at the back, it looked cheap as fuck, right? It's like actually a low quality looking bag. It's really hard to explain. But if you're a snack connoisseur like myself, you look at this bag and you think, damn, it's like a fake snack. Did I buy fake fucking snacks? I don't know. It's like dollar candy coming in the bag that feel like this. But technically, look how much you get in that, man. It's like a pound, like a pound of candy. You can barely see it. And I do look like edibles. 61 to 65 we need one more chat if the big rex can get one more follow i'll take two shots i was about to say we're gonna do a scam shot but actually we're not gonna do a scam shot i didn't clean out the shot glass for it but we're gonna do this one first we can dedicate it to the beginning of the stream to it existing and being super cool, to all the positivity, to WWE champions, and to grinching up. And we can dedicate it, like I said, to everybody else that's it. Like Fire and Lasers and KNC7, Scuff Jake, and Stardust Solidus, and Aloof One, and Jeff Oligarden. Tamarind is a fruit. So it really is fruit flavored fucking Doritos, basically. Maybe with like a hint of cheese or something. Oh, God. I don't want to think about it. I can't wait to eat them. I'm going to make nachos with them. Uh, Dante Lowell, Lost in Tentacle of Mac EXE, Peaches and King. Tamarind like the balls? What? People out here eating tamarinds all day. Uh, Roderick, the guy with two names. Roderick's just jealous because my VTuber model looks better than his. 
it's okay this is just temporary the real vtuber model i have like three months from now it's gonna have even nicer boobs and uh the big butt she's gonna do full screen she's gonna do workout streams vtuber working out streams with a mirror a mirror behind so you can see that ass it's gonna be very suspicious content it's gonna be like that one lady somebody know who i'm talking about i don't know her name but when it comes to certain types of content you need to learn names whatever let's take the shot uh, we also dedicated partially to dingus because they need some good vibes they've been suffering the last few hours seven six five four three two one let's fucking go it's pretty tangy and again if you want the link to the suspicious youtube channel that will have this stream and the 10 hour long closet cleaning stream and probably that's it unless something weird happened next week and i do it and think to myself oh this is dumb and somebody might want to watch it it'll be on this channel that epic youtube channel so make sure to go subscribe to it and you can see the stream archived on it oh yeah we got the actual youtube announcement thing then i'm gonna do the other shot for the people that don't know which is most people i pretty much um i went through the gauntlet the gauntlet chat some people know what other people try to go through people people i'm looking for the top found the top anyway i had those copyright strikes right i still technically got them but uh you know how you have to fill in these forms and they don't accept it and then they go to somebody else and they don't accept it etc 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 yeah that happened and uh two of the forms went through and then when they cleared the strikes they deleted the channel it was actually kind of funny and uh I had to do manual counterclaims, which took pretty much doing a bunch of research. And I had to start my own law firm. So I crafted my own legal document and sent it into YouTube. And they accepted the rest of the things. So allegedly, like literally, all of the copyright claims have been countered. And it's, it's done on that end. The people that know how that shit work know how that shit work. People file suspicious claims. And then you counterclaim them if you want to, if you can. And then 10 to 14 business days later, it's like, oh man, they didn't take you to court. So you get your channel back. So I should have the channel back. Like by the 20th or something, maybe. And if I don't. That means YouTube actually hate me. And that means they took my information and made me go through all of that for nothing. Which would be pretty lame. But yeah, pretty much, uh, I looked up what other people sent to YouTube, which don't work anymore. Then I looked up what other other people sent to YouTube, which doesn't work anymore. And I combined that with my own wording and with some other legal wording. <laughs> and I, I crafted my own legal, legal document for YouTube. It might not be foolproof though, because I don't have any more strikes to test it on. But I should get the channel back. I should. We'll see. And if I don't, it's going to be mad disappointing. And I'm just going to be saying, but I fucking did all of those counterclaims. Why the fuck, man? That's going to be a pretty lame rain if it happens. How the fuck is this song playing? I don't know. Did I contact Nancy? It Nancy, Nancy, somebody else. You mean, uh, I know who you're talking about. Nancy was like Texas lady or something. You mean, uh, I think his name was Jeff. I think. Yeah, I watched five hours of Judge Mathis. <laughs> Damn it. But it was pretty fun. And it was this one video. I had to rewrite my shit again. And it took me it took me three days to come up with the right word and have this 
fucking website accept it. Oh, fuck you. Believe it or not, KNZ7, I literally can't check whatever you just sent. You want to know why? Because for me to log in to read that, I would have to log in on my YouTube account, which I can do. I can't even look at it. I can't even look at it. There's nothing I can do, man. But thank you for the, I think it was like a dollar something. I had to actually listen. I literally can't look at it. Well, no, I can't, but not really. I can only look at what I have through PayPal, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, don't make me think of that song. We're going to do another shot. Where the fuck did I put this? See, I got to put one of these up. I just brought both of them out to show, to flex, the two Krakens. Pretty sure it's one that's bigger than that, though. Like, it's basically one that's double the size of this. But they don't sell them at my Walmart. We're going to take another shot. So, get your Pepsi, your bottled water, etc. ready. You may be thinking, God damn, God damn, Tevin, this is a long-ass fucking stall. Yeah, it kind of was. It was actually longer than it was supposed to be. I can't even be happy about starting at 3 p.m. now. Because a fucking hour passed. Uh, let's see. Suspicious link. Tevin Day videos re up unlisted from KNZ7. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a pretty suspicious link. If you guys watch my stream right now, want an unlisted list of Tevin videos, go there. That's probably the most you got that exists on YouTube. As far as Tevin, whatever the fuck they're called. Let's see what we got here. I have a lot of tabs open. <laughs> the king of sponsorships. He love garbage with bad Persona 4 gameplay. I remember the stream. Specifically this one because it was Persona 4. Robot Lady ASMR. Not clickbait. Detractor edition. Featuring a chair. Was this SOK drama? I don't know. It might have been that or it might have just been twit longers. We had that one time period when everybody was putting out a fucking twit longer and I got so sick of reading them, I had a robot read them. Damn. Remember that? DSP is a girl magnet, the master relationships. Yeah, he's fucking old as hell. And they put the date in the beginning too. This is very chill. DSP needs his fans to pay attention to him and only him. These are all 2017. Dude, they even have the Panda Lee thing. <laughs> it's all three parts. Wait a fucking minute. Kenzie Seven's a bed. <laughs> they got videos I can't even find of myself. I, have, I would like literally have to just look in my old channel if that makes sense. And I can't do that now anyway. But you get the point I'm making. You gotta like search your own shit in your shit through the video manager. Yeah, that's it. Views don't matter. More recycled Patreon goals. 2016. Remember when I used to do a fucking DSP video a week? Like a scheduled DSP video a week? Jesus. I was thinking about this the other day because DSP was going on one of his rants that he recycled and he's like, oh, damn. they've been doing this for years and they keep doing it and they're doing it the same way. And I'm like, now you know, you know that I'm not making a DSP video every week again. Stop it. Just stop it. Don't act like everybody's been doing the same thing forever. Detract the ball Z. Whoa. Every game behind the paywall. <laughs> 2015. <laughs> so this is like, I think, most of the channel at, like, the main channel, quote unquote. And then it ended about 2018. 
Yeah, this was like one of the first videos on that channel when I got them Pandalee copyright strikes. It obviously wasn't a real Pandalee, but what if it was? And that shit, like, I don't know. It definitely, if that happened to help DSP, it didn't help DSP. <laughs> Because it just made me not use that channel and I made another channel and then by the time that channel No, by the time the new channel. No, let me fucking start over. I only had one shot By the time the old channel was able to be used again. The new channel had like 7k subs or some stupid shit I was like, well, I'm gonna just keep using this one And then I ended up having a suspicious backup for when I eventually couldn't stream on a main channel again so that was fun. I think it might have had like four or five K actually when it got that strike back in the day. And it got up to like seven when I had the other strike. And then I used that account again, like three months. Back when everybody got struck for watching E3. Somebody remember that. That one E3 when everybody that watched it on YouTube, they got fucking struck. <laughs> like everybody. <laughs> I swore for watching shit like that on YouTube after that. Jeez Louise. We got some more links. Now I'm taking another shot and we can actually start doing what we're doing. Hold, the holy cow. If you want to watch suspicious old Tevin videos from 2015 to 2018, uh, you can go here to watch them on this unlisted playlist thing. Uh, the actual Tevin channels that exist. All of my copyright strikes went through. Because I had to go through a bunch of extra effort. And I wrote custom legal documents. So in two weeks in business days length, I should have the channels back. Should. Let's make a shocked face. Can you even see it? You can probably see it. Yeah, legacy videos. Uh, what else? If you want an archive to this epic stream, go to this channel and sub to it. I'll upload this archive to it and the DSP closet cleaning archive. And he is doing another closet cleaning stream, but maybe I'll have my channels back by then. I don't think so, though. I think I'm going to have to wait a little longer. Of course, I have to watch part two. I have to. He forced me. And that's also thanks to Kane Z7. Because I specifically said, oh, if somebody give 10 subs, I'll make a channel. Joke's on you already had the channel, but I didn't want to post anything to it. It's just the channel I'm... I don't even think I'm watching stuff on it. I mean, I am. It's, why I, it's how I watch my Deller videos and my drama videos for Chicago. <laughs> and my wrestling videos. <laughs> they took everything else from me. And my stupid piece of pea streams. The vet and I take them from me. I'm pulling up. Oh, and Sniper Wolf videos. I'm gonna make a redeem to watch a sniper wolf video. Oh, is it SS? You know what I mean, that lady. I'm gonna make a redeem to watch her videos. It's gonna be a punishment redeem. She's gonna be ingrained in the Tevin legacy. We all love Sniper Wolf, actually. We liked her the whole time. I've been watching since she first put out her first video, and I never stopped watching. Let's fucking go. I love TikTok reactions. But sadly, we ain't watching another day. We're gonna only be watching DSP, dude. That's wild, though. Because dead ass, I could have watched, like, at least 30 minutes. I'm not even... I'm just com I'm complaining about how long I'm taking to do something at this point. There's nothing we could do. There's nothing we could do besides taking another shot. Yeah. Uh, big ups, Remy underscore Ren. The 13 months. Real fan status. Thanks for the positivity. You resubbed at the perfect time. This is two underscores, isn't it? It is two underscores. You resubbed at the perfect time. I'm about to take a shot. And uh, the guy went on a massive rant about mobile games. Told us he played mobile games, but he can't tell us what accounts he play them on. Because if he did that, we would ruin the game for him or something. It's so many things I have to say about his mobile game stuff. Because I remember all it. I, like, bro, somebody here remember when he first got with that lady he's with now? I think it's his wife. 
and he said, I'm going to leave mobile games behind you guys. I'm not going to play mobile games anymore. Guys, I'm not going to play mobile games anymore. I'm going to hang out with my wife. I'm going to spend time with my wife instead of sitting around playing fucking mobile games. You know how that shit is. And then he's like, I never stop playing. You know how fucking annoyed, annoying that is to me? To have somebody stand on a fucking soapbox and say they're not going to do something. And then they go back to doing it shit and don't tell you they went back to doing it. Like at all. He did that with caffeine too. Oh, I'm de detoxing on caffeine. I'm not, I'm not drinking coffee anymore, guys. Yeah, man, my wife wants me to, this is cat again. He blame all this shit on her probably. It's not even her. Yeah, my wife wants me to get off caffeine. Oh, I'm detoxing from caffeine. Ooh, I'm so tired. This is like three weeks of DSP. Years ago, maybe two years ago. But when I say years ago, it's literally more than one at this point. It could be like 2020 and I'm saying years ago. But this happened and it was so annoying. And now you watch him at nine o'clock. He started streaming at 730 and he says, oh, I had some, had uh, some coffee. I had some coffee. The coffee's kicking in. And I'm like, what? You bragging about drinking coffee now? I thought you was off it. He never told us when he went back on. So he have these little segments and he says, uh, one thing he said way towards then, he was like, basically, I don't remember exactly what he said. He basically tried to tell us that if he had a problem, he would tell us he had a problem. Because that's what people with problems always do. Wink. Oh, man. And then he brought, then he brought up how he used to be an alcoholic and he told us. And I'm like, bro, you told us you were an alcoholic? 10 years after people accuse you of being one, like actually 10 years after it, you said I used to be an alcoholic then. And I remember back then you said, oh, people say I drink all the time. I don't drink all. You know how that shit is. It's so fucking annoying. And I don't really know how he could not be annoying about it, but it's so annoying. So annoying. You know what? Well, that's kind of different. Because he would call him a shill, too. I remember a long time ago, Nick A30 was like, yeah, man, I don't drink caffeine. I don't like caffeine. I don't deal with caffeine. I, I can't mess with caffeine. I like to be normal. I like to be myself. That boy got that G Fuel sponsorship. <laughs> I'm going to make a five-hour video calling Nick A30 a shill and a piece of shit. But I do remember those Nick A30 streams. He was younger back then, man. He got like, he grew up like two years. He was streaming on Twitch. Streaming on Twitch, it, it changed his life probably in multiple ways. <sighs> but yeah, that shit's annoying, man. And it pissed me off because it, like, it's annoying when he's doing it, as in telling us he's not doing something. Oh, I'm detoxing from caffeine. So I remember it more because I was annoyed. And then when he's streaming at 9 p.m. saying he had a coffee at 8 o'clock or some shit. And then a dude says, you had a coffee at night? And he's like, well, you think the coffee is going to be working at midnight? Like he act like that. Like that type of shit. Oh, no, it's too much. I'm derailing myself, too. But we're going to do a shot. This shot is because six people, at least six people, followed Rexham underscore. And this is how we fill the positivity in. Don't worry, I'm not an alcoholic. And if I am, I'm gonna wait until 10 years after I'm not one. And then tell you I used to be one. And then I'm gonna shame other people for drinking, which is what he did, remember that closet cleaning stream? He was shaming people for drinking. He didn't even know, he didn't even know if it was real. That shit was wild, bro. I felt so bad. I felt bad for him. Anyway, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. How about a smiley or shit gang? On their computers? They own computers. They're drinking in the fucking daytime and they can't even, they can't even speak. Have fun, you fucking losers. He was having fun that day. It's all about having fun, man. Who else around? I gotta actually find my correct tab, so. Because it's looking pretty rough over here, pimp. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder what he's talking about. Like he's. He was pissed off here, I think. Oh my god. I never turned up my desktop notifications after I turned them down three hours ago. 
contact your girl a snack. We're gonna ignore that. It's quite right to see how you react. And you can't hear this at all. I had no idea. And I can. And we get him clearing his throat, and I have to boost the volume because he's quiet as fuck, like all the time. Bitch, what up? I ain't talking double dash. You diss ninja pewter pie and all. What the fuck? I saw the real cloud. I didn't really find him. Wow. Found himself. Found himself. Found himself. Big ups, Cloud. He found himself. And his stupidity. But I can't win against you. You're so kind of lame. Oh, I know what I can do. I gotta do my stupid audio thing. Hey, hey, game we go wow. Hey, what? So many things they can never forget. Fuck next Strange, isn't it? Ha. Shut up Holy <laughs> shit, he don't even do voice acting, huh? Yo, Jeeva, I thought he... Of it. Oh, he do. I like how his voice acting basically hasn't evolved. He's been doing this for 15 years. And it's like, damn. Ultimate Shadow said, do you remember the beginning of the game? Cloud Sometimes you go through a little more effort to say stuff because it's just real self not inside fun to not. I don't know, it's hard to explain. <clears throat> of course. But he put more effort in clearing his throat Everyone, than he I'm put sorry, in actually talking. Say. Dude, Final Fantasy VII. Cloud, Look at the graphics. Whoa, well, it's quiet as fuck. I never was in Soldier. <laughs> I made up that story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. Yeah, when a black dude's talking, A.K. Barrett, movie, he's like talking like soldier. this. I was so Maybe he says so yo. I don't think he say yo. My friend Zach. I created an illusion of myself to make up for what I had seen in my life. Yeah, this is really lame. <clears throat> and then he clears his throat. He leans in and clears his throat. I to play the chara charade. Don't believe me, though. Because me saying DSP stream is lame is, like, invalid. Illusion. But well, I think it's lame. Damn strong for an illusion. <laughs> Why does Barrett only have a voice? Physically, Cloud is like just DSP. Soldier. Cloud's going to ask us for tips. Cloud's going to say, I don't know, you guys. It's looking pretty slow. I only have $19 out of 50 in tips. If I get 50, I put on the, I put on the, the cloud hat. It's looking fucking, it's fucking ridiculous. I told you guys my off day is coming up in 17 days. I have an off day in half a month. And I have to pay some bills. I'm watching this in the past, by the way. I'm way back. For better or worse, only the strong I'm just immersing soldier. myself in this he gameplay. I didn't get to experience him playing Final Maybe Fantasy VII yet. Well, they get lost in the whole thing. Shit. I actually no, want to play Nova Final Fantasy VII, whatever build, it's called, the newest version, because I got PlayStation Everyone Scam that, thing, and I could play it for free, quote unquote. The I was gonna do that if I streamed at like 5 a.m. But I think my stream crashed before then. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. Yeah, I was just complaining about his I voice acting. I hate it. Without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. And then he brags about this shit, too. That like, when he's done with this playthrough, cool. he's gonna brag about it. Oh, <laughs> it was a great playthrough. Cloud, what are you, gonna do now? you guys loved it. You said it was super interactive shit. and fun and chill. I'm the reason why and I was doing voice forces. acting. I voice acted all the characters. That's why I have to do We got to experience the story. And we got to, like, listen to the cool soundtrack. And we got to experience the like game the original way. way. You know all that shit? It hit different. Oh, well, but this is what the reality is. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. No hey, the music turned on. Train. Oh, Full ha, voice ha. acting. Ha ha ha. ha, ha. <laughs> he should get voice meter, which would obviously be way too much effort. But if he got voice meter, then he could hit a button for every character and it would at least force a different voice. Let's see if I can do it without bullshitting. Uh, uh, test, test. Like this. It's like, whoa, man. This is Cloud now. Okay. Oh, I thought I was a fucking idiot and I turned out to be a oh, fucking wow. moron. And a <laughs> limp dick idiot. I thought I was deeply moved by your story. I'm a really weak person and so I can really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. People told me to get this program called yes. Voice Meter. So and they fucking charge. And I'm like, what? We're stuck with Cloudy. Shit! Just when we were getting used to I want a free Cloudy. program. Oh, Cloudy. <laughs> they like, what? Shit. 20 grand a month. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's having fun. It's WWE <laughs> Champions uh, time. Hmm. I don't play WWE Champions, you fucking idiot. Who's the lowest level? Case I play WWE Champions, but I don't spend like a ton of money on it. And red or 42. Huh? What's a ton of money? I'm sure you'll find this letter and this gift what for you. What the fuck? Break. Holy shit. This breaks really do last a long time. I remember what 
I taught you. Even when I play a bunch of shout out clips, which is, I mean, I'm doing a thing, or even when I do this, I'm not this. But goddamn, 25 minutes. Is he watching this stream? What the fuck, dude? It's a long time. You might ask for money when they come back. Dude. All right, everyone, it is time. That's going to be our prediction. Now, I will not take a super uh, long break today, considering that the podcast was so long earlier today. 25 minutes. He's talking to Cat. He's going to lie. Back for about I was talking to Cat and playing with Jasper. 50, uh, I was playing with my uh, cat, so I left for stream. 25 minutes. So I couldn't play games. <clears throat> okay. We're, we're going to do a audience. prediction. Now I'm going to come, come back, back to this. Uh, it's going to yes, be, will he ask for money? Will he, when he get great. back from break? Uh, you know, it's been a little on the slower side for tips today. Yeah, he's doing it now, we'll obviously. Of course Thank he is. You guys. I will see you Which after the fucking break ruins before. it because he probably won't do want to get back now. Seven. We're going to figure out. Uh, yeah or nah. Gonna do five minutes. He's probably still gonna be going five minutes from now. We're at 44 you fuck. <laughs> has nothing to do. <laughs> Prediction over. Prediction over. You know he's doing it now. He just did it. He just fucking did it. He just fucking did it. He just fucking did it. You better kid it. I knew skipping to the Included. fucking present would be a bad idea. Let's see, was it was it that bad? It might have not even been that bad. Maybe he just told us what was going on, right? He had to tell us the number on the screen. Fucking god damn it. This guy. Once again, the playlist doesn't work. Oh, good to see oh, the YouTube He was muted again, too guys. in his Sorry YouTube's fault. Well, not his stream was muted. <laughs> the playlist didn't what work. What a shocker. What a shock. He had like surprise. six years the to download this playlist. And, and it's been glitching off for like three YouTube. years. He's scared to download wow. music to play on his own computer. All because right, the well. government gonna find him. <clears throat> for songs made by trolls. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, sorry about that. I'm back. All right. I'll be streaming till around 4 p.m. as usual. Oh, really? It was only about a minute? Well, that's good. That's good to hear that it was only a minute. I thought it was the whole time. I just came back. I was like, oh, shit. Um, all right, guys. So I like how he don't monitor his stream at all when he's on break. Into the open world, he just legitimately leaves for 25 stuff, minutes. Sure you guys are going to be guiding me around doing all these things. That's pretty good. So this should be fun and interactive for the rest of today's stream. I don't know if we're actually going to head into another dungeon today. I guess it depends on how much open world stuff there is to do. Because I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys are going to help me figure it out. Okay. Now, during the break, one minute, man. One minute, man. Twenty-five dollars. Thank you. This place sucks. And uh, this place fucking sucks. So let me get this straight. Does he get the money from One Minute Man, and he still tell us like, "Yo, if you want to give me some money, did he do that?" The classic. I hope so. One minute, man. So twenty. It'll be forty-four. Okay. Two hours left on the stream. If we can get some more support, you guys know the deal. Yeah, there we go. Rewards in place. If we, if we can get some more support, sure some dude gave me $25 while I went on my 25 minute break. Uh, excuse me. But if we can get some more support, it sure be great. Be pretty but pretty chill. Almost two hours left on the stream. If we yeah, I think one minute support, man is real. Know the deal. Of course I do. Rewards in place. If we raise fifty dollars in tips, it's gonna glasses at a hundred dollars. You get to vote on. It's too outlandish to think it's a fake person. Fake person, and he's been around for literally years, <clears throat> longer than the people that think he's fake. The Bender been around. Futurama, if that makes sense. The Los Santos baseball cap from Grand Theft Auto Five, and the inflatable crown, which is it the same ridiculous. person? Okay. Again, from help, years ago any funds raised today go directly towards my day off tomorrow what if one minute man is cat that still could mean that real person today. it's I'm just cat nervous. saying she's one minute man okay, i hope that i can raise enough in this next week <laughs> to pay them because things really tight bro right. what is this he just kind of does this you know he's asking for money and you still don't really notice it because you don't pay enough attention i say about myself but holy shit it's so obnoxious you kind of wish you didn't pay attention dollars and tips tips okay tips Now, if, Excuse one, me. Uh, if one minute man is real or fake, I don't think we're ever going to get real uh, evidence because it's just some dude that gave him money. But I do think it's a real dude, though. I think for some reason, some guy gives him $25 basically every day. 
when he's not even on the stream and he doesn't send messages or anything and he keeps up with it because he's been doing it. So why change it now? Why send the message now? It's like, oh, it's not like that at all. But it's almost like how people can just resub every month for like three fucking years and never have a message. They ain't got shit to say, but they still want to resub. Maybe one minute man just always want to give $25 when DSP is not streaming because reasons. Don't he send it directly to his PayPal too or something? I don't know. That shit kind of weird though. Like, I'm not saying he should ask him to be upfront with his tips. As in, he should ask one minute man like, bro, can you just tip normally? And get a fucking pop up and shit. But if one minute man was my guy, I would think to myself every once in a while, like, man, can he just fucking like be normal and send it like the normal way? But maybe DSP don't want that. Excuse oh me. my god, forty four dollars in tips. It sure would be great with another. It sure would be great on the stream. If we can get some more support, you guys know the deal. The you know the deal, place. but it sure would be great. Dollars and tips. It's going to glasses at a hundred dollars. No shit, it would be great, hat. bro. It sure would be great if you give literally any streamer anything. It's so obvious. For no Jason, shit, including. <clears throat> It sure would be great if he drama, didn't fucking clear his throat with the microphone on. From Grand Theft Auto Five, and it sure would be great if he gave me fifty dollars and I can put on a ridiculous. cap that costs okay. seventy. Again, it would help. Any it would help. Today go directly towards my day off tomorrow or my bills next week, which I'm gross. Talked about on the pre-stream today. That was kind of nervous. Gross. Okay, I hope that I can raise enough in this next week to pay. Them. Man, I wonder how this really stuff sounds to a random okay. guy. So. If, if it's can, enticing or not. The in any way today is greatly appreciated. I would like to play these clips for old people. The next week. Like an actual 70-year-old or 60-year-old. Hopefully, They would act so today. cringe. All right. He want you this want money for playing games? What? What's the video game? He wants this for playing Mario? <laughs> They're going to think he's old as them. On the late stream. He's my age. Why is he playing video games? That's what they're going to say. Game Pass. All right. Showing the, on what, what are those fucking shitty React videos? Uh, oh, Retirement Home reacts to DSP. Elderly people react to DSP. How old is this guy again? He looks like he's my age. He wants to play. You get an old ass Italian man. He wants to get money for this? He's gonna sound like Ticket Guy. He wants money for doing this? He's been doing this every day. Show the neighbors who DSP is in film there. Is his parents? Are his parents alive? On Game Pass, and there's five games or so that we flagged to check Poor out. Poor DSP. All of he's just trying to have fun. To see if any of them is any good. And so then you're gonna hit him with the bag. More of for a Oh man, I want to see old week. people react to DSP asking for That's money. That's later tonight on the late stream. I hope you'll join me for that as well. And saying it sure would be nice. Are we good to resume? And him saying like he don't have infinite so. funds for his day off. Like, what the fuck? No shit, you're not an actual rich person, right? Tell us all the time. Oh, God. All right. Let me explain how we're going to do this. We're going to go to the beginning and see how fun, how much fun he was having. See the beginning. Oh, oh welcome to the free stream. You know when he's in the weird presentation mood? I don't know how to explain it. And then I'm going to skip around and then eventually we're going to get to like, I don't know, the last 50 minutes is basically a rant. It's a long rant. It's a very long rant, and we got this great music in the beginning. Zabidi Zoo. Zabidi Zoo. Before she dies. Sorry, we have to listen to this. Find Katie Zombrex before she dies. Ooh, woo. Find Katie Zombrex before she dies. Find Katie Zombrex before she dies. Zabidi Zoo. It's the fucking Cosby song. Zabidi, Zabidi, Zabidi Zoo. We gotta find a way into the maintenance room. Zabidi, Zabidi, Zabidi Zoo. Dude. 
<laughs> if he's off a perk now, what was he on back then? Zabba the Zoo. Maintenance room. Cool fires. Oh shoot, a sledgehammer. Don't even, don't even do it, guy with two names. Oh, yeah. You, I don't know if you was there for the the sugar crash reenactment segment, but that would be like a Teb and Suffer stream. I listen to all of the DSP songs, write down the lyrics, and sing the songs along with him, which would be really easy because listen to these lyrics, dude. I listen to Sean and Bin Laden. That's like some of the highest brow rap music you can listen to. So sledgehammer ain't shit. It's like cave pains compared to Sean and Bin Laden. Sledgehammer. I still have it somewhere in a notebook. It's the lyrics to Sugar Crash. That was a great stream. Do you think that Russian will be a new world language in five ish years? Oh, yeah. Fuck no. The only people I can speak of are the dudes that play CSGO. And that game's gonna be dead in five years too. Oh, yeah. Is he done? He is actually. <laughs> that was the last song. Is that how you say? Is he talking? Okay, let's see. What did he say? How much fun was he having? I want to see if he was. Oh. I didn't catch that the first time, huh? Or oh, the first time I saw this. It's just the Andy Dick clip. And then it's that. That's pretty interesting. Big up synonymous. The 25 bits. I like created by Phil Burnell. In reality, what is created by him? Definitely not this. The thing you just saw isn't created by him. So what is? All right, let's overanalyze this. Random thing that some guy made for free. Dark Side Phil presents. All right. He's presenting. His name is created by, huh? His name is Chica Chica Slim Dark Sai. Created by the fuck he didn't create this that we just watched, by the way. He also didn't create any of the songs we just heard, and he didn't create any of the artwork we just saw, including this. DSP couldn't make this. Chris I mean, he could, but he didn't want to. Has gifted us up to Cyber Angel Yuki Is this really like? Room. I'm not gonna say it's actually what happened, and that's actually what happened. But in a way, people almost proven a point when they give him Cyber artwork Angel that's Yuki so basic and or Chris bad, because it's like, well, he could just Thanks make it. And you think to yourself, damn, it looks so Jack. bad. Of course he could have made it. Help. Or it's so basic. Of course he could have made it. He could have made this. Twitter PNG, Instagram PNG, some basic font. It's not even like a fucking downloaded font. Some like three colors. Come on, man. Come on, that dog. And this, like, come on. It's a PNG over a PNG with another PNG over a PNG. And then DSP wins Whoa. perfect and some stolen fonts. They like stole these things from other things and cropped them out and like shopped around it. They didn't even get a font and type the word wins in. They found a screen that had the word wins on it and then fucking cut it out of it. That's so specific. It's actually more work than just typing the word. It's pretty chill. But when you see stuff, it's like, dude, you could have made this. And then this makes no logical sense. Dark Side Phil presents Dark Side Dear Phil Chica Chica created by Phil Burnell. What the fuck was created by him? He's presenting himself? I guess he is. He's presenting himself and he made himself. Big Ups DSP birthed himself. It's the guy. All right, what's going on, everyone? Hello, hello. What's going on, everyone? And welcome again to the Level 1 Podcast. Today is what Wednesday, DSP? the 3rd of August. <laughs> Big Ups Lumpy, you're back just in time. Do you know I got two bottles of crack at Lumpy? Final consecutive streaming day of a six-day streaming week. And I don't know, today, actually. We end things I'm not just nodding with my bang. head to no music. I'm still hearing a DSP song. You know, oh my God, he's going to be so cringe. Maybe I can deal with him being like purposely cringe more if I'm streaming and I won't get like mentally annoyed. Oh, he's already doing it so fast. This is all it is. It's just suspicious DSP cringe. Oh, okay. What the fuck was I about to say? 
I'm just mentally prepared for the cringe part now. Fuck. Weak. And today. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Look at his face. He didn't shave. Wait till tomorrow and look at his face. He's gonna be shaving. This dude loves us so much. He only shaves for people at his grocery store who don't even know his name. And he doesn't shave ever for his stream. No matter what the event is, no matter how much you hype it up, and no matter how bad he looks, he factually never shaves for his stream. Ever. And it's been that way for like five years. And that's actually kind of wild. I get it if you don't shave for your own stream sometimes, yeah, but you can do it at least once every few months. It's pretty chill. One bed. And if you criticize him about that, he would like say something like, well, I don't care about how I look. I'm not fucking some hot guy. I'm not putting on fucking makeup and I got ring lights. Like he's going to act like that, right? But it ain't that deep, bro. Why do you shave for people at fucking, um, I was about to say Walmart. What do he, what does he go? Timberland? I don't know what the fuck he shop. Timberland. Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer. Why you? Why do you shave for strangers in Fred Meyer? Because you want to look good when you go out? Factually, more people see you online every day than they see you in a store. Like, you know? Like, people every day look like bums in shopping, shopping stores, shopping malls, grocery stores. And when I say look like a bum, I mean look like they just woke up and rolled out of the bed. It's because they don't care. And if they stream, they probably would. And DSP does it the opposite way. It's actually, uh, like I say, it's pretty chill. We end things not with- Don't worry. He's a guy, and he's not like a fucking hot tub streamer or some, like, attractive guy, and his viewers watch him for his looks. So why would he shave for a stream? That's fucking stupid. With Don't be bang, ridiculous. With and then he go out his way and <sighs> pretend like other people care about his looks. Anyway. This is the cringe segment, by the way. We're gonna rewind it. It's a little boosted and talk over it. We and we get to hear that clap again. Bang. All right, I'll be quiet. Ah, ooh, ah, relax. Ah, lean back. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Put your feet up. I have a footrest on my chair. This is great because by the end of this pre-stream, he's definitely not being chill. That's why I wanted to go from the beginning. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I'm gonna skip around. But I specifically wanted to see how he acted in the exact beginning of this stream. So by the end of this pre-stream segment, I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Yo, he was so fucking salty in the end. Here, put your feet up. <laughs> oh, oh, Look at this dude. Oh, it's great. It's day off tomorrow, by the way. Let me, you know what? Let me go back. Did this have something to do with his off day? Is All this right, just about him not everyone? being here? Hello, hello. And welcome again. This is so welcome fucking stupid. They're like you cut grass every day. Wednesday, the 3rd of August, 2022. Incidentally. Incidentally. Today, the day. The final consecutive streaming day of a six-day streaming week. Yeah. And today. You got that again. End things not with a bang. Yeah, this is basically because he's off tomorrow. He's doing this weird shit. That is stupid. I feel like we shouldn't be happy as... The viewer, if he's not gonna be here tomorrow, we should be hey, sad. Man, oh, man, so many, so many. Whatever. Drink. Oh, this is this is the life. This is still a cringe segment, by the way. Mm. Help! Oh man, so many. Oh so man. Many content creators. Oh. Out there. They gotta overhype what they're doing. They gotta. Oh, it's so exciting. You gotta be there. It's gonna. Be the cringe so segment amazing. continues. So, you notice this? It's so specific, right? So you probably don't notice it. His stream hasn't even been live for three actual minutes. I'm going to pretend the pre-stream with the music and him not talking isn't actual to stream because kind of is not. I don't even know why he still do pre-streams. You can probably like snow call him and say, Phil, why do you still do 15 minutes of pre-stream? You have an announcement saying you're going to stream and it shows up in people's YouTube feeds. It's not like Twitch. So why do you have a pre-stream? You literally don't need one. Because it's kind of true, you actually don't need one. Especially if you have a planned stream that happens at the same time every day. You kind of don't need a 15-minute music segment. But what if somebody show up late? 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 What the fuck does that mean? 
mind changing. But uh, not even five minutes into the actual stream, and he's basically talking about other people in a negative you way. Gotta be there. It's gonna be so amazing. He's oh, talking about man, other so people, many, but he's being like sarcastic. So many, creators out there. They so many other content creators overhype stuff. Oh, this dude talked about cleaning his closet for a month, and he has 700 views for it because he talked about it for a month. So you're like, are you being sarcastic or are you like, I don't, you know, like I'm too dumb to get if he's actually being you know, sarcastic. You gotta be there. Cause he is, but he's, he's not. So I kind of hate sarcasm, sadly. Mouth. Dro drooling literally emotions. every girlfriend i've ever had oh my god Missiles it's so firing. great i love your sarcasm Mushroom dsp makes me fucking not like sarcasm Dang. he ruined sarcasm for me him and his stupid fucking wife i guarantee you cat is so fucking annoying and you can watch the streams him and him and cat did that bitch is so obnoxiously boringly sarcastic and he do it all day too and he do it more because of her he probably asked her if she liked his dick, and she's like, oh, it was actually trash, Phil. <laughs> and he just walks away laughing. They never have an actual conversation. And he never have an actual conversation with us. Because it's shitty fucking lame sarcasm. And then he complains about people for 30 minutes. He runs it into the ground. Everything is sarcastic. Everything. You ask him a question, he gets a sarcastic answer. He talks in general without getting fucking pronged, prodded about it. I don't know. Sarcastic. He talks about his schedule. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be so exciting, right? <laughs> Everything. I can't wait for him to yell at people 45 minutes after this, after he starts off this way. For it's just all reasons. an act. First of Everything all, is an act. Today in Washington State, I don't care how hot it is, dude. It's gonna be a nice chill day. No. The big jiggly on the content here on wonderful big up spoo, but Please do enjoy good. tons of variety and stuff that I did in the last week. Um, it goes Mr. JP. Remember liking the videos you like. Watch, I said earlier, the on them, official VTuber model there, will have even nicer watching, boobs. Obviously, I'm not even here. It's totally gonna happen. Does that kind of stuff? Okay. Um. Now. Let's talk. Let's just briefly Spanish somebody. go through what I'm doing for the next I almost want to go through the extra little know. bit more effort to um, be able to read his chat during this. Special events but I don't up. know if it'll be worth uh, it. I want to talk about an ideas for the members goal. Get all that out of the way. And then quite frankly, we don't have much else to do but just chill. We'll have a chill. We have nothing else to do but chill. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> a chill pre-stream, whether it's a shortened one, a shortened one, excuse me. We just don't particularly have that much to talk about. Or if you guys want to do Q and A, oh, I mean, I'm down for that. Whatever. Everything, so everything's uh, fair game here. All right. Everything's fair game. All right. So, what are we doing today? Well, a right, little is, mini schedule. Two Fighter 30th anniversary collection. More Most schedule. People lose to it because they can't block it. Andy shitting on something. Past game. By the way. Once we beat Batman, you really can't go more than 10 minutes in the DSP stream without no, hearing him shit on something, in, even if he's tricked into talking about it or not. He's basically Cold, pure negativity. He can't be a positive person. He gets married and he tell you how it wasn't a big deal and how he did it in his parents' house and all of that shit. Like, what kind of shit is that, bro? This dude could have literally hyped up his wedding and people wouldn't be able to tell him otherwise. But people are going to be able to shit on his wedding forever because he downplayed it himself. It was a private wedding that nobody could see. Why would you downplay that? There's no point. Unless you want to be some weird victim. I wonder if Kat downplayed it. If she ever even talked about it. Oh uh, yeah, it was actually... This is Kat. This is Kat talking about the wedding. Where she came back from work. Uh, uh, Catherine, how was your wedding? I was actually fucking trash. And he didn't have sex with me and, uh, after it. <laughs> because she's sarcastic all the fucking time. About it. And obviously, you know, Who knows if it know was true? What you think? Okay. They're in a bed. They're next to each other in several beds. At the, after the wedding. Uh, honey, did you like getting married to me? And she responds, uh, no. And then she hit the OBS button to make the <laughs> snow strap pop up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, so that's okay. coming up. And then a week after that. On Saturday, I'm gonna just pretend August. she's That's having fun all day. She's then. playing uh, Elden Ring in. right now. I don't even need to look at the poll. I already know. She's not you playing you Elden Ring. Ted isn't good at games. This is how you don't play video. And I get that. I oh, shit. Why. We could listen to this, too. <clears throat> Number one, that video is 10 years old now. Did you realize that? Him talking about watching evil AJ videos. Holy shit. We're going to speed this up I, a little bit. Right? Time flies. And that was the video that I hate to 
saying. But that was the video that started negativity against me on the internet. Before this is how you don't play, there was a random person here or there, and there was a little bit of negative sentiment here or there, but there was no <sighs> focused, concerted effort of let's be nasty. I wonder what Kev doing until right now. Until this is how you don't play started. Okay? That's she might be watching the stream. Began. But the thing Kev, is, if you're watching the stream, get a shot ready. Is necessarily toxic or even. You better be fucking listening. Saying, well, let's just you better not mute the stream. You watching somebody else? Popularity. My wife I think it was more of a. With me. Who the fuck is Cat watching? I'm not even logged in on Twitch on this. Who is Cat watching right now, you think? Help. You better. Who is Cat watching? I think Cat might be watching Pizza Guy. You better take a sip. Oh, Zachary Michael. Wait. This is who Cat's watching. Ivana Hyde. The beautiful and talented. Ivana Hyde. That's who Kat's watching. This lady's super chill really? because yeah, she comes to my streams I'll and she's nice to me. And she got a cat. Like, like an actual cat. Uh, oh, wait, I got <laughs> that's yeah, who that's cat. And she's a part of Vape Nation. Why, why is my thing, my thing is stuck? <laughs> oh, man. What was I? Uh... Uh, okay. Hey, let's be observant of what this guy. Yeah, she does. got some pretty nice tattoos. About it. He's not very good at it. So why do people act like he's some crazy content creator when, when you actually watch his stuff and analyze it, he's not that good? Is she streaming so with uh, that Adriana Lady? That misses the entire point. Adriana Lady don't like me that much. It's okay. I don't like her that much either. I was good at them, or that I was the funniest, or most entertaining, or best, or anything <laughs> like that. I was just dicking around, having. A <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to this dude. Time saying over the top silly things. And I, as I he's said, just I was this is the okay basically he wants to get paid to watch this is i don't play mgs2 that's what this is about fuck really cares what he's saying but that's what this part is about so the stream isn't really about me watching this i'm just watching anyway i was shocked and blown away that people wanted to see me play stuff. And, and they wanted to watch my videos. I didn't even understand why. I didn't get it. I thought it was a joke. Was I, treated it was a joke. <laughs> I treated it as a joke. Honest, you gave me money. You gave me extra ethic. money. I wasn't going crazy, you know, trying to to go into these games in depth, doing all the content in them. A lot of times I was just Yeah, these talking points are so fucking lame. Right because he didn't do that with any game. He never done that with any game. So it's hilarious. It's almost no point in saying it. The original This Is How You Don't Play essentially misses the whole point. Like, yes, this dude tell us every day how he don't get new viewers and he tell us every day how you guys remember this. But then he explains stuff that like it's legit. The most shouldn't be explained shit about DSP that exists. It's like I can't I'm not even going to pretend to come up with a comparison as far as things that just don't need to be explained. What's understood ain't got to be explained. It's like, how could you know DSP in any fucking war in any way or form in 20 motherfucking 22? And you don't know that some people made videos about him being bad at games. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, man. Correct. That is not how you seriously played Metal Gear Solid 2. That's exactly right. That's the point. That was my shtick is don't play the game well. Flub your way through it's it. It's wild how many people I haven't seen worse or just as bad at MGS 1, 2, and 3 as DSP since DSP been that bad, like originally. But the thing is, those people didn't act the way he did, and the only person that got close is probably Frogger. <laughs> but then over the over the top during it, that was a Frogger was extra mad like when he was playing MGS one. He didn't even act like DSP. He acted like Frogger. That doesn't mean that he was his own person funny. when he played that game. It is, but it's funny for multiple reasons. He was his own person it, when he played that game. The value it's funny. But then if you watch it in the it was pretty good. Room, wow, they told and that great fox fight. I thought he was, so was. actually going to quit the game. Funny. I was really kind of sad it's about funny it. On multiple levels, okay. Um, but I've never gone back and watched that video. Like in um, Easy Bay. Somebody know who that is because I rate all the time. She's been playing MGS one and two, and she just finished two. Yeah, she can definitely play three. I think four might not happen though because four is. It's weird. It's like nobody have a PS three. Like, no streamers seem to have PlayStation 3s. They all have PS4s and 5s, and they just think everything is going to get remastered or ported. And then people be like, yo, play MGS3. And they're like, oh, shit. Can you emulate that? So that's going to end up happening to her. But she got fucking washed in the Grey Fox fight. That was like three hours. It was unbelievably disheartening. But every time I see anybody fight that Grey Fox fight, they get shit on. 
Yeah, and, oh shit. You know what's extra funny about it? When DSP did it, first try. It was basically irrelevant in his playthrough. I forgot about that part of it. And that's, I think DSP kind of just being DSP. And he also get, especially back then, he used to get a lot of weird help behind the scenes and shit. So if I watched it and paid attention to it, I could probably notice something like, oh, somebody told him about this. Because, do you believe this guy? Here and there. Uh, I know it's in it, but I have, I've never analyzed it or anything like you that. Never that's gonna be what we'll you never analyzed it. You never analyzed the video. On that Saturday, we're going to do a marathon where I... Okay, because DSP never analyzed the first This Is How You Don't Play video, the first thing he overly criticized, right? He never watched it. He never analyzed it. That's why he said the person that made it should be sent to the crazy house. Because he didn't even fucking know what was in it. Well, there you go. I'm glad DSP is such a cool guy that he says ridiculous shit without actually even watching the content. You know what? If he watched this is like I don't play video, we can call him a like a no life idiot or something. You watched a two hour long hate filled video about yourself. You're a fucking no life idiot fucking loser. React to that thing in we can say something like that. And talking in depth about different things. And the thing is about Metal Gear Solid 2. Quite frankly, I don't even know that much about it. Did he finally I confess? Not really. I played it. I knew but he kind of did, all. but he didn't. All but right, the I thing is, you can't call it a confession because it's not. And if you do, you're playing into what he wants you to play into. It's a part of his plan to have other people say that he confessed to playing these games. But he did. He literally did. Confess to at least Barbara playing them. Says hello. I'm an interactive streamer. I was recording offline. I barber. On how to play the game. I'm not going to say anything offensive. Uh, we all love the barber. <laughs> Everybody wave, uh, everybody send a smiley face yeah, or a sure waving emoji such, right? to the swollen uh, underscore dingus barber. So reacting to the gameplay will to be interesting, schools. reacting to the commentary will be interesting. It's going to be a very interesting event to say the least, okay? So, that's coming up on August 20th, and I feel that... Show the barber DSP's the haircut. to order a food for, like, Feasting with the King, that would be that. Now, and I... It's good. Hold on. And I sure treated it as such, right? Give him that frame and tell him this part is where the bowl gets put on. <laughs> it's like he got a bowl cut. Dude, it actually is like he legit got a bowl cut. It was sort of bowl cut off and they gave him a little fade. Cat gave him a fade. Um, it's going to be a very interesting oh, thing. Oh, DSP. Be the time. If we're going to order a food for like feasting with the king, that would be that. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to tell us anyway, so I'm not even going to do it. Do Just pay attention. Ooh, this is so weird. Here's the deal. Dude, we're going to end up watching most of this pre-stream. Legit. Because the whole thing is kind of wild. Because I didn't even skip ahead. And look at what, just look at what we're about to get. Don't even listen. Look at it. Things right now for me are really, really financially tight. All right. He's bad. Now, I'm not, I don't want to hear a single fucking word from scumbag idiots <laughs> who they should about, about me on a regular basis. I dropped my triangle. Close all his Here's the deal. And look, trolls. Dude, if you watch a DSP pre stream and pay attention to when he talks negatively about something, complain about something, hate on something, generally it's negative about something. It's basically all of the times he talk. And if it's not, like if he's being generally positive or neutral, I don't even think DSP can be positive. I think he can only be neutral. If you give him like a hundred dollars, he's not going to be positive. He's going to be neutral. Thank you for the money. But I've had some slow days recently. Thank you for the money. But it would sure be nice if blah, blah, blah. Like when fucking one minute man gave him $25. Of course, he expects this, but then he don't. So he gets it and he's like, oh, it would be nice if we got 50. Bro, what? And then he gets the 50. I bet you he, he probably got 50 now. And once he got the 50, he probably said, oh, man, if we can get 100, my off day is tomorrow. I really could use the help. Like positivity don't exist. You only go to neutral. You go to neutral and you go to negative. And he's always putting himself in the negative. It's insane. Things right and that's now, what he's about to do now. For me, kinda are really, really financially tight. Is right? he the? Oh, no, no, he's begging to. Is he the negativity in some way? He's complaining. He's hating. He's saying somebody sucks. He's saying somebody failed. He's pointing out somebody. Why don't DSP ever tell some people do good? He only tells us when somebody's doing good if it's a game he's playing. Resident Evil sold a billion copies, and it's so happened to be the week he's playing the same game. That type of shit. And he always talk about somebody failing or somebody losing or somebody doing bad or somebody going away or somebody quitting content creation 
or how he outlasted somebody and all of that shit. He never have something nice to say. Even when he got good news, it's him asking for money. His good news will be that he got a new goal. Prepare to abandon ship. <laughs> Prepare to abandon ship. Or his good news would be like, Jesus, what could DSP good news be? He points down to the member's goal and say the good news is we hit the goal. Bad news is we're going to lose 100 members tomorrow. Damn it. Now, I'm, Whatever, I don't I'm just hating. I'm sorry. Word. I don't want to hear a fucking word sure from you fucking idiots. Basis saying, the negativity. Really, really financially I, I just keep rewinding. Right. Now, to hear the beginning. I don't want to hear a single fucking word from scumbag Hello? idiots who make sure about, about me on a regular basis saying, Phil blows all. Dude, that's what he's going to do. If he ever go on a honeymoon, he's going to hit us for that. Finally, I can go on a honeymoon. It can't be a like a net positive. He's going to like make it shitty in a way. Like, uh, I don't know, if somebody say happy birthday a day after his birthday, well, thank you, but it's a couple days late. That type of shit. Like, nobody wants to fucking say anything to you if you act like that. Just fucking shut up. All his money on this or that, and mobile games and this. <laughs> mobile bullshit. games. Okay, it's fucking... Bullshit. Yeah, this whole free stream is kind of a rant, been, sadly. It always will be bullshit. The last 50 this minutes is basically what made me want to watch it on stream, though. That means with these but events, he's begging. This is the begging segment. On food. It's pretty good. So that's what I mean. Like, actually, when I bought that Indian food for the closet cleaner. Oh, yeah. Last... And it's about food, too, which makes the begging even more funny. So I was like, oh, shit. You know, I probably shouldn't have spent that much. That was a lot of money that I just dropped on that. And, you know, I, I'm trying my best to make ends meet and afford everything. I'm actually really nervous because in about a week's time, I got those two big bills every month, my internet bill and my, my condo dues. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough between now and then. Like I have, I have, you know, tomorrow's my day off. I got to spend money then on, on things that we're doing. Um, you know, things for around the house, grocery shopping, etc. All right. Then I basically have a week to raise enough funds, not only for those bills, you but see, my next day. The off look on my face time. right now. This is me. I'm absolutely shocked. Oh my God. <gasps> What? Phil has bills? No! And then after that, we got events <laughs> coming up, right? Then we've got the closet clean-out event. Then we've got... The closet clean-out event? Coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, no! So bills! So I basically have to see what I can afford, all right? And so what I'm, what, what I'm basically trying to tell you this is... You know, coming up with these events, <laughs> I might not be able to go crazy with the food and stuff... All right, I want you to understand that, um, especially because now Please I'm doing understand. It's not like, oh, Phil's doing one a month. I'm doing a closet clean out. <clears throat> then I'm doing, this is how you don't play React. Then you have to buy food the to do these. collection comes out later in the month. And for that first weekend of September, I was planning on doing like a pizza party. Bro, don't a pizza cost like $20. Money, money, money spent every week. See what I'm saying? Even if you so, door dash it, you could spend like $20 yeah. and get a pretty reasonable pizza. Anyway, please do. Damn it. Thank you for that. That's like because one uh, not tip. Like, I'm not, I'm really right now, it's so tight. Everything so, is so tight. tight. Um, First date. I gotta basically kind of be cutting back. So, if I take a look at these events, and I'm like, this is such I a bad segment. This is basically the opening of his stream, by the way. We gotta cut back. Telling you that right? he gotta this, cut this, back on spending money on yeah. food for streams. And, uh, again, I apologize. I like doing as much as I can for you guys. He's acting and like it's a reward for I'm us for him fun. to eat food because he's made it seem this way, dude. I forgot. I told Cat to fix a shot. So, Cat then took like five pills or so. Things will likely get better. You know, they will. Things are Hold gonna on. Get pick up. There's going to be new games, new releases, more hype around here about the stuff. Right now, it's kind of a dead We still have we time, Kat. That. You better take right. Hopefully, you didn't uh, gonna get better. drink your shot yet. eventually going to end, too. Yeah, inflation's oh, eventually going to end. I don't think that's so like, you know, technically a thing. That it ends? You better take but I get what he means. better take a sip. Years. All right? We used to go to Costco. I get what he means. don't know. Costco is a wholesale you better club take here a sip. For some reason, I feel like we're all going to be gone by the time that happens. But once you pay the it might be a bit of a doomer thing. In there in bulk that are huge so I'll give you some perspective here. By Chris I kind of want to skip this part. Come. Thanks Hold for on. massive positivity. I'm fucking sitting on the towel and shit. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to skip it and explain what he said. Pretty much he wants to go to Costco to save money on buying toilet paper. Because, like, oh, my God, you guys, if I go to Costco and I spend $20 on toilet paper, I get way more than if I bought toilet paper from the grocery store. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, like, well, it's the reason why the grocery store is called the grocery store. 
Why are you buying toilet paper from the grocery store? Technically, when I go to Walmart, I'm buying alcohol from the grocery store. But am I complaining about the prices of, you know what, I actually am. But that's probably because Doritos cost six fucking dollars. But you get the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> right now, if I go... Costco. Yeah, what about Amazon Prime? What about it? This dude is so fucking suspicious. It blows my mind how somebody can do stuff on the internet for a job for more than 10 years and they can be internet illiterate. Why is he that? Why does he buy stuff like toilet paper off Amazon? Why is he going to a physical store to buy so many things? And this dude at one point in time bragged. He did an Amazon Prime like unboxing video and he showed us toilet paper. And that was way before people was acting weird for toilet paper. That time period has passed by now. But you get the point I'm trying to make. When he was having a hard time buying toilet paper, he never thought about buying it online. And I was like, what the fuck? How are you this dumb? I'm not, I can't even call it dumb. How are you this slow? You basically live online. That should be the first place you check for everything. And this dude sit on his stream and he says stuff like, if you guys know who takes good trade-ins, let me know. He want people to fucking look up stores around his local area to find trade-in values for him. A dude that's 40 years old who talk down to his viewers all the time and treat them like actual weird like kids. If they're not actually weird kids. And then he act the way he act. Then he asks for money too. It's so weird, man. He's got a variety of audience. That's why he, when he's begging, he's only begging to like the 30 year olds and the 40 year olds. And when he's talking about what football is and what Valentine's Day mean, he's talking to 15 year olds that live in Portuguese. I think they know what Valentine's Day is. I don't know, man. People, wherever the fuck GPM live. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't know what 4th of July is? Like, no shit, they don't. And if they do know, they don't fucking need to really care. They don't live in the United States. Do we know every holiday in other countries? I don't fucking know. I don't know what holidays they have in Sweden or some shit. Because I don't give a fuck. You get the point I'm trying to make. It, it get annoying sometimes. Sometimes it's a little bit too much. Every once in a while, every once in a while, more than more often than not, I feel like I'm actually dumb or I'm being treated like I'm dumb. But in a way that's hard to explain, a way that makes me feel even more dumb. And then I actually close the tab like I unironically just say, nah, I can't watch this, bro. You're making me feel like weird. It'd be like that sometimes. Anyway, we're about to do a shot. We're doing this shot with Kat. She's watching the stream right now. And she's been waiting. Wait, what my fucking... Oh, she's here. I was about to see where my VTuber lady at. She's been waiting like an hour for me to take this shot. You so take we take this shot. On behalf of Kat, she's watching the stream right now. And everybody else, like TDS Scott, Dante Lowe, aloof one, Pineapple Menace. Happy Boxing Day. <laughs> By the way, we've got a new tip goal. It would really be great if, if we hit the tip goal. I'll I'll um, I'll uh, I'll put on some boxing gloves, and then Derek tell him that's not what boxing day is about. Uh, tell us what fan got with two names: FAC three sixteen, Scuff Jake, Mike, Dip, Bit, Dip. Big ups to Vine. Theo Dutch streams. Chris Pro Farrakhan. Third Eye, the third. I want to eventually do a stream going on my Costco. But the more days pass, it's like the farther away I get from doing a stream like that. Uh, Chris Pro Farrakhan. Would they gift this up to. I actually don't know. To the name I can't fucking say. <laughs> make it piss? Is this make it piss? I'm never reading this name again. And Danny Feedmaster with the prime. 11 months. Yeah, the perfect time. We're about to take a shot. Dedicated to Cat. I'm sure she's watching the stream right now. She want to know what happened with the champions. She didn't watch the actual pre-stream. But uh, let's fucking go. I even put the glove on for this one.
Did you get the whole song for Crime Song? Oh, did somebody do the redeem? You better take a sip. Yeah, that's what was the redeem. I got 17. I know I don't play Magic the Gathering. I'm glad I took that long to respond because I was going to actually say what is what is MTG. And I would have just extended my answer for you, sadly. But I don't know. I don't know anything about car games. For a little while, it was uh, Shadowverse. I like how I remember the name of that. I tried to play, I got into Shadowverse for like three days. A few years ago, and that was it. I never got in any other car games. I kind of like physical cards. And I will need to buy back in the day, like you can buy a pack of toilet like binder baseball cards, cards like shitty Pokemon cards, cards. But Magic the Gathering, nah. And that's probably. I said I was gonna skip this too. Like it's got some value in it to listen to and complain about for somebody. So but it's such like, an annoying segment. Sometimes I was about to go into that too. Sometimes he talk about shit and it's like, I feel like he's talking about it to try to fit in or to try to be like a normie. When he talk about the weather, it's like, bro, you could talk about the weather every day. You could have been talking about the weather every day for fucking 10 years. But when everybody else is crying about the weather, when everybody else is hot as fuck and he's got three air conditioners in his house now, now he wants to talk about the weather all day. Stop trying to fucking fit in, bro. Talk about your fucking schedule for 10 more minutes and mobile champions or whatever the fuck. Just like when, when uh, COVID was big. Of course, like, everybody kind of talked about it. But I'm just saying, Nick A30 didn't start his stream. Oh my God, you guys. I went to the uh, Costco and the line was around the block. Because everybody's trying to buy toilet flavor right now because of COVID. Like... You know, we can look outside and see some things. You don't have to tell us about the world around you every day when it's everyone else's reality. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to stick with. DSP specifically doesn't have to tell us about the world around him every day when it's basically all fucking reality. Is he going to tell us about gas prices soon? Because he didn't start doing that yet. When's DSP going to tell us about gas prices? When he drive around a block more than once? He's going to drive around a block twice instead of once. And he's going to say, oh, my God, you guys, gas was five dollars. You guys know the rising. The price of gas is rising nationwide. It's because of fucking Putin. He's going to say it's because of Putin. And he's going to say, I don't want to be political, you guys. I'm just saying the prices of gas are outlandish. I hope these gas prices go down because support's been low. He's going to blame gas prices on like Jack's not getting the money. We need to renew our membership. And even though right now I know we can't afford to buy everything, oh, we need to basically just, every, you know, once a year, we've been in Costco in like a year Yo, and a half. I think we're once we have been in Costco in 30 renewing, years. We're poor. I haven't renewed my membership or anything. So I, I got to renew my membership. Like, what we really need to do is we need to go to Costco. And even though it's expensive, we need to renew our membership. And even though right now I know we can't afford to buy I wonder who these pots are for. Every, you know, once a week, whenever we need, oh, we need toilet paper this week. Like, go nobody buy, gave him money because of this. Store. It's go just the Costco, weird cringe DSP segment with there. him kind of asking for money, but not doing it up front. Grocery store, you're getting three Bro, everything's so expensive. You see? You see? Um, <clears throat> Dude, I have to buy toilet paper. So, that's what I Somebody mean, should like, say, get a bidet. And they can yell at him. Why would I get a fucking bidet? I'm doing my best. You know, in this year, I've cut down on everything. I've cut down on. Uh, He's deep posing the whole time. That we have here, everything has, has been cut back, uh, back, um, as much as possible. And you know, thank you, you know? to those who are still supporting the streams. Thank you to those who are helping out. But I just want you to understand that, like, I love going all out. But this month alone, we have two big events coming up: a third Dude, at the beginning of September. This shit's so that's weird. That's a lot of money to be spent on like big food meals and shit. Feast and he loved stuff. going so all out. With that. My question is, fail. Why do you only go all out when it comes to spending money on food for your streams? Something that literally doesn't benefit the viewer. Him eating food.
regardless of how many stupid faces he make and how much he say is tangy and robust. He can eat a sandwich and make faces and say it's tangy and robust. Like he can legitimately make a ham sandwich and eat it and make a face and say it's tangy and robust. And it would be the same amount of value. So I don't know why he's pretending like him spending $80 on DoorDash from restaurants that he like is helping us and being nice to us. And that we're all going to lose out if he can't do it anymore. Because that's what he's acting like. He's not saying that. But he's really trying to, I think he's trying to make us feel bad. He can't go all out anymore, you guys. Sure, he didn't go all out on any game releases. But man, when it comes to those food eating segments, he really goes all out. You know, you know when, I, when I stream and I do the segments when I go to Raising Cane's, man, I used to go all out. I'm, I'm so sad. You, I'm so sad about it, you guys. I don't really have like $30 to spend on Raising Cane's and buy a bunch of sauce and slices of bread. So sadly, next time I go to Raising Cane's, I won't be able to buy as much, man. I, I just can't go all out anymore like I used to. I'm sorry. All right. All right. I hope you guys understand. Okay. Oh, really? Hobo X, let's try the Costco's lasagna. <laughs> See if I like it more than the grocery store. I hope you understand. I, like. I think at one time, if I remember correctly. I can't go all out though. buying fast we food were, for myself Costco anymore. wanted to get one of their pizzas. They didn't even have it. Like, I, I, I Dude told him to get lasagna. He told us about a time he couldn't get pizza. Worthwhile. So anyway. Um, needed information now, now about Costco for some reason. but, but anyway, i digress <laughs> so that's the point i'm making i like that he okay i don't know what to call this what scientific term would you call this if you thought about it too much because he created this the fucking costco discussion and then some asshole asked him about pizza and he responds about pizza we're talking about no some asshole asked him about lasagna he responded about lasagna talking about pizza and he said how did we get on costco how do we get on Costco? Because you wanted to beg, my dude. That's how we got on Costco. Because he wanted to fucking beg. Because he wanted to beg. He wanted to use actually the price of food to subtly ask for people to give him money. He should have said it would be nice. It sure would be nice if we hit the tips goal. Maybe if we hit the tips goal consecutively, I can like go all out on DSP tries it. I don't know how we ended up talking about that, man. Got, again, guys, Maybe somebody else sports, tricked him. Obviously, please do. Somebody debated you know, him into I'm talking about Costco. Beyond, He's not asking, asking for anything him. above and beyond. But anyway. <laughs> I like how if I was to try to accuse him of asking for money here, he basically confirms that he kind of was asking for money here. So that's the point I'm making. Again, guys, if you can support the streams, obviously, please do. But you know. Obviously. No shit. If you can support the stream you're watching right now, obviously do it. Yeah, duh. Every stream ever. Beyond, I'm not asking for anyone to go I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you're watching the stream and you're able to support it, it will be appreciated if you supported it. This may not be understood by you, the viewer, but if you support a stream you're watching, the streamer will appreciate the support. It's like a really cool when it happened. On the streams, that would help alleviate. Like right and now, consistent I'm, support I'm is even better. Nervous because in one week. Give me that prime every two month, pimp. Giant bills to have to clear. I'm going to be able to pay my bills. I don't know. I'm going to have enough to do what? Run errands? Hold on, hold on. Bills. I have to clear. Bills. I have to have enough money for a day out. I have to have enough money for a day out to do errands and stuff. I'm just being honest. I'm like, what doesn't get paid now? What a weird stream. And it's what really sucks is that's my reality. That's been my reality for a while. But then you've got these complete, complete scumbag shitheads out there. Damn, this whole stream really is just him complaining about trolls. Holy shit. Wow, it actually is. This whole, this whole pre-stream is about trolls. Like, legitimately. I thought I was going to end up skipping at the end, but no. The whole thing is basically complete moron shit dickhead assholes and him talking about them. Making these insane That's pretty good. bullshit videos about me that aren't true. You know, no factual substantiation. That's why it's like, you know how he do his weird day in recap, stupid fucking video. And he basically lie about what the previous day was. Oh, we had a, uh, what is, what is this stupid shit? We had a level one podcast and it was really chill. A lot of good conversation. And then you listen to it and it's this. It's actually an hour of him basically yelling at people that aren't actually even watching his real stream. They're watching somebody else make fun of him. And he's yelling at them. And he don't even know if they're really there. He's just assuming that they're there. Man. Oh, circumstantial this, bullshit that. 
and none of it has any evidence. And is this bad? And then people believe it. Like, if this dude's around five years from now, is it going to be worse? Or is everybody going to be fucking banned and people won't want to make new videos because everybody else got banned? I I don't know. I I try to just tune it out. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. I know. That's why I went through all the effort to get my old channels back. Here it is. Obviously. Right now. (laughs) Okay. This is him banning some dude. They would name, like, let's just make up a name. They would name, like, you spend a bunch of money on WWE, some shit like that. And he's like, oh, there it is. There they are. You fucking literal piece of dog shit. <laughs> I mean, literally, the moment I say it, one of them up appe- And this is worthless as fuck because him saying there it is and pointing out a troll is only valid to the people actually watching this chat while it was happening and the people watching other people make fun of him when they show both chats on screen. So, like, this is lost. If you watch this a couple hours from now when he re uploaded it, is lost. You don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. He looks like a crazy person. He's talking about an invisible person. Look at this. Look at what? I'm seeing you. I ain't seeing anybody else. Look at what? What, you want me to go to Kiwi Forums and find a message? in the chat as if on command. Here he is. Here's a piece of dog shit. He could at least say what the dude was doing, but he doesn't. He just doesn't. Shit. A, a living piece of dog shit <sighs> has emerged in the chat of DSP Gaming. Like you can smell living them. piece of dog shit. You can smell them. Okay. Like I'm not you need to stop. Them. You know what? This is another part. I thought about this when I was listening to it earlier. Uh, he kind of kill his being serious thing or being angry thing when he go in a talk in certain ways. Like, oh, it's a literal piece of dog shit. It's a piece of dog shit. And he's like, me, 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 me. And shit flies out of his mouth. It's like, you trying to make a joke or is this still serious? <laughs> like he might as well just be sarcastic he might as well say oh look DSP spends a thousand dollars on WWE champions every month oh welcome to the stream oh oh you welcome to the stream you guys oh, the, DSP spends a thousand dollars on WWE champions every, welcome to the stream oh, we're so happy to see you he should do some shit like that it's like the same level of worthlessness and just him making sounds over the microphone it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how serious he wants to take him, though. And he's been around for a long time, and I still don't really know. Because when he just talk about poo, you know. A fucking enough. I, <laughs> I had a fucking enough. Me, right? So anyway. um, <clears throat> Wait. Did this even get a thing? Uh, Help. It didn't get a thing. I think something died. Everything broke. Dan Darkheart 417 got gifted a sub by orange underscore Yoshi underscore Chat, everything broke. Thanks for the massive positivity. What was our notification? Streamlabs banned me. Big ups Orange Yoshi. They get the sub to Dankar 417. The first month for them. And Radioactive Bobo too. The prime, four months. You only get one of those a month. Uh damn, what would he say? Fuck, I can't come up with the bullshit. I need some bullshit to say. Like, thank you for helping me out, but but I can't think of the but. Hey, we got a hype train. Big ups white guy, 0015, for the sad flu with the 100 bits. I don't know why I didn't play actual notifications, though. My notifications have been fucked during the stream. It'll help a ton. This week in particular, okay? Like, I'm not stressed out fucking enough. I gotta put up with this shit, right? So anyway... Um, I thank, you way. Way. thank you for understanding. Thank if you. you. Can't support the streams in any if you way, can't please support, do. please do. It'll help a ton. Help this a ton. Week, this week in particular, tips will really help. Tips will really help. We now, train active on the <laughs> if you get subs or send bits, it becomes more powerful. I remember you saying that exact same thing three years ago during an LSB restream, DSP. And you've said that exact same thing almost every week since. <sighs> right? So anyway. Um, For the past year. Yeah, I just said it. The past three. Russian Oticu 1011 cheered. Oh, this is a good question. Because I already got the answer before I even finished reading it. You would want to collect physically. The Sega Saturn. The Super Nintendo. 
Thank you for understanding. I used to kind of collect Sega Jim Saturn games. Anyway, please do. That's the only console I collected the most out of all of them that existed. Really this is what I put anyway, on Please do. It'll help a ton. This, this week in particular. Tip this week in particular. He said that so many times. This week in particular. This would really help. To pay oh, man. But please understand when these events I want to pick pick ghost to work. Be able to go crazy and break the bank doing the, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to um, break the bank buying gotta, food. I got to scale back as they say. Scale back and, and do what's feasible. All right? Okay. All right. Um so What was that combination of words again? Um, this, thank you for understanding particular. This week in particular. Let's see if we got something. William the Alchemist is a sub. Fog is in chat. This is purple if this is a Twitch hoodie. I'm burning the motherfucker. Fair fucking warning. Hmm. Okay, he's definitely not bigger than 2016, 2015, 2017. So that's good. But I want to find begging with that exact one. It actually might not happen a lot. But he's definitely been doing it for years. This weekend, look, my taxes 2019. Let's let's see. On my taxes, uh, uh, this week. In particular, the toughest part about doing taxes when you're self-employed is stop, stop. I got to type stop. My belt this week. <sighs> Downtime. He's doing something this week in particular for your cheers, your cheers everyone for your cheers this week in particular because <laughs> those hype trains the cheers the hype trains oh no yeah. thank you very much everyone for your cheers this week in particular because those hype trains the cheers were very high this week and i thank you for that and now yo gifted subscriptions this week oh Sunday shit Papa give the subs yeah 4335 brandy bottle philly buckeye it's no okay nice dsp gonna be on twitch Oakley again one day all gifted a single sub We've got the longer he exists, the closer he's going to get to being on Twitch again, if that makes sense. Like, if he's around 10 years from now, he's going to have been on Twitch again within that 10 years. This merch. Troll tippers this week in particular. This week in particular, there's been. This week in particular feels like, you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But you know, and I know, and we all know, them night streams, and you know what? You know what? The night streams don't get recorded. So all of them LSB restreams I remember watching when he would say this week in particular, blah, blah, blah. He didn't fucking upload those. So there you go. <laughs> I played myself. I'm looking for content that don't exist. This week in particular. Tips will really help. Bro, tips will literally help anybody at any given time. You fucking tip Trump and they'll be like, yo, thank you for the five dollars, bro. This money. It's still right. money. Okay. Um. Uh, so. Russian Otaku with the hundred bits. Uh, thank you. I already responded to that. I, I think. And William the Alchemist with the resub. Twenty four months in a row. Twenty four total. That's two whole years. Big ups, William the Alchemist, lurking and stalking. Head, outside of all the things I just this week in particular, resubs really will particularly out. help me. Particularly, right we need to figure out this. He's dropping the L's. We need to figure this out. Don't worry. He already figured it out before he even said this. This is all fake discussion. We've been talking about this for three days, and we just haven't come to a consensus. We have been talking about how much money he should ask for like some people want to do this. something. Uh, well, he's been doing too much. Pizza eating streams. He pretty much want to eat food, and he's considering an event. He want to eat food and clean his closet. Going on, but. Basically, and he call these you know, uh, I events. I, maybe I, I've overdone it, and now the problem is normally those would have been member goals, and now they're already happening, and now there's nothing to set for a member goal. You see? I wonder what, what right, you would call this if somebody tell you that they're doing something for you when you don't like think that they are. Before they tell you like, oh, man, I'm doing such nice things for you and you don't appreciate it. If somebody was to tell you that. What the fuck is that called? <laughs> what type of person is that? What would a what would a, an asshole? An asshole in a suit or with a degree. What would they call that guy? Out of here. Let's get this fucking idiot out of here. Okay, so let's see. I want your I, I want your opinions. I want your feedback. All right. 
Like, I want to call him something, but I don't know what the correct term would be. Please. And, you know, the type of person that told me that I like something that they're doing. You guys love this. Dude, when he talked, he talked about it during his stream, I think. When he talked about that fucking closet cleaning stream, that shit was so disgusting. Because I watched the closet, the closet stream from the beginning to the end. The whole thing. And I remember before he started it, he said that he thought it wouldn't be interesting or something. And then when he was maybe 30 minutes in, some dude called it boring and he made sure to point out that they called it boring. And he said, you can call it boring without being able to talk in the chat or something stupid like that. Right. The whole stream passed and now one person said anything close to being positive reinforcement. The next day, he said, people said the stream was meaningful, meaningful and it was worthwhile and it wasn't boring. And I'm like, bro, nobody said that. You were just talking to Derek the whole time. I get it. You don't want to say that your own shit was boring, but you literally just saying that people said something they didn't say. Like dead ass. Nobody's being that weird in your fucking chat. Nobody's being that weird in anybody's chat, bro. Oh, this stream was worthwhile and meaningful and cool and fun and chill. Nobody has viewers like this. DSP only get like 300, 400 people. He had 700 people for the closet cleaning stream. But he only get average 300, 400 people. Nobody's being that fucking cringe sucking his dick like that. Nobody. It's too cringe. It's actually too cringe to be that positive. And I don't know why he makes shit up like that. Derek wasn't even that positive. Derek was a fucking fucking clown during that stream. I complained about Derek so much, bro. Half of that stream was me complaining about Derek. Derek wasn't doing shit but saying bullshit to get a response. Derek is the type of person to tell you you got gum on your shoe after you tell him that you got gum on your shoe. Oh, Derek, I got some gum on my shoe. And then five minutes later, you say, man, how's that gum doing on your shoe? That's what Derek was doing. Derek was a fucking clown during that stream. Just He was awful. Absolutely awful performance from Derek. But nobody was sucking his dick like that is the point I'm trying to make. And he literally made up what people said the next day. He just made it up. Because if somebody was that positive, he would have repeated the message. I don't know why he do that shit. I don't know why he do that. It's like, I mean, obviously, it's literally the same thing. It's like if I was to wait until tomorrow and then say, Yeah, you guys, when I watched, when I watched DSP complain about the trolls... So many people told me that the stream was meaningful and it was chill and it was fun and it was informative and it was a good time and they really liked it, man. And it's like, no, no stream is that deep. No, it's just not. And especially not some dude cleaning his closet out. That ain't the way life works. And I don't know why he tried to put words in people's mouth and then he put words in people's mouth and make them look cringe as fuck. That's feasible. We already talked about what's not if somebody liked this stream that much then why the fuck he didn't get he didn't get like a thousand dollars from one dude feasible you guys know it's not feasible we talked about it <laughs> why didn't jack's rex her what's tip feasible? you know jackie says what about non-gaming content more regularly but i hate it events needed well like what right what this dude asking for but no special events needed well like what right oh no, it's not he wants what them to change content more regularly but no special events needed well like what right what you mean, like, right, what? like what? You can't use context clues? He needs mm -hmm. direct details about how to make his own streams. Hey, Phil, what about getting. doing this and so doing like it like this? Months. What do you mean? Uh, like what? Up another one? I mean, we could. I've done that before. It was a sub goal. It was a member's right. goal. We could set right? Another react event. The next reward would be, okay, <laughs> hit this goal. There's another react event happening in, like, September. React event. And obviously this is a react event like right now. I didn't even charge for it. I should have set a member's goal. I should have set up members go to react to him yelling about trolls. Dude, how mad would DSP get? Because he basically set up fucking member goals to watch like Wings videos. Jesus Christ. What would you like? Maybe what he wouldn't care. Reasonable I mean, he probably would, but it would be nice if he didn't show he cared. What could we do? What could we do? Anything that you think would be reasonable. Tevin reacts. DSP shit. Guys, we have uh, currently... Currently, uh, let me let me check the members count. Let me check the sub count. Um, currently, you guys, 
we have, uh, hold on, I'm waiting for it to load. Currently, we have 529 subscribers on the channel and 572 sub points. If I get to 725 sub subscribers, I'll do Tevin Reacts. Phil Drama. <laughs> that's not, that's not a real goal, you guys. Don't I mean, give any subs for it. Eventually, that's where we're going to be go. All right? As I've told you guys, I am looking to diversify my content. And he's got to diversify anything, because he's old. That doesn't Don't tell him he's old. <laughs> yeah, I'm not listening to this. This is way too cringe for me. Anyway. Anyway. No, I'm not watching that. Commentary. I know what you're talking about. It's an hour long and it's from Secret Life of DSP. I literally know thing. all of the stuff he's showing that video, so I don't have a reason to watch it. Sorry for leaving for being so negative about it, but now nah, I'm not gonna watch it. Actually, me. Gifted a sub to white guy. <laughs> goal, and then there's some kind of a celebratory <laughs> event <laughs> in reaction to that. Whether that's a viewer's choice. I love Secret Life of DSP. I just know I don't need to watch this fucking video. All the viewers' choice games. Think about it. We finished. You want to get gold, does? Doing Final Fantasy or not Final Fantasy? Excuse me. We're doing. Somebody get the point I'm trying to make. You probably understand what I mean. It's like it's just me watching shit that I already seen. And I know yeah, that's the case. Disgusting. It's not meant for me. Finish Fable. It's not a video that's made Batman. for me. You know, we're finishing up all the viewers' choice stuff you guys wanted. So. Oh yeah, somebody, um, the dude that got him to rant a bunch basically brought that up. They were like, I think they might have been telling his chat to watch the video. Whatever, Maybe we'll get to it. We'll all get to the stuff I'm talking about eventually. Call. I'm just taking too long. All right. Um. So request. But, but we have song requests. If you want to request songs, exclamation mark S R plus the name or plus the YouTube link. And it'll play in the background. It won't be that loud. But it is gonna play. And it won't be in the archive. Something so it's exclusive to this stream. Or a set so if you don't want SR requests, just oh, watch the archive. <laughs> You start up a whole ongoing series that completely changes your content. That's not what we're looking for here. <laughs> I do appreciate suggestions for future for diversified content. I do. And if that's what we're talking, that's fine. Maybe I could right turn. Now, yeah, I'm going to turn his up a little bit more like, what to balance it out, like even though right? I don't think I really need to. All right, I got how about it at we're gonna a run a poll six decibel right boots. Live on the stream. Okay. Uh, Rageathon want to pull. This is not going to necessarily 100% determine what we do. But it might not but happen. You're interested to get your feedback as he wiggles his ear. What? Oh, shit. I just hit my camera. What is your oh, feedback? Yeah. What would you be more interested in seeing? All right. Goal will be soon. All right. As you can see, we lost. I like how loud his fan is Why? in the background. Most people aren't motivated to renew their membership or give membership. One time I was listening to myself okay. watch his shit, so, and I was so mad because I thought it was my fan in the background, but it wasn't. Off of where we are today, I still don't really know how my ambient sound is. Channel. There you go. I don't go we through enough ever to actually listen members. to it. We will but I know it's not as bad as his. But what if okay. it's worse? And you do now, it's counting towards an event. If you wanted to give some memberships to help the channel out and get closer <laughs> to this event, now would be the time. Okay? That's Here great. Now would be the time. He has no faith in his viewers. Hello to Axiom Infinity, who did our first contribution. They need a the reason to give super chat memberships. To How you doing, Axiom? They Hopefully need a reason. Support. Hopefully the stream don't crash, because I'm opening up some windows. Thank you for that. Hey, I got 28 gigs of RAM. I might not crash. No, absolutely. Thumbs up, Fla Flan Flandre. How do you say your name? Flandre? It's probably don't Flandre. Get me wrong. Flandre sound kind of sucks. He says, you cannot do gaming if you get older. Okay, maybe for faster paced games, but... Lo slower pace stuff tactical rpgs they can't be much slower pace. okay let's yeah it is lame okay. as fuck okay basically dsp is talking about how he's getting older and <laughs> wow yeah look at him can i replay these i've been putting no. together we get we get fucking good guys Legos, wait a minute Legos, Legos, i didn't hear him i have my volume too low Big ups, Borok. They get this up white guy, oh, oh, to one, White Guy oh, oh, one, five. the first month. And this probably played too, but I didn't hear it. William the Alchemist just subscribed. I'm still thinking my shit broke because they were broke earlier. 
But maybe they weren't broke this time. But he does this because you see, um, DSP is getting older, so his hands are getting older as well. So he has to hold his hands up like this to say that that's happening. Yeah, why did one song request work? What the fuck's going on here? Only Dingus song requests worked. And I have song requests on for everybody. Like, it's literally able for everybody. So we got scammed. I might have to just restart this bot. It's a bunch of weird things going on with the stream. Okay. It's very suspicious. I go like this. And as I clench, I feel tightness. Hey, long story short, DSP is getting older, so he has to do this and pretend like his hands are falling apart. Like he's Narcissa after they stop speedrunning Zelda. And then he tells us that he can play... Basically, he'll be able to play RPGs and shit, right? Until he die. Because his hands won't go through that much. And... Uh, you know? I could have did that and sound way longer than I was about to do it. Somebody try to request a song now. They might work. I have to reset the thing. For some reason. I don't know why. I never have to reset this to get song requests to work. But I think they work now. That we don't dance don't work. Guy with two names got banned. Chris Farrakhan's banned. So why did Wilhelm, Wilhelm Scream work? And Six Nine Tails work? And the other ones didn't work. This is very, very suspicious. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Everything's falling apart. I'm blaming Streamlabs. Streamlabs actually might be messed up in some weird way. In a way I can't explain. Is Wilhelm a mod? They're not a mod. I was about to say, there's no way they're a mod and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they don't work. I don't know why they don't work. You know, it's not going to go away. So that my Use passion is not going to change. But the point I'm making is I have to acknowledge I'm getting older and we do have to find diversification of content for me to continue to be a successful content creator on the internet. I know I have the following. I know I have the, the viewer base. People yeah, want to see me do stuff. If, if, Something's if you definitely ever needed an like example, wrong. And it's not on my end. I'm not, bl I'm not taking a like blame. me and what I do no matter what, take I guess some requests technically don't work. Who else? There wasn't any drama... There wasn't. Any there was something I was gonna say about it this was just hand me, thing. Me and me, talking with you guys, looking at shit in my closet, and people loved it so much they wanted again yeah, right yeah. away. Well, he kind of changed subjects a little bit, but I don't think if your hands are fucked up to the point where you can't play fast-paced games, I don't think playing slow-paced games is gonna be good enough. Like, I think you just kind of won't be able to play anything. If we ever get to that point. I don't think DSP is going to play games at all. He's just going to like complain about Fortnite getting updates or something every day. Like literally right away. He's going to find so something to complain sign. about. That's a really good sign, actually. Because he can't talk about okay. stuff without complaining about it. He can't. Right now, Rageathon is actually when has DSP ever praised the something for more than five minutes straight? Or hype something up when he wasn't playing it or going to play it in the next sure. week? We haven't done one in a million He's years, basically a shill. What it would be is you guys nominate games that are rage inducing games um and you know we do a, a variety of them oh, the rage of thon is so trade. bad I, I think the thing is we did so many of them relationships the history of me being a content creator and that was and the reason he was talking about doing too many of the retrospectives i like how all of these have weird buzzwords and like names that we're supposed to remember too and in a way, we kind of hype them up by remembering this shit, but it's like, what the fuck are we supposed to call it something else for no reason? But what is it, the retrospective? He's saying that they got bored because he did too many of them. No, dude, they got bored because every retrospective turned into people expecting you to watch videos of you and Rambo driving down the street. They became him watching home movies. Every, everybody remember those retrospectives. I'm not going to go look them up and find it, but you remember. When every retrospective turned into him just watching videos of him and Rambo driving down the street. <laughs> I hate it. I hated it, man. It was so lame. Well, exactly. See, oh, this is when me and Rambo went to the, to the diner together. Oh, they say you're going to be a gay boy. Why? And we're going to make love to each other today. Yeah. When we first started with the retrospective. That shit wasn't it was fun, dude. the first time 
ever. Watch this shit on your own time. In time and looked at my history as a content creator, and I said, oh, even he was know, bored in those videos. He didn't want to watch them. And let me now, in the present day, react Copy to back. old kind of content I used to put out. And a lot of the times, it was insanely cringeworthy stuff. And I would openly admit, man, have I changed since then? And thank God, because that commentary is shit. The gameplay is shit. We could laugh at the old Phil and who he used to be because I'm not that Phil anymore. You see? But I think that kind of, that might have... I got a suspicious package in the mail. Lost its luster after we did it so I can't many, talk about it. The fans might be we've listening. We've already seen the biggest, most notable playthroughs that I've done in the past. We've already commented... Somebody try to do a song so request. Wow, they suck. <laughs> you know what I Maybe mean? two people. So, if they work, like they me. might work for you real. Know, I'm not like sure. Be like me. I uh, taught you what you know. I'm not sure. What, uh, like, for example. Yeah, this camera wide as hell. Like, if I walk out my door, watch back, it's still going right? to And by the way, it has to be react to me. I can watch back and not get in trouble. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the song like, request broke. Yeah, I don't know why. I know, I said problematic shit They've past, never done this before. If I watch that again today, I might get in trouble. If I rebroadcast it in 2022. Yeah, this is factually incorrect. Uh... I've seen every type of DSP video get watched, re-uploaded, and rebroadcasted on YouTube. They exist on YouTube already. On his channel. Some of them. Like, obviously, he don't... Sorry for opening the box in here. Obviously, he don't want to watch these videos because they make him look bad. Which is what he should just say. Because that's the truth. But to pretend like you gotta get banned for videos that you have on your own channel. And that you upload it to your own channel. And to pretend like you're gonna get banned from in 2022. Like, yeah, that might be the case. There's some stuff on YouTube that can get you in trouble if you watch it on YouTube in 2022. DSP videos are not one of them. It don't matter what DSP video it is. I've seen all of them get watched. You ain't gonna get banned for those stuff. Maybe you would. Maybe DSP will be the guy who gets banned for watching his own fucking video. But I ain't believe that. What about weird voice? Oh god, I do. That's what it is. A lot of people just want more drama. Well, let's watch a montage of Phil's most horrible things he's ever said. What Racist it? things, sexist things, these things, that thing. We can't even we can't watch that. We can't we really literally can. If I press play on it, I might get banned. <laughs> you know? Things are very different in 2022 than they, the way they used to be. Evil, do you have any suggestions? Because you, you brought it up actually. Retrospective, what do you think? You have anything that you... Is he calling him like a glorified out? stress ball? A hand exercise? Right now, Rageathon is in the lead. Now, keep in mind, this is... That's pretty right cringe. ...around 300 people on the stream. Um, 300 people. But Rageathon is massive. I wish he stopped counting to as well. Yeah. I hate that shit. I would be down for a Rageathon, but I would hope that people would actually nominate Rageaducing Games. This he picked up what I mean by some that bad habits when he went back to YouTube. Games, not and counting games, games is one of them. At least we get the finesse two time song and a cup hat song. I'm a fan of that finesse two times guy. The YouTube algorithm recommended it. It's like first day all song basically. Okay, I think it's giving that. a bad idea. No matter what games you play, should have five thousand views and like ten thousand likes. That's like not what the fuck? I've definitely played rage inducing games. Remember Super Meat Boy? Yeah, the audio thing is on purpose. What was that climber game? It's a channel point thing. If you do that, it changed my voice for four minutes to a random voice. That one's called. Um, it's super chill. Sometimes you it's not I get people nominated for Rage Zone, although I don't know how many people are in the game. Um, among others, there's definitely been games in the Rage Zone that have been entertaining, for sure. Oh, yeah? I love that, but here's the thing. <laughs> Number one, you have to understand. Like, well, the people voting for Rage of probably know the Rage of Thumbs. Like, they don't have to right that I don't know. a lot. So, for example, I don't know. right now, look at my goal. My goal is I'd like to get 50 new members. Okay? If you do the math on that, do the math. Right, I get about $2 per membership here on YouTube, roughly. You know, there are higher tiers and things that are more. Just in general, assuming I make mean, $2 per membership on YouTube. We're going to take a shot, soon, too. $100. So, but, so can't get ready. You know, there's taxes and things that get taken out of that. So, I'm making, what, $60 on that? Yeah, that's a whole goal. Dude, dude. this is so lame. This, this entire this segment is so fucking lame. Like, like, telling the viewer what you get exactly and be like, Oh, you guys think I get a lot and I don't? It's so lame. I've got to get to my point to complain about this long. It's so lame, dude. Oh, I'm having about two dollars right now. Look at my goal. My goal is I'd like to get 50 new members. Okay, if you do the math on that, okay, 
I get about two dollars per. No, nah, bro. No, 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 no. If you do the math, it costs four dollars to give him a membership. So what he gets is irrelevant to you, or at least it should be. And you know what? I'm not even gonna say it should be. It shouldn't matter because you spent your money. You spent four dollars as the person. It don't matter what he get. If you spend five dollars on gifting a sub to me, I only get two dollars and fifty cents of that. But bro, some people live in Australia. If bread gift a sub, it's like eight dollars. I don't know. Just not say that stuff because it's Cause fucking it's annoying. If I give somebody five dollars, I'm not gonna want them to tell me that they really got two dollars and fifty cents. I ain't giving you shit. Go fuck yourself. In an echo. Membership here on YouTube, roughly. I don't know why I do that. It's so, it's not it's nice. General, assuming, I mean about $2 per membership. <laughs> do the math. $2 and then you can call you a troll. troll. But be like pizza like piece and do the math. math. He's going to hate you. Hate so, so, I'm making what? He's so $2 grateful. On that? Yeah, that's a whole it's going to get better. Just wait. For 60 bucks. Give him some time. You see? It doesn't even equate. And yeah, his math his probably math is probably bad, is on, bad purpose. on purpose. This dude told us he made more from YouTube memberships, even though they cost you less. And now he's acting like he barely get anything. To make a point. But honestly, I don't care what point he's trying to make. People really seem to overestimate. It's just not nice. This is it. This is the part. This shit hit different. They overestimate the value of a lot of this stuff. They just do. They think uh that. Oh my God! You get a hundred memberships on YouTube. Man, he must really be rolling in the dough this month. It's bro, a hundred memberships. Of course, a hundred memberships isn't rolling in the dough. But somebody gave you a hundred memberships. That's a lot. Come on, man. Fifty bets. Why? Processing fees. I'm only getting ten cents. Do the math. Big ups, Optimus Tobin. Big ups, Big Reza Senpai. Senpai. 4 to 50, 4 to 50 bits. bits. Uh, uh, I actually, I actually, actually get those get bits, those the bits, con the positive contribution from that next month? month? Um, um and, and, and you gotta do the math. Actually, 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 50 bits isn't, isn't really a lot, really uh, contribution-wise. Uh, contribution -wise? Wise? But thank, thank you for the bits. For the bits. For the bits. It's <laughs> nothing like that. People grossly overestimate. People overestimate. Uh, dude, 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 I wish he I at wish least he gave a different amount a because he says a hundred members. A hundred! Uh, really don't overestimate the value of a lot of this stuff. They just do. They think uh, that, oh my God, you get a hundred memberships on YouTube. Man, he must really be rolling in the dough this month. It's it's nothing like that. People grossly Let's overestimate. Let's see what he's saying. They, yeah. yeah. they grossly they overestimate really how much you how much get you from it. From it, from it. Like, they literally like they don't, literally by the way. Don't, by the way. Nobody, Nobody grossly uh, overestimate how much you get unless they, get, they get, actually just don't know. don't know. But the people, but the people, the people that he say are all of these, all things, of these things, they know how, they know much, how much he get from everything. from everything. So they're not overestimating. The people that he calls trolls and stalkers and all of that shit, they know how much he's getting from everything because he told us. And they know how the percentages work and all of that shit. They know more about how much he get than what he know. They know about the fees and shit more than him. Memberships, audio object, why would I do that? But yeah, but grossly yeah, overestimated. Right. Right, right, right. Imagine if you was a meal and, and you had, had English as a first language and you understood that DSP was basically shitting on you. Uh, I'd be mildly annoyed. Because of YouTube. Like, what the fuck do you mean is overestimated? I now offer you a lot more. The hell that mean? And then I would charge more. But I don't feel... Do the math. I don't feel right charging more for memberships when... You know, I can't even give you anything extra. I'm already working to my limits here, essentially, with the amount that I'm here. I can't give any more than I'm already giving. And I don't want to... That would be pretty underhanded of me to say, oh, by the way, this month... This part's fire. Oh, yeah. For no good reason. Right? Right, right, right. right. You want to do a better job of trying to be a nice guy there? Because I got it, but I don't really get it. Like, you might have to repeat it. And so you understand or something. So anyway, with this initial... Anyway. Like, I get the point he's trying to make. Obviously, he's bullshitting. But I don't even feel like explaining it. Basically, he's saying he, do, he already do enough. He does too much. We should appreciate him more. We should tell him more how cool he is. Right. Derek should tell him he's a nice so guy right even now, more. Rajasan, I would say, is in the lead for an idea. Jeez Louise, um, man. For what you guys want. I'm not saying we're definitely doing that. I'm just saying that. Yeah, it's probably we'll going to happen. Open up the Q&A. All right. Q&A? Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. Um, 
<laughs> you and a lit the disaster. Interested in seeing me do for these rewards and things. I think I can actually <laughs> skip ahead a little bit though. Finally. All right, I do. I appreciate your desire to want to cross over into my real life. I uh, oh, cringe segment okay. incoming. Okay, thank you for that. <clears throat> okay, first tip of the day. It's from an anonymous tipper tipping a dollar fifty. It's a fed. I agree with chat. Something different would be cool. I, I agree with chat. Stream, fed. Stream, which oh, is what meta me. on Twitch. Hot what tubs, the fuck? Wa walking with the king. Something different. All right. Walking with the king. I appreciate your desire. All right. I do. Oh, shit. I appreciate your desire to want to cross over. God damn it. Into my real life. I get it. I understand. <laughs> Why? people would be interested in that but i have to emphasize a few things all right number all right. one i'm not ice poseidon and i have no desire to be ice poseidon from my knowledge this is a guy who literally his entire internet existence is sharing everything in his life with the internet and apparently it's ruined part it's okay they only have 40 heard, seconds of ads it's not that bad a do documentary you guys are telling me to watch i haven't seen it yet but Essentially, you know, from what I'm to understand, people lawn more in this segment. Real, Come in. Kind of, you know, railroaded his life. This segment is lame as fuck, though. He in, involved all his IRL stuff. In his really right? specific DSP Street. way. Okay. Because he's talking about, he's talking about things he has no idea about, and he's also old as fuck on his information. Ice Poseidon. Pretending Ice Poseidon is relevant is like pretending DSP is relevant. Come in. All right. All right. Um, and in addition to that, um, we already have concrete evidence that when I try to mix personal with professional, that doesn't work anymore. There was a time Be in my life when I shared all that shit with you guys. All what the of fuck? it. Literally every aspect of my private life. Big I ups, Mathenia. Ma on YouTube. Welcome to the stream. Happened, I'm watching this dude complain about his life. I got for it. I got harassed. He basically I is. Shit happened to me as a result. Just to give you guys perspective, every little piece of information about me that leaks onto the internet is used insanely negatively towards me. All right. So I why did you bring up Ice Poseidon oh, originally? IRL stream, go to Costco, right? IRL stream, show yourself working out and doing that. Literally, that will hurt me. What the fuck? The moment I step into fucking Costco, I try to broadcast me in Costco. First of all, it's illegal because that's private property. You need to get permission to do so. If you do it without permission, right. you're breaking the law. Don't know if you know that because I'm sure tons of people. Hey, Chet, how many how many videos DSP got sitting inside of? Um restaurants stores everything everything he was able to go inside of he filmed videos and he took pictures purposely of random people i mean honestly even if it is who gives a fuck obviously he didn't all the times he did it before he said it was illegal this dude's so fucking cringe man he call everything illegal he say what this is is illegal and you know what maybe it is but you know what smoking weed is illegal in a lot of places doing a lot of things is illegal not paying your taxes is illegal, right? Maybe? Is it? Factually illegal? I don't fucking know. DSP didn't do that either. Fuck the law. People have done it. It's illegal. That's you have no legal legs to stand on. Rob on wheels. You fucking hateful slur. Step Send me one. some tweets. Step two. You know what would happen. Immediately, you know what would oh happen. Oh my god, Phil went to Costco. Every Phil went to Costco. Call the Costco. <laughs> Harass Phil. It's so to do dumb. This. I hate this. To the That's how fucked up these people are. I hate right? it. Why do you think I don't tell you what I'm doing? He does on though. Days off and shit. But I you do. do I can't tell you guys what we're doing. You literally you dedicate a segment to doing it. By the way, shit, after there was a guy. I don't even it know was a guy. Frank Castle. Dude, uh, boogie not, shooter. The opposite. Every boogie time shot that guy. That, I, that, that stuff happened. Basically, he said, you know that dude that went to Boogie House and Boogie shot at the ground and got in a lot of trouble for it? DSP said that that guy tried to fuck with him and that he tried to figure out when his off day was and what he'd do on his off day. Now, I want you to think about that. Somebody not being able to figure out what DSP does on his off day and when it is. If that is a real person... That is the pinnacle of intelligence. Or gets involved doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's a risk. You know what I'm saying? It has to be stuff right Well, something's still got to be explained. In this office, this is my work. 
This That's is a what fucking Shakira emote, all right. Money. That's definitely now, a Shakira emote. Outside of this office is off <laughs> Okay? Maybe okay. That will change, but I certainly have not fucking oh, cats seen off limits. anything. That's what he to thinks. To prove yeah. the fact, it's been the opposite. The harassment, whenever these idiots get a chance to do any kind of harassment towards me, it, it gets escalated worse and worse and worse. All right? So I can't. I can't. I can't take any risk. I can't be doing this. It's crazy Man. shit. I get a normal person. I wonder oh, what he named this. Or what he's gonna name it? Because he's not done want. streaming yet. Not me. Not me, man. He just said it was illegal to stream from inside of a store, and now anybody can do it and and get away with it. But not him. He's acting like he wants to do this, and he's not allowed to because of the universe around him, which might be the case. But he's acting like this before he get the chance to do it. Therefore, negating any chance he have to do it, if that makes sense. It's it's like it's like he's throwing massive amount of bad vibes at him doing something. Now, if he ever do it, it's gonna get fucked up no matter what. And of course, he won't do it. But if he ever did it, you know something's gonna fuck it up. Something, something, and he's gonna blame it on the trolls, even if it's not their fault. Can't. All right. So you have to understand that. You have to understand that. Okay. Okay. Um, Nico, tip two dollars and have a good one, DSP. Thank you to Nico. That's actually the biggest tip of the day. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't say anything to make him respond. And my apologies, cause I know that's not how you spell your name, but I can't type those characters on my keyboard. <laughs> can't Thank copy paste that. them either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, only use me blade to the dollar fifty. DSP He's can't do anything training. anybody else I mean, do, dude. What this is so annoying. Him pretending to not know what stuff is is so annoying. The first time he did a feasting with the king, he pretended that he didn't know what mukbangs were. And now he's doing it again in 2022. And my only criticism of his food eating videos is he have a really bad camera angle. Oh my God, this Cuphead song got dead air in the end of it, don't it? No. It's fucking solid. Never mind, I can hear it. It was my fault then. I was about to but get I mad. Do. When I do the, fe the 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 feasting with the king and the DSP tries this shit, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. But if he had a better camera angle, he would have. Know. He don't do mukbangs. I mean, you can say he do that, but okay. if he does, he does really bad ones. Because um, you don't even see the food all the time. I don't time. really know how different that would be than what I'm already doing. I don't know. You'd have to this feigned that. ignorance is annoying as fuck. Bro, you live on the internet. So here you we literally go. fucking exist on the internet. Chat. You can YouTube well, search well, mukbang and tomorrow. watch some fucking asshole eat a burger and make your videos like that. Just Chill out. He wants Derek yeah, to watch him mukbang and then he's going to send him some porn have, in his email. I cannot have my personal Derek, I can't do that on stream. I might get banned. This is the chat from Mars's Carl. He says, Carl. The king would be amazing. What? No, whatever. I don't know what happened. We can't do a walk to stream. It's not going to happen. I cannot have my personal crossover to my professional life. We've talked about it. Talked That's why I talk days. about his bills all the time and his taxes and his because wife and his pets it, and his day-to-day -day life and, my family and all of his complaints and his workout regimen because more he can't talk about his so personal life. Okay, you, you know what I'm saying? That. It's wild that this dude is like, okay. he's like a full boomer. With in a way of just being internet illiterate, illiterate and, and like specifically dumb. But then he's the exact opposite because his entire living has been made on the internet for like 15 years. But he act like he don't have the internet. If you tell him to find something, look something up or find a piece of info, he's like, I don't know how to do this. Can you guys look it up? Guys, I don't, I don't, I don't know who's buying things in my, in my hometown. I don't know what places do game trade-ins. I'm like, bro, you got the internet. You check your phone all day to play mobile games. You don't Google stuff? Like, old people. We've hit the point in reality where the actual boomers look shit up online all day. That's where we at now. The actual boomers look shit up all the time. They say, let me Google it. Every fucking 30 seconds. And DSP is like, guys, I don't know what to do. Can you figure out how to do it? Uh, I might have to look it up. I didn't look it up yet. Can you guys figure it out? That shit crazy. If he's around 20 more years from now, I don't know what the fuck he's going to be doing.
He's going to be streaming in black and white or something. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> What's so dumb? Oh, yeah. I'm actually going to <laughs> Big up Scar Strawbees. Which should have been Holy shit. promoting detractor content. Okay. It's a good pause. We're going to take a shot. We're taking a shot because Kurt Strawby just showed up. You hear it at the perfect time, CJOB. I got some super delicious Kraken. Let me figure something out. Okay. We have six minutes left until the next two minute ad run. I got two delicious, tasty, tangy motherfucking krakens because my walmart was back in stock on them and i wasn't about to take an l pimp so i had to get two i had to cop two for the boys back home dude i love this song so yeah we're about to take a shot we can dedicate it to everybody in this stream to curse jaw beast take a sip. and to cat brunell Like I had it easy. Bro, this song lit. What else we got? Uh, Mocked ones, I'm getting Snorlax, some Muppet Pals, Scub Jake, Curse Jobby, Seven Dash, Peaches and Keem, Warlark, uh, Trevor Trove, Foxy BB, J Cash, so. TDS Got, Spaghetti Teeth, William the Alchemist, Ken Nishi, uh, Nettlecock, Fully Made, Paul Tar, uh, Russian Otaku. Busbot, KNZ7, X3400, Mothin, uh... You better take a sip. And... Usogen. You better Who the take fuck a got this sound to play? Go. Anonymous, <laughs> with the Jaws theme. Uh, Lufa, Klasky, Blokanoxy. Wings of Redemption stands with Russia against the good people of Ukraine. Does he think Russians, Russia, Russian is going to be the fifth, what was it? The fifth language of some shit? World language? I don't know, whatever it was. I disagree. It ain't happening, pimp. Anyway, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. This is 47% spice rum, the Kraken. squint extra hard every time after I take a shot of that. I tell you what, I definitely missed the Kraken. Once you have 47%, you can't go back to something else. You just can't. Okay. <laughs> What's so dumb I've been going for I'm five motherfucking years. Just got banned, which should have been banned because it's promoting detractor content. Okay. This part's so fucking cringe. I want to I want to address the, the the super chat that was advertising the tractor content. It should have been banned. It got banned. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. But then he reads it. Come in here and say, "Oh, this specific video by a specific detractor was just made, and will you react?" You can't even say, no. But uh, he was talking about the hundred thousand dollars secret life of DSP video. I'm gonna look it up. I'll actually post the link in the chat. And you can watch it yourself. Because like I say, it's literally no point for me to watch it for multiple reasons. And because I fucking know what all of, what all of it is. It's like somebody telling me something happened down the street and I was there when it happened. But, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a Hayden from uh, outside the club on Secret Life, low-key. <laughs> just a little tiny bit. He almost got 10k subs. But we got DSP Gaming Gambling, $100,000 of donation money into a mobile app game documentary. I'm going to watch a little bit of this to see how they edit it and put it together. And then I'll probably never watch it again. But it's that video. I'm pretty sure this is about the most relevant thing you got and the most extensive thing you got about DSP playing mobile games. It might even have that shit from his... Um, Weird pre-stream. Dude, you can even leave super thanks. Let's fucking go. Okay. 
and I was just playing the living shit out. I like of how it. I have to turn it down because you can, you know, they boosted the audio probably 30 times to make it normal, basically. <laughs> and I eventually stopped uh, playing it. Over a year ago, I stopped. And of course, this guy get edited. Obviously, of my time. I cannot have this take up so much fucking time. It's ridiculous. This shit's like professionally game, made. Game this dude anymore. sucks. But when I was playing it a lot, I told my family and for Christmas. It's like, family. Two years ago, we're not two years. Twenty sixteen. I'm gonna assume it's clips in this video of him saying that he didn't play the game at all, because I know that that happened at least once. Out of all of the times DSP ever talked about this shit, at least once you say he don't play it. But honestly, I'm ignoring it because I remember all of this shit he said. And it's like everything he say go against everything else he ever said, sadly. I don't know why I'm skipping around so poorly in this. I'm not even reading, not even reading or paying attention. Right? Right? It was like the day of. It wasn't even like a delay. Right? He be hitting that bitch. Do that. <laughs> because you're promoting your shit on my channel. Even if that was your right? super chat, you can't do that. You're promoting oh, content. Not right? They don't deserve the time of day. All right. Here's what I will say about shit. Okay? It's so much confidence All behind time, it, too. On a regular basis, right? there's new exposés on Dark Side Phil, new documentary on Dark Side Phil May. All right? Expose. I reacted to stuff that is factually true. I reacted to stuff uh, no. that happened right here. See, this is another one. When I first heard him say this, I thought to myself, bro, you didn't. You literally watch ghost story videos on your fucking channel. But I can only assume when he say this, he mean he reacted to videos that were factual about himself. Which is what he didn't say. Here, live but on he street. definitely does not only react to factual videos. This dude watched ghost story videos on his channel from that fucking random guy who name I forgot. That's the stuff that I've reacted to. You know what I'm talking Why? about. Because that, that weird reaction stream. Indisputable. Those are ghost story videos, bro. They weren't factual documented videos. Hell, I know it happened because I recorded and broadcast it on the internet, right? It's truthful. Okay. Also, it's a ton of shit that happened on DSP stream that he act like it didn't happen because he didn't record it and upload it. Like, this is the thing that he's done for like seven years. Okay. So him saying this is irrelevant. Today, Sadly. Is bullshit. The Big up DJ for the rich. All right, is stuff that absolutely positively is not true. What it is is spin. We're watching DSP it lie and ask for money. Pretty much a normal pre-stream, except it was way worse. Internet, taping it together. And listening to this again, legit, this entire pre-stream is drama. Actually, factually, the entire pre-stream is drama, bro. And this dude go out of his way and say he's a positive content creator, and I'm like, where? Because I watch you play a game and you show no fucking soul. You have no interest in playing a game. In any game. He show more interest in he show more interest in reacting to food. And reacting to people that he don't like. And more passion. He never show any passion in playing games. He never prays any games. Unless he's playing it currently. Or he's about to play it. Guys, this game I'm about to play is gonna be the best game. Right, you know that shit. It, that doesn't exist. All right. Spinning you think I'm going to be able to keep watching this? Because exactly he's going to set this private eventually. Narrative? It's that's past six o'clock. Hell, has now happened to me in the last several years. Why? Why is that what you see about me? I'm going to have to wait till right? DSP yeah. upload his videos. Because guess what? There's nothing going on on my streams and my content anymore that could be deemed controversial or problematic. If you haven't noticed, I've changed for the better. He's basically saying there's no drama happening on his streams. And then he creates a drama segment pre-stream. Right? So what happens when you don't... Like, bro, everybody gonna react to this shit. Everybody that have the right to react to stupid DSP shit, they're gonna watch this. Even though he didn't necessarily do what he think people think that he did. Like, oh, he... Phil exposed himself or some shit like that. Nah, it's still drama, dude. And it's still him admitting to playing mobile games. And a specific mobile game. And it's still something that you can respond to. You know what I'm saying? The Right? Like someone... <laughs> But they've changed for the better. Let's find other ways. When did DSP change for right? the better? Let's when he edited it. Wait. When he. Crazy oh. Hmm. Things Never mind. Going on, right? When did DSP change for the that, better? Now there's always a looming conspiracy. There's always a looming actual question. I'm trying to think about it. People won't want. Like from the outside looking in. When did he change for the better? I really can't think of when. Bullshit. And that's what exactly what it is. Is they take mm. little snippets of fact here or there. They tape them together. 
to make this patchwork of bullshit, and then they fill in the holes with whatever they want. I could right? figure out something if I give myself they enough time. I, I can't. I seriously, I really mean this now. And I'm really I trying to avoid it being something generic, like he's ago. interactive, because that shit's worthless. Playing mobile games, like I talked about games like WWE Supercard. Um, what was it? Dragon Ball. Uh, it's something Kombat I can't think of it right now. I'm being too negative. <clears throat> I can't believe. Big ups in times for becoming a member. Ago. Very casually, by the way. It wasn't like I had serious in-depth discussions about those games in my content or whatever. But every casually, every once in a I'm while. I'm just listening to Sean and Delon. You guys, oh, I play this game. I play that game, right? <laughs> and I did. I yeah, it's not a racist anymore. 17. That I what was that slave WWE trade joke? Champions that had come out at the time. And I talked it's to them WWE Champions time. Content or whatever. But every casually, every once in a while. I would mention Big up to you Frank guys, Castle. Oh, I play this game. I play the that. Tale Tiff and right? How Your Day is going to be. I did. I told you guys. All right. Hot as fuck. Okay. Shit. Hold on, hold on. Help. Frank, how hot is it in Celsius? Come out at the time, and I talked a little bit about it and all of that, right? I can't mine. believe that because I just casually mentioned that stuff. We might have I a weird never, break because I honestly don't know if he's gonna if he said this private. Content, I think I can't I watch it anymore. Showed you footage of the games that I mentioned or anything like that. <laughs> he eventually never said his streams private. It's kind of a casual thing. Do you play mobile games? Yeah, I play these. You know. <laughs> you, know and, you know. Yeah, I play these. Tipos. People would try to bring up stuff about them. What do you think about this particular mobile game that just came out? But everyone's saying that it's all microtransactions. And shit. Right. Tell you, I think it's bullshit. Right. Right. <clears throat> But I never fathom, never. I gotta pay extra attention to this part. Just mentioning casually something like that, that they would take. Because I remember when the mobile game thing first started with DSP, like the first day it started. Theory, right? I never, never. I know the right? whole mobile I've game DSP story. Times over the years, why I can't dispel rumors like that? Because to show any kind of stuff, like private stuff. Can I make this bitch smile? Would literally just balloon into something bad. Wait, there we go. Okay. That's the smile Two face. Years ago. Very happy. This I is my face right now, hearing him talk about mobile games. Okay. These pieces of shit. These pieces of shit. Every means. Legal and Every illegal. meme. Illegal so memes. I couldn't get my bankruptcy to go through. They robbed him. To ruin my life. He basically told us that somebody took his identity lies, and stole money for. from him. All right. My bankruptcy case was probably it's wild because I think he's actually still lying. Stressful things I've gone through in my life, and it probably is pretty close to top one. All right, why? <clears throat> because unlike anyone else who goes through a bankruptcy, I had to go through so much extra shit. That's uh, him being a snowflake. All right, All right. run exclamation. As a result, the 15 months tier one. I paid 100k for this Hogan. <laughs> Hogan Cox. Wait, this Hogan Cox? And I can only true. do it casually. Again, it's all based on speculation. It's all based okay? on speculation. And do you have a six star Hogan at least? It's just like it's. I so bet you DSP don't have any six stars yet. It probably kind of make them mad behind the scenes. It's different from everyone else's because of these people. You know, they released really six stars in in champions. They basically moved the goalposts. Okay. Um, Five normal star used to be the best. They changed what the best is. Because of these people. I literally can't. That's so, so myself, lame. Go to Costco or, or going He's going to complain about this game one day. People. They, they fucking released six star Hulk Hogan. And I was like, what? Everything. Dude, and I have the best Hulk Hogan. I would love what do you fucking uh, mean right six now, stars? All right, guys. <laughs> Here you go. Here's the 100%. I feel bad mimicking his throw clears. Because when I do it, it sounds worse than when he do it. Because I'm doing it in a real mic. You know? Here's what I don't spend money on. And here's actually the name of all my online accounts. The moment I do that. Nobody's going to request that. And I mean, if they did, that's obviously unrealistic. Because of these people. They literally find a way to be toxic about everything and lie about everything. And as much as I would love... <clears throat> right now to just say, all right, guys. Would he love to do that? Here you go. Here's the he would love to do this. Everything. Here's really? the mobile games that I do play. Right. The mobile games that I do play. DSP would love to I do this. DSP would love to tell us what he spends money on. And people that don't like him prevent that. Really? We're supposed to believe this. An upstanding citizen. A real DSP fan is supposed to believe this. They're watching the stream right now. Hold on. Let me get a reenact reenactment of a DSP viewer. They're watching right now and they're like this. They're making this face. And they're listening to Juice World. 
they literally find a way to be toxic about everything and, like, and lie about everything. Yeah. And, the trolls do do this. I would love <clears throat> right now to just say, all right, guys, here you go. Here's the, the 100% truth about everything. Here's the mobile games that I do play, and here's the mobile games that I don't play, and here's what I spend money on, and here's what I don't spend money on, and here's actually the name of all my online accounts. The moment I do that, that's the... This is like such an illogical thing that would never happen. It's like literally impossible to happen. It would make no sense. It would just be cringe. First of all, it would be cringe. Second of all, it would be like, why are you doing this? Okay, you guys, this is my mobile game accounts. These are all the accounts I have. Like, uh, this is the same equivalent of when he say, if I was to cure cancer, people will say, well, he farted when he was curing cancer and it smelled really bad. It's the same fucking extent of just saying worthless shit. You're basically saying something that won't happen anyway. And you're adding some other weird shit on it to confuse the viewer and make them not even care about End what you're saying. Kind of, of he basically negate what he's saying sometimes or what he say after it. Like when he complain about people talking about him and then he say something about poo. And then he talks about actual poo, like feces, for 50 seconds straight. And it's like, bro, you just talked about literal shit for 50 seconds. I'm supposed to take you serious. What you said before that? Would he take someone serious if he was watching E3? Oh, God. The big ups, the prime. Cold 55. The two fucking months. And the ish get it. Cold 55 is prime. Would he take somebody serious? He watching E3. And some guy, he like presents a game. Fuck cares what it is. And after he presents the game, he says, Now, I know you guys are really excited about that. And you're going to go home and take a massive shit. Because you had like so much excitement in your bowels. You're like, I just got to get this shit out. Like that's the type of joke DSP will make. Legitimately, he would make that joke. How would he feel if somebody made that joke at E3? Would he take them serious? Or would he only be stuck on him making the most cringe poo joke in the world? He would probably be stuck on him making a poo joke. He would remember the poo joke. He would say, guys, they presented a game and nobody remember what it was because they made a fucking shit joke after it. That's exactly what he would say. Nobody know what they talked about because they made a shit joke. Normalcy for me. And they weren't shit funny. Would explode. And he's doing this. This is him when he talks about anything. He's just actually talking about poo. Accounts. The moment I do Listen that. to him. That's Let's see how long it takes. How long this poo segment gonna the last? Of any kind of, of normalcy for me. The world of shit will. Okay. It might not be like even ten seconds. We're gonna give him a chance. Yeah, we're doing this on Bing. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. If I was on Google, I could just click a thing. I gotta go on a whole ass website for Bing. Jeez. I love Bing. Bing is the future. We all have fun on Bing. You guys love Bing. We all love Bing. It's 20 people still watching. The real fans. Explode. Nope. Bullshit. Help. <laughs> because immediately those trolls would use all that information to try to ruin my life in any way, shape, or form. Look, it wasn't even five seconds. That, right? See? Like, that's how they are. Holy They've shit. They've already for years fabricated so much. It wasn't that, that bad tell what's fact or fiction <laughs> because there's so much fabrication out there even if i would try to Holy show shit. evidence of what's true it was like it not even five seconds of poo talk he won. literally wouldn't these are people but don't worry he's gonna bring up poo again do, the goalpost moves you understand so Big up slow drag. even if right now i said here's the truth of the matter right i gotta get some coca-cola soon and here's everything well, another can. that's going on they would say, oh, well, that's uh, bullshit. Uh, this, uh, no, uh, that's, that's gotta be a lie. Uh, he made that uh, up. Uh, he uh, 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 care. See, the thing is, of course, that's what happened. But it's like, you're literally saying that the people that don't like you the most are gonna doubt you. No fucking shit, asshole. Have you ever... Chet, have you ever heard DSP talk about anything? Ever? Listen to him talk about E3. Listen to him talk about Evo. Listen to him talk about a video game coming out. Any of them, any of them. If it's not immediate, immediate, and he's not like promoting it actively on his channel, like Fences Bayonetta or some shit, or like Cyberpunk before that came out. Anything. And what this part is, is relevant so, to him. He does right the same now, shit. 
like all of the types of negativity DSP get, he outputs them to to everybody. Like literally. I see. It's just that simple. (laughs) Here's the truth of the matter. DSP is the real negativity. He's the actual negative. He's pure negativity. The people that hate on him, even they have posit they have positivity. They have people in that chat that love him. DSP got Derek. Derek don't love DSP. Derek loves weird attention, which is why he tweets porn stars all night. Because he thinks to himself, in the back of his mind, the only people that are going to give me attention are people that fuck on the camera for money. Because that's how low he think of them. And he, he think of DSP the same level. He, DSP's on the same level as those people sucking dick for money. And there's nothing wrong with sucking dick for money. But it's definitely something wrong with being a weird fuck. And DSP's and a weird fuck. And Derek is too. That's going on. Hot transition say, oh, right there. Oh, that's bullshit. And this, <laughs> no, that's, that's got to be a lie. He made that up and he did that. They wouldn't care because they're, they're real, real shit though. The only people Derek fucking discusses, have discussions with, or tries to talk to is DSP and porn stars on Twitter. How specific is that? The only people DS, DSP, that's both starting a D, I'm lost. The only people Derek talked to is DSP and porn stars on Twitter. I already yelled about this enough the last stream. This isn't going to be a Derek hates a hate segment. Not today. I already yelled about it enough last time. Derek don't talk to anybody in DSP's community. Anybody. And he used, he used to actively get money from them, basically. The real fans know. Derek Theo fucking know about this shit. He was there when it happened. Derek will whisper people and say, yo, can you whisper? Can you cheer Phil and tell him that I said this? And DSP would get 100 bits and it would say, Derek says this. And he would respond to Derek. That shit was cringe as hell. I was like, literally the most cringe thing any DSP view ever did was to get other people to spend fucking money for him. And it was consistent. It was multiple years of Derek doing that stupid shit. And DSP never told him to not do it. Like after a certain point of time, honestly, I think you should just be like, bro, stop doing that. Don't ask people to send money in your name, dude. Like, he should have just did that. Because nobody can send money for him now? Why don't Derek get people to send money for him now? But Derek don't talk to anybody in this dude's community. Anybody. He's awful. He's actually awful. He should be exiled from DSP's community because he's actually just a toxic member of it. He's trash. But the point I was trying to make, why the only people Derek talked to are porn stars on Twitter and DSP? He don't talk to any community members. He don't talk to anybody on Twitter. He only talked to porn stars, DSP, and he talks about kids. He'll see a picture of a dude with like his actual kids and he'll say, oh, that's a nice picture. Man, I'm not about to fucking judge Derek for 45 minutes again today, but that dude weird as fuck. He's just, he just is, bro. He just is. He just is. He just is. He's way past us. He's the most sus community member I've ever seen in any community I've ever looked at. How many furry videos I watched? Oops. You understand? <laughs> you understand? So, even if right now, <laughs> I said, here's the truth. What got me into doing this? What started me hating on Derek? It will explode. Anyway, what started already this? for years fabricated so much. Derek. Even if I were What's to the exact to show, sentence? It I don't even know, man. Matter. Right? I'm not talking about well, Derek anymore during his stream. No, that's, that's it is not, not happening. I'm going to stop myself if it happened again. They wouldn't care because they're, they're literally their thing is not, oh, expose DSP for doing something bad. That's not what their shtick I mean, is anymore. It is, Maybe no. at one point, years in. See, this is dumb too because he's pretending like everybody that made fun of him actually 10 years ago still making fun of him now. And I'm pretty sure factually none of them do. Like, DSP cult leader not making videos anymore. Uh, Evil AJ not making videos anymore. Fred not making videos anymore. Who the fuck is he talking about? He, he not even talking about me. So who is he talking about? It's actually a person that don't Years exist. Ago, that's what it was. Years ago they did this and now they do this. But bro, all of them people fucking stopped. They stopped or they slowed down a lot and they got their fucking channels deleted. So you're talking about people that don't do that and the people that still exist from then it didn't work that way 
their shtick. This dude don't even fucking watch anybody to tell what they do. Nah. You know, he's just making shit up. He's literally, oh, literally making shit up. Expose DSP for doing. Let me pay attention to what he's actually saying. Though. That's not what they're okay. shticking. So they originally wanted to expose him for doing something bad. My reaction is, what did you do bad, Phil? Because according to you, you didn't do anything bad. But now they exposed him for doing bad stuff. But they don't anymore. They moved on to something else. They moved the goalposts, which is a bad thing. We should have only stuck on him doing something bad forever. And I'm like, what did you do bad? According to you, you didn't do anything bad. So I want to know what he did bad, just like I want to know what the N-word is. And I want him to tell me what it is. Maybe at one point Because he still didn't tell me. Ago, that's what Maybe at one point years and years ago, they did this. All right? But not what they did. Is Let me know what they did. Cancel DSP. Cancel and DSP and ruin them. By any means necessary. That's a lot different than saying, oh, there's. I don't watch those videos. Underlying going on wrong. What a cancel DSP video is that? Like we're a bunch of vigilantes or whatever. That's those days are long gone. The early days of this is how you don't play. That's what that was. He's pretending like he was okay with that when he wasn't. He said that those people were crazy and they should be putting coats and taken to the fucking crazy house and that they should be locked up and all of that shit. And he called them all kind of names. And now you fast forward, I don't know, seven years? And now he's acting like he was okay with those people and now the new people are the bad ones. But the same people that he's implying are new people were the same people around then and they just moved the goalposts. But no, nah, it's actually different people. But he don't want to say that. But at some point along the way, it literally It's became, mostly different just people. It just is, do, man. It just ruin is. Phil's life, we must do. It just okay? is. I, I really, I mean, honestly, I really wish I could what tell do you, you wish? all the shit that they've done to me. But the oh. fact of the matter is that if I told you about Yeah, these it, some recycled it gives, discussions. It gives attention to the shit Sometimes they these get really told, really and tired and all to listen to. The way that they are up here, how, how dislodged, how not whole they are in their heads how messed up they are in their you should heads. use some ableist that, terms them, you should call them crazy and that's why and I fucked in the head what if they need to take some pills done to me. like your wife seriously what right? uh <laughs> I just, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not going to I'm sorry i'm being toxic i didn't i didn't say that i'm taking it back because that's what they're looking to do that's why they do that shit. i like him tapping on the side of his head though people have actual mental issues like they actually have in real a real life issue that should be diagnosed by a doctor okay because they hate on him sometimes. To this really dude is something else. The shit they've done. Lodged. And with these kind of people, the way that they are up here. It would be nice if we could at least to the watch this. Done. It would be nice if we didn't get these during these real discussions we're having with Phil. If he didn't give us these. And it gives attention. Let's slow it down. It gives attention. Attention to the shit they've done. Right here. And epic with these kind of people the way that they are up here how, <sighs> how dislodged how not whole they are in their heads how messed up they are in their heads that to them is motivation to do more and that's why i absolutely refuse to tell you guys what's dsp's motivation done to me seriously all right because to be honest most of dsp's pre-streams and pre-stream discussions are basically based on negativity it's him hating on something, him hating on somebody, or him talking about somebody that's hating on him, which technically is making him hate on him because that's what he's doing right now, right? He's talking about somebody else that don't like him or people that don't like him, and he's hating on them because they don't like him. But it's still a negative discussion. Like, I thought he was a positive guy. Why don't he talk about what new games are coming out and how much he's looking forward to playing? I'm going to do it all the time. And that shit fucking come off lame as hell, too. Uh... I don't know. DSP, like, I legit can't think of a time DSP positively talked about something and then he ended by being positive about it. And it wasn't him bragging or being smug or laughing or saying that the fucking idiots didn't want it to happen or any of that shit. It actually, factually, never happened. He can't do it. If he get any point of success or anything good, he's got to point out people not wanting it. And if something happened to somebody else that's negative... He got to point it out and shit on them. They lost this. They went away. I outlasted them. The fucking trolls didn't want me to hit the hat goal. The idiots didn't want to see me wear a vest. But he can't just say thank you for letting me hit the hat goal. Thank you for giving me $100 to do this. He can't do that. Thank you for giving me $100. We hit this goal, but it's been slow. 
If I didn't get $100 from Jack Shraxler, I would have had a $2 tip. You know, that type of shit. I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not going. But to everybody else is negative. The DSP is the positive you know, guy. They're looking to do. That's why they do that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. Um, you hear me? You know, so <laughs> you know, again, right? You have to understand. That He's got to pick at his arm. Shit, oh, well, Phil reacts to the latest hour-long bullshit documentary. That's not a documentary. It's literally all conspiracy theory bullshit. No, you want me to react? to factual stuff that actually happened on the internet. Bro, you watch ghost videos. Indisputable happened because it was right here on my stream. It was in one of my videos. I recorded and broadcast it. You want me to react to that? You should watch that? his masturbation video. Yes, I will. Because it's, it's That's not undeniable. True. All right? But Eventually, people told him about July. I like how I know the date now. The July the 23rd week. Oh, my God. Daily fucking Christ. He got too many stupid things. I you recap video whatever the fuck it's called bullshit? when he showed the fuck when he showed no. his phone that's giving them <laughs> what's it called that's daily rep entertainment factor all right for that's some reason they recap they is always in my head first sit here and do it you understand that you understand like that's literally what they want he's banning somebody for me to sit here and react to it so that they feel now that they'll back me into some corner i can't get out of in truth that's not the case but here's what will happen to disprove what they're saying will expose I like that this positive discussion is all about is trolls exactly though. The whole level one podcast is about trolls. You understand? And troll activity. By entertaining anything they say or do in these documentaries and shit, you're entertaining what they're saying. You're giving them the power. Yeah. Because now there's oh, no drama. We feel People are being toxic about his streams and bringing up bullshit because no drama's going on. That's how this started. And then it ended with actually an hour of him ranting. Phil's reacting to it, and, he's, and he barely really got baited into it, right? it. Oh, he gave a new piece of information that debunks what we said. Oh, but guess what? That's more personal information about him. Here we go, and they jump into the next thing. I wonder what it's he would have talked about if this didn't happen. Post. It's just endless. It never ends because to them, it's always on to the next, on to the next fucked up thing we can say and do. On this goalpost thing is a pretty lame These point people have made because it's like, dude, it's literally people that you say that they don't like you. Of course, they're going to find another reason to not like you. Just like you, as I talk to DSP directly, obviously, just like you find a reason to not like fucking Halo or Fortnite, even though they change the reasons you won't like it. Remember when he didn't like Fortnite because of building? You can play Fortnite and not build now. You can play Fortnite 24 hours straight, seven days a week, and never have to build. DSP hasn't even played no build of Fortnite. And you know what? If he talked about it, he probably said it was fucking stupid. And he probably said something weird, like, why would anybody want to do that? Fortnite's all about building, right? And if he didn't say that, I think that lowly of him that I think he would be that obnoxiously negative about it and not want to try it anyway. Even though he said the reason he don't want to play it is because of the building. No, I'm saying their business. Oh, he's gonna complain about money. Said, oh, but guess what? That's more personal information about him. Here we go, and they jump into the next thing. But yeah, he do the same shit. Obviously, of course he do. Of course he do. He's DSP. It's this endless moving. <laughs> the people he don't like, he find new reasons to not like them. Duh! Isn't that how not liking somebody work, bro? And if they keep doing stuff that you don't like, of course you're gonna complain about it because you don't like it. Why does DSP still complain about what the fucking Last of Us devs doing? They're not going to make a new game for a long time. Why does DSP care about what they're doing? And they're remaking old shit. I thought DSP only cared about new games. Right? Think of the goalpost. Stop moving the goalpost. It's endless. It never ends. Put because your fucking scarf on. Onto the next. Onto the next fucked up thing we can say and do. Onto but yeah, of course it's on to the next. That's how these people have news work. Business. Some of these people have made. We're gonna pretend this is news and call it that. You get the point I'm it? trying to make, though. It's an endless cycle. What do you want people it will to move never on? End. So because he's not playing Metal Gear Solid anymore, he want people that didn't like him from back then to just ignore him forever, as he runs rampant on the internet. Why <laughs> even address it? <laughs> Why you know even address saying? it? Why? Because you wouldn't have anything else to do if you didn't. To. So I, I, you guys have to understand that. All if right? DSP yeah. didn't talk about drama, negativity, things he didn't like, stuff that pissed him off, stuff that annoyed him, beg for money, ask for money, complain about money, or talk about money, this stream segment wouldn't have happened. And I would have been playing fucking Fall Guys or some stupid shit right now. And this entire 
honestly, this whole thing wouldn't have existed. If none of these discussions happened, DSP would have started the stream and say, oh, welcome to the stream, you guys. We don't have any tips or any contributions, so I guess we're going to get right into the game. This whole segment has been drama and toxicity and negativity and bullshit and all his buzzwords he use. And he act like he don't want to talk about this shit. It gets him off. Look at him. Look at his face. He's loving it. Yeah, <laughs> they will always be making new videos about me. Okay. And even if that super chatter, maybe it wasn't ill intention what they just said. Maybe it wasn't. Okay. Um, who knows? Maybe it wasn't ill intention, but here, here's the real truth of the matter. And here's the hilarious here's the real part truth about and the of, hilarious part out of That's all the things that they've said and done about the things that are factual with the true, first month the and the prime. I, like I say, it's all based on thanks for the positivity. Truth, right? You get like 70,000 emails and you don't watch ads. True. And we know that they would have no. Hopefully your sub isn't based on a negative truth. OK, the nuggets of truth. All right. If you are still letting me watch this DSP. All right, you would know the truth already. You'd already know the full story about everything. Okay? I don't know if he said I'll it to you, private I'll give or you not. One example. Last year, all right, one of my accounts. I'm not going to give you specifics on anything. One of my oh, accounts God. was compromised. A troll actually found a way to break through a security. Do system. you think this part's they true? Through it. It was not this like, part oh, exactly. I was using the a part where he says someone found, spent no, his money. Found a way to game the security system. DSP basically tells us that someone straight up spent his money and he pretty much ignored it, but didn't. And it ruined his life and he kind of just took the L. And I'm like, but I thought you didn't have money and I thought you didn't have credit. So how did they even spend money? First of all, remember that I don't have credit. If he said, if he didn't say that for fucking seven months or two years or whatever the fuck, then maybe I will believe him a little more. But this dude told us he didn't have credit and he told us he didn't have money. So how somebody took your identity and spent money? You don't have credit and you don't have money. But according to him, somebody basically took his whole ass identity and spent a bunch of money on question mark and it ruined his life. And we're supposed to assume that the bunch of money was spent on WWE champions. But he also has a WWE Champions account. But it's not him. That's the account that spent a bunch of money. And he also spent money on WWE Champions. But he didn't spend a lot of money. That's the that's what he tell us by the end of this stream. This shit's well, fucking weird as hell. To get access to it. Like, they the only people that that's going to believe this is, like, Rob on Wheels and Derek. And, then and Rob on Wheels don't even believe him anymore. He thinks he's a children's entertainer now. Does anybody know about Rob on Wheels thinking DSP's a fucking children's entertainer? I don't think I'm going to be able to find a tweet. I have too many tabs open. I got it. I got it. Bleh. Another example of a ridiculously pointless tweet. Let's read the pointless tweet. DSP being a weird, old, annoying person in the middle of the night. Look at this. Oh shit, it's noon. This is his off day. People are trying to cancel PewDiePie for making fun of a girl's nails in the video because apparently he missed the fact that she was deaf. This shit dumb as fuck. I don't know the context and I don't even want to care about it and don't tell me about it and if you do, I'm going to ignore it. But this is really dumb. Being deaf has nothing to do with seeing your fucking nails, dude. It's not even a blind person. Come on, man. What? But nice fucking drama mongering DSP, you fucking clown. I thought you're supposed to be hanging out with your wife on these days. He don't hang out with his wife on his off day anymore. He hang out with himself. Uh, the real amazing thing is that people somehow still care about what PewDiePie says in 2022. Yes, I realize the irony of this comment, but still. Rob on wheels. Rob on wheels responds and says another example of a ridiculously pointless tweet. I wish you focus on playing games rather than being a preschool entertainer. I know you won't. And that's why I can't support you anymore. Order a pizza, Caleb. Free big two. 
<laughs> DSP responds, You've been pretty nasty to me lately, and quite frankly, I don't understand. Because nothing has changed on my end. He's like, bro, I've been a fucking clown forever. You just noticed the makeup? Get the fuck out. All I can say is I hope things get better for you. And I wish you the best in life. He's only saying this because it's a literal person in a wheelchair. Don't get it twisted. And it's it coming across. It, it like come off even more greasy because he's saying that to a person in a wheelchair. I hope things get better for you. You hope you fucking walk soon. You know what? I hope you walk soon too. And thanks for all the support up to this point. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, Rob on wheels. Thank you for all of the fucking tips, you clown. That's not good. All of a sudden, I'm Big ups, Rob on wheels. Giant that ain't my friend. Attempt. Giant painting. That's supposed attempt. to be DSP what the friend. Fuck is this? Not anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I went into panic mode and I had to go around. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really don't believe this. And I hate to say I don't believe it because I feel like a, a negative piece of shit. To say that I, don't, that I don't believe that somebody went through something that, you know, a negative thing that happened in their life. Somebody said, oh man, I got in a fucking car wreck. And the person got out and said, fuck you, I didn't actually do anything and they drove off. And I'm like, that didn't happen. I would feel bad. So, you know, when DSP do his little complaint and then say this happened, I'm like, it didn't happen. I feel kind of bad. But I don't think that really happened, bro. To that account to get access Two more accounts. Like I say, we're supposed to believe he literally got money stole from him. A dude that has no credit and a dude that said he had no money. DSP spent the last three years telling us he don't have credit and he don't have money. And somebody broke in his account and spent a bunch of money? Huh? And then, you remember, we had the fucking bank leaks shit happen. And the bank leaks were all Apple iTunes. And, and DoorDash and wine, total wine, total wine, DoorDash and Apple fucking you better take a sip. Apple gift cards, basically. Not gift cards, but like if you give Apple money to buy something on a mobile app, that shit. We're supposed to believe somebody stole his identity to do that. Or are we supposed to believe somebody stole his identity to do something else and then it looked like that. We're never going to get that part of it. Yeah, and it curls and curls and twirls, just all of it. Somebody somebody stole his identity and then bought a bunch of wine and haircuts and like cakes and donuts and DoorDash from places that are close to him in real life. What a suspicious way of identity theft. Is that how Shawnee Bin Laden got all his chains? He bought a bunch of fucking DoorDash on DSP's card and it transitioned into being chains and diamond jewelry? And watches and iPhones. Go away. Oh man. That's not good. And if it did happen, it's so lame. Because you got assholes like me saying it didn't happen. But bro, I really don't believe this. I just they don't. Used that account to I get just don't. Two more accounts. And then I started seeing. My We've, we had the bank leak thing. We had, but well, basically the bank leak thing. Like, no, no. It doesn't make sense, man. But hey, if some dude did do that specifically to troll DSP, they knew how everybody would think. They specifically knew, well, I have to troll him this way because if I do it another way, people are going to think it's not him. So they specifically, they like bought a bunch of wine and got it sent to somebody else. And they bought a bunch of DoorDash and got it sent somewhere else. And they bought a bunch of haircuts online and then didn't go to get the haircut. And DSP didn't notice that he was losing on hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars that he didn't spend. And that he also didn't have. He didn't notice he was losing money that he didn't have. And he also don't have credit, remember? Yeah, this is all making sense. Goes. I believe, I believe Phil. That's not good. That's all not good. Sudden, I'm seeing you know, it's not good to believe what DSP attempt. say. Giant payment attempt. I might be like what Rob on wheels. Is this? And Rob on wheels okay. don't even believe him anymore. So I went into Jesus panic Christ. mode. I had to go around. I would be in panic mode too. Canceling accounts, canceling everything. That's what <sighs> I tell you about last year. I had my identity stolen. I did. I had this, this person. Did you? This went person. Around right. Trying to do all this shit in my name. Oh, yeah? I had to flag my credit report and say, do not allow any new accounts to be made in my name. Right. It's not me. Yeah. I had to close all my accounts, open all these new accounts. I Why did you have to open new ones? Months of painstaking repair because half my bills couldn't be paid for two months because mm. I had no money because all my stuff was frozen. 
I wonder okay. what time period that's this what was. I, went through last year. I want to listen to their pre streams right. when this happened that's what and I see if he was being year. weird. Did, what, what, anything that you else you hear is bullshit. Like, of course, you can go back and find him begging last year, but shit, you can find him begging three years ago. Was his identity stolen three years ago? I don't know, man. This shit just don't add up. And I'm not going to sit here and just say that something didn't happen to him over and over because it's kind of annoying for me because there's no way I can prove that it didn't happen. But I ain't believing his story, if bro. You hear about, oh, well, this got exposed <laughs> on the internet because of it, and this got exposed. It's I'm just bullshit. not. I'm they sorry. You saying bullshit, in There's my opinion. So much what if I believe everything's fake? Based on the what if I what if I think DSP's lying and other people lying? What if that? Of truth. So the moment that I and negative truth is annoying about, as fuck oh, man, too. Someone, you know, did this to me. There's identity theft. Oh, immediately, all of a sudden, what a coincidence that all this. I remember. Bullshit. I come. Oh God, does voice change work? Voice change don't work. It might be exclamation mark VC. What the fuck are you doing, Doobie, bro? But I remember uh, uh, the nugget of uh, truth thing. Truth I got annoyed. Got annoyed. Yeah, change. Oh, yeah, change. What we got? What we got? What we got? It's not it. It's not it. I remember the nugget of truth thing pissed me off like five years ago. Because this dude was saying negative truth and talking about people calling him a pedophile. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro why, why are you why? telling why? us that, that something, something has, has a negative, a negative truth? truth? Just don't even don't bother, bother with it. With it. Just, just say it's not say true. It's not don't say it's don't not say true, it's but it has a negative, negative truth negative behind it. That's behind dumb it. as fuck. What kind of, what, what, what politician taught him that? And what if a politician taught him that they probably didn't win? And if they did win, I don't know how the fuck they won. Because negative, negative truth, truth is the stupidest, stupidest shit, ever. shit ever. If you're being accused you're being of something, 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 you should under you should no under circumstances, circumstances say that they're, say that they're partially, partially correct. correct. Basically, Basically, that's what that's that is. What that is. Well, well, you're saying, you're I'm, saying a I'm a pedophile. Well, it's a well, negative it's truth negative behind that because my ex-girlfriend was like really was like young, young, but she wasn't she too young? young? That's what the negative that's truth shit was. But nobody's gonna pay that much attention, bro. You're some dude that play Minecraft sometimes. People ain't gonna pay that much attention to you. Don't say anything has a negative truth. It just makes you look bad. And that was five years ago. Why does he still say that stuff? Negative truth? Negative truth? It's no fucking nuggets. You should just call him a liar. All private information. It's all fake. It's all yeah, fake, it's all but it's a negative it's a truth. Because truth. They take that opportunity it's all it's fake. All it's, it's all fake, fake. but they take a they nugget take a of nugget truth of and truth run, with run with it. it. But it's all, it's all fake. fake. You see? You see? There's no evidence. No evidence. No but what about the what nugget? About the, nugget? Sort of the golden shit. nugget of dust. Nugget of dust. And the truth. The truth nugget. Quilt of bullshit. Quilt of bullshit. Dude, it's a quilt of bullshit in a nugget of truth. Do you take this guy serious? First of all, he always tell us that his a lot of his viewers like they're not uh, they don't have English as their first language and shit. So already this dude is completely lost on you. If you're some person living in fucking Switzerland or some shit, I don't know, man. You're living in somewhere where you don't know what the fuck anything mean. I guess I don't know. This dude act like people are stupid if they live in another country. And sometimes people don't know what the fuck you're talking about, especially when you're talking in fucking code. This dude's basically speaking in Grinch, a nugget of truth. What the fuck what does the fuck this shit this mean? There's only circumstantial if English isn't your English first language, you don't know what the fuck this dude's telling you. Tell you. To make this big woven <laughs> it's a woven blanket of bullshit, and it's a nugget of truth under it. A quilt of what is a quilt? Bullshit. But the only reason that that quilt exists is because they plugged the holes with their bullshit. I'm sorry, but Vidar Viking probably doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. And their guesses and their conspiracy theories that aren't true. And that's he's the, like the sprinkling pixie dust over what he's saying. Not be able he's to adding accent and flavor into it. Without further exposing myself to, to risk. Right? It's just so much extra words, man. Seriously, like right now, you know. I think he just basically further confuses the audience. Of a mobile game was but it, you know it what? Wasn't, and it never was. He wants to do that. That's what Pygnosis is. The original idea of Pygnosis. I forget who said that shit first. It was even me at GTG. But the original idea, in my opinion, behind what pygnosis truly means is when DSP tell you bullshit around some shit to confuse you. Now, it might not be on purpose, but he do it all the time. Well, here's the truth of the matter. And the next thing you know, he's talking about like he's making a joke about somebody getting shit on. Like actually poo falling on somebody, right? But it started off with him talking about like how people call them a pedophile, that type of shit. 
<laughs> it's pig gnosis. And then by the time he's done talking, you're like, wait, what did he say? And you got to rewind the whole video. Pig gnosis is great. I love was, pig gnosis. But in their minds, because the account... You and I think pig gnosis work extra, extra good on people that don't have English as their first language. <laughs> but that might... I don't think he do all of this on purpose. I think it's just kind of how it line up sometimes. He's not a he, he's not an actual evil genius. Of course he's not an evil genius who wants to take over the world and he wants to make a billion dollars from contributions. Like that's the type of shit he would say, right? He would say that he's not doing that. Of course you're not doing that. You're not an actual evil person. Who the fuck is evil, bro? But he would say that type of shit. And then and then people that like him would say, well, yeah, you're not Phil, and they would be on his side. That's a part of the pig gnosis too, to exaggerate massively and make people feel bad for you because of it. my Twitter handle, they believe that that account was me. It never was me, but they're going to say that and they're going to- I can't wait until he talk about using usernames in mobile games because I got some hot screenshots for it. Dark side Phil, you know, we get to go game. full circle. Well, think about it this way. Why the From fuck the would I use my Twitter I handle in a fucking mobile game to begin with? Huh? Wouldn't I want to be DSP or DSP Gaming? Or for that matter, wouldn't I want to be a totally different fucking name so no one can find me in a mobile game? Okay, so he kind of got me there. He said, wouldn't I want to be DSP or DSP Gaming? Because it's WWE Champions account, at least one of them, or one of the names, was They Call Me DSP. And in this Twitter, They Call Me DSP, I'm 99.9999% sure. That's his Twitter. But, uh... Yeah, I have a lot of tabs, so it's gonna it's gonna take a little while. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So yeah, we have a Do Dokan battle screenshot, and he talks about Dokan battle during this stream, and brings it up as a game that he spent a good bit of money on or something. And it's like he tells us, "Why would I show my name? Why would I have the name?" Blah 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 blah. Like, bro, you showed your name. In mobile games. You showed your name in Dokkan Battle. He showed his name in Pokemon Go. Not in this screenshot. He actually don't purposely show his name in some screenshots. Because I looked at a bunch of them. But he showed his name in this game. A game that according to him. He spent a good bit of money on. But now he can't tell us what his name is. In these games. Because people would figure something out. According to him. That's what he said. I didn't get to that part yet. So I'm spoiling uh, I'm pretty sure he showed his name in this game, and it was also either DSP Gaming or They Call Me DSP. And he had a black character, and he said, this is what I look like, apparently. That's some stupid shit. And he probably showed his name in some other mobile games, too. But he's definitely showed his name in mobile games. And, you know, <laughs> he's making his face and forgetting about his dumb, worthless fucking Instagram posts because they really are worthless Instagram posts. It's a picture of his phone. It's a cropped picture of a screenshot on his phone. And this is just some of them. I like loaded his old Instagram a few weeks ago and saved it to a file and I pretty much just opened the file and it showed me all of his lame Instagram posts. So I can look at the pictures he got with Panda and the time he celebrated his birthday. And I can look up the pictures before he got gout. And, you know, you know, the, the classics, the classic DSP Instagram pictures, the hamsters, the gout, the pre gout pictures when he was like posting burgers and hot dogs every day. And then out of nowhere, he posts a picture of his foot. And then the next day he's posting a picture of cherry juice. Oh, man, poor DSP. He really liked Dokkan Battle, though, didn't he? Look at your boy. I Dokkan Awaken my Gogeta card. Overall best card in a game by a mile. If, if, if only he was more transparent and honest, he would be doing streams, not streams, he would be doing Instagram pictures like this, telling us about his level, his six-star Hulk Hogan. I upgraded my Hulk Hogan to a level six. And he would have a bunch of comments saying, okay, and okay, okay, and sounds good. I want to find another picture of him showing his mobile game name. I know at least one more exists, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. 
is so many pictures of his TV and of his phone. So many fucking mobile game pictures. He do stop at one point and they come back. This look like a mobile game. Marvel Future Fight. I like it because it's very similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Thank you again, Ragnarok. Stop it. Shock for the raid. No, really, thank you. He go on some rant during the stream that I'm listening to saying like, oh, I wish mobile games were real games and they had full experiences. I'm like, dude, you don't want to play RPGs on a console because they might be 30, 40 hours long. So why are you pretending like you want to play a fucking phone game for 40 hours? Why are you pretending? Why you want somebody else to waste their time making that game for you so you don't play it? Because that game might already exist on a fucking phone. And he don't know what it is because he's too busy playing Super super Champions or whatever the fuck. The game that's so lame, I can never even remember the actual name of it. I keep calling it Super Champions. I'm really legit. I always get it mixed up with Super Card and then just WWE Champions. Yeah, we don't have any more phone pictures now. They went away at this point. They legit just 100% went away. We still have food pictures though. I don't think God was here yet. What? They're back. We got another mobile game. Injustice 2 app. I look. I'm so glad I fucking kept looking. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you fucking see it? Look at that. Dark Side Phil. That's his fucking name. In this random ass mobile game. Why did this dude do why did this dude go out of his way to act like he don't have the same name on these fucking games? Shit. And then he basically says that he can't tell us his name on mobile games because we're going to find stuff out. Dude, you posted pictures on Instagram showing your name already. Maybe if you didn't post worthless shit to Instagram, you would have realized what you fucking posted. Um, this is not what Catwoman looks like in the real game. In the game. Catwoman probably like a Puerto Rican lady based on who draw. The girls are way hotter on the mobile than Justice 2. Okay. Big ups. It's pretty weird how he treated video game characters when he was with Pandalee. He like would call them attractive and talk about their boobs and shit. And we got with, when he got with Cat, he stopped talking about digital women. Like, damn near overnight. He became massively cringe when he got with Cat. Like the way people do, like the way like Cartman would do if he got a girlfriend. Cartman from South Park, if he got a girlfriend, he would be as cringe as DSP. And I think that already happened. And he might have not been as cringe. Cartman probably still took pictures of his phone. <laughs> okay, now the phone pictures are gone. Now they're gone. I but mean, let's say this again. <gasps> Thank never God. Was me. It never but was they're him. They're going to say that and they're going to roll with it because, oh, what are the coincidences that one person <laughs> you saw what happened. name as Dark Side Phil? YouTube's going to you stop me from being able game. to watch this. Well, think about it this way. Why the fuck would I use my Twitter handle in a fucking mobile game to begin with? Yeah. Why would he do that? Wouldn't I want to be DSP or DSP Gaming? or for He was DSP Gaming on that one mobile game, but he was also Dark Side Phil on another mobile game. So him being They Call Me DSP in another mobile game? After you see him calling himself DSP Gaming in one and Dark Side Phil in one, and he also called himself DSP Gaming in Pokemon Go. Yeah, him calling himself They Call Me DSP in a fourth mobile game don't sound that ridiculous. And honestly, it's it's probably like five or six, maybe even more than that. It might be like 10 mobile games this dude didn't spend money on. And of course, he would say it's not a lot of money, but what's a lot of money to DSP? What's a lot of money to somebody that make $20,000 a month playing games? Hey, one of six. You know, I'm glad they're telling me because I wanted to put a thing on the screen for people to let me know when ads run so I can know they're actually running. We got one minute and three seconds left of ads. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. The wild part is, somebody remember last month when uh, I had the less ads initiative? Yeah, it was going to be nine fucking minutes of ads, dude. Nine minutes. But a bunch of subs got gifted. And it went down to seven minutes. We almost got six minutes. 
almost. But don't worry. Um, if I stream 170 something hours this month, Twitch is going to give me like actually a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, basically up front is very suspicious and hot. Yeah. Nine minutes an hour. That's a lot. Seven minutes is a lot. Six minutes is a lot, but nine minutes that's next level. I think that's probably the most you can run on yeah. your fucking site. <laughs> and every time, every time I look at, yeah, I can show it because, um, Affiliates don't have this yet. Eventually, affiliates gonna get this, and you're gonna see a fuck ton of ads on some random affiliate stream. This shit, nine hundred and twenty-six dollar incentive, seven minutes of ads, hundred seventy-one hours of streams. I'm two hours in, and if I ran nine minutes of ads, and I can't change this by the way, like I can cancel it, I think. Yeah, I can opt out, but I won't get the money, man. And uh, what was the other one? It was nine minutes for like, I think like $1,100. Just about somewhere around there. And six minutes was, I think, 780 something, about $800 maybe, somewhere around that. So it's pretty, pretty fucking stiff. Pretty fucking stiff. Yeah, I still need to do this too eventually. I got to take founders badges from people. It's going to be a super hot segment. I should do that after this. Just steal founders badges from people that don't sub to me anymore. This is my wallpaper. <laughs> and it has the Twitch chat built in. So that's pretty good. Was I here? Yeah, I was here. Matter. Wouldn't I want to be a totally different fucking name so no one can find me in a mobile game? Yeah, wouldn't DSP want to be somebody else? So no one can find him in a mobile game? I mean... You know? Maybe. Oh, hold on. You can't even really see it. You can see a little better. Would he want to be someone else? Would he want to be someone else? I mean, he showed his name in Pokemon Go, too. I'm not going to be able to find it, though. It's definitely a screenshot on him when he shows his Pokemon Go name. And he's like, oh, they think I'm a black guy. Like, dude, you could have changed how your character look. You fucking took a screenshot of it early because you wanted I mean, to be cringe. Duh. I mean, duh. And why don't you think I don't want to actually open my phone right now and prove something to you? Because then you'd know the fucking name I would use in a mobile game or other account. Dude. Your ego is so fucking cringe. You call yourself Dark Side Phil in DSP gaming and mobile games. And then get mad at people when they notice you in the, the game. And guess what they would do? Run all over the internet Stop using it. that name, find all the accounts, try to hack them, try to ruin my life. You understand? This is what I mean. Like, Jesus Christ. It's, it's exhausting living with this shit. It really is. It's incredibly exhausting. Help! I was muted! I like how I was muted and talking about myself, Ren. Okay, let me see if I can explain what the fuck I was saying. Okay, at some points in a rant that you have on your own stream, and you realize that you're ranting too much. And I was saying, uh, I used to... Nah, nobody used to. I go on a lot of stupid fucking rants sometimes. Sometimes I'm actually mad. Sometimes I'm just complaining about something. Sometimes I'm really fucking mad. And sometimes when I'm really fucking mad, I would say like, I'm sitting on this. And when I say that, I'm basically telling myself that I'm still talking about it too much, that the subject's done. It's nothing else that could be said. And I'm just going on and on and on about it because I can't get over it. DSP sat on this bitch like a motherfucker. This could have ended so long ago. And he sat on it until somebody else baited him into talking about something else. And then he kept it up. And then he sat on it until somebody else baited him on something else. And then he kept it up. And he basically did like a two hour long pre-stream. He did overtime on his pre-stream.
and having to put up with their bullshit. Because he just kept sitting on there's it. There's no way for me to. Again, I can. I do that look shit sometimes too, bro. Truthful past. Things I've done in my videos, things I've done in my content. Sometimes I get well, mad about something, and like 30 minutes later, I'm still said, yelling about it. Look at the dumb way I behave. And it's like, don't you know know they, nobody even remember why I was mad. But, and that's except me. From look at this whole <laughs> world of bullshit they've created outside of my streams and outside of my that's content. That's what he did. That literally is bullshit. It has nothing to do with fact. Derek was like, what's he complaining about? Prove it, it I wonder what Derek did during these segments. Maybe he's jerking off. And now you know they're just going to go after it like they've done with every other thing. You, again, you guys don't understand. They tried to annul my marriage. They called my high school to find out if I really was the valedictorian because they didn't believe that I How was. How is this hurtful, DSP? This they isn't even a hurtful every thing. one of my utility companies. They called, you know what I mean? Like anyone who I have any interaction with on this planet in the history of my life. Like realistically, somebody calling your school that you used to go to doesn't even affect you. Me, you, anybody. Technically, right? It's... Come on, man. I get why you're bringing it up. He's trying to say that people are being weird. But it's like... Uh, I, I guess, sadly, you know? People are fucking weird online, dude. But he's acting like this is the same as people, quote-unquote, swatting his girlfriend's parents. That, that old-ass lie. And he can't even bring that up anymore because he ain't with the same lady. So she can't be a victim anymore. Life? These people have contacted. I'm not exaggerating. This has all happened. It so definitely could have gave us a better that if I open this phone and I thing show you, here's than calling his do. school. Here's a real mobile game that I play, and here's the account name that I have on there. What makes you think that that would immediately try to call? And it's like, it's a lot of people in the world, man. It only take one person to do these things, and then he blames a hundred people for doing it and say, oh, all of those people did it. I didn't call this fucking school. I don't even want to call my own fucking school. I don't want to call anybody, especially some random dude's school. Somebody did, but I didn't fucking do it. But the way you talk about it, you act like everybody did it. For following his you know. Cause you know more conspiracy did. theories, more bullshit. Try to hack that account, get the account closed, contact fucking, you know, Apple and shit. You know, it, of course they will. It would help him out if his accounts got closed on the mobile games because he would be able to spend money so on his why family. why would I do that? That's why, he can get again, his wife even better. Super chatter who got banned because he specifically. It's nothing wrong with having a fat video, wife. Which he shouldn't have done. He shouldn't have mentioned the channel in the name of the video. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, different. But you have to understand. <laughs> this is why I can't ex talk about any of this shit. It has nothing to do with this stream. It has nothing to do with the content. We're gonna take we're one to more do. shot to play Final Fantasy VII before I go and get some more Coca Cola. What the fuck? Does Whenever he's done on this part, and he go to the next troll segment because the rest of this is just him complaining. This is their own insane fabricated world, all right? And what I will say is, if I, I urge you, if you are such a conspiracy theorist, all right? All right. If you just what go you want back me to do? and don't look at anything that they've made up or said or fabricated. So let me go get this straight. The stuff you can... Me as a conspiracy theorist, I'm supposed to go back and not look at what my fellow conspiracy theorist said... And I'm supposed to believe you. This is the equivalent of a dude who say he saw aliens have an alien. I mean, an E.T. And the E.T. is like, you know what, bro? You didn't see us. Like, remember that time you thought you saw us? It was all bullshit. I'm not gonna. What? No. Thank you for subscribing. This is the alien telling me to not tell him my song. Don't believe the bullshit. Just believe me. Oh uh, no. You fucking piece of shit. I'm actually not gonna believe you. <sighs> all right. All right. Go look at this stuff from my videos, my content, things that I've mentioned from over the years. All right. So what do you want me to do in reality? So he wants me to not listen to other people that make fun of him and pay attention to what he actually say. And he want me to go back to his old bullshit of him doing question mark and add two and two together. I mean, you know what? The thing is, chat, guess what? I can do that. I can go to his old shit and add two and two together. I can go to his old Instagram his current Instagram, these pictures are still on his Instagram. He don't delete pictures from Instagram because he's too lazy. You can still find Panda Lee pictures on his Instagram. And all of these pictures on his Instagram if you just keep scrolling. That's why um, I saved, like I said earlier, I saved his Instagram as a file. 
it's not here. I saved his Instagram as a file somewhere so I can just click on it and it open everything up. And you know what? It was worth it exactly for this stream because it takes like 20 minutes to scroll all the way to the bottom of somebody's Instagram like this. You know how Instagram work, fellow children, people at home who check Instagram and you have to wait a long time. But I'm pretty sure this is literally his entire fucking Instagram account. And he's saying, go back and add two and two, and you'll know the truth. And I'm like, go back and add two to two that you call yourself dark side feeling DSP gaming in a mobile game that you spend money on. So maybe you will call yourself, they call me DSP in a mobile game that you spend money on. You know what? I added two and two together, you, you fucking clown. Maybe you should you give me the calculator would. next time. You know, in a, nu in a nutshell. You know what I mean? I, of course I play mobile games. I've told you guys I do. I yeah. And that was when it first started. Like I said earlier, I remember, I, I'm older frogging, but I remember when DSP first had mobile game drama. And it was so fun. It was so fun. It was, uh, I think it was specifically him playing Parasite Eve. Evil AJ would know. Evil AJ is so mad. He's mad to this day about that Parasite Eve playthrough because DSP never finished the game. He basically said he's not going to, he woke up one day. And he said he had a stomach ache because he ate a Hot Pocket. A meatball Hot Pocket. This is the face he made. He said he ate a meatball Hot Pocket and it gave him a stomach ache. And guess what he did that same day? He was on a 2K website complaining about fucking Supercard. I don't know how people figured out, but that was when the mobile game shit first started. Years ago. When he was playing Parasite motherfucking Eve. Let's look up DSP Parasite Eve playthrough. This is like 30 years ago. And you never finished the game. Evil AJ is still waiting. Did he finish it? Oh yeah, he probably didn't finish it. It got uploaded seven years ago. We're going to get to figure out if he finished it. 2014. Oh my God. He didn't finish it, huh? No fucking way. Yo, 30 fucking over again. Tell <laughs> me He's complaining about the game being long. <laughs> nice. It don't say final. He didn't finish it. He complained about the cutscene being long and didn't finish ah, it. It's been I want to see how much dislikes this got. He's complaining about how long the video is, about how long the cutscene is. PlayStation 1 game. 69 uh, dislikes. Nice. And 42 likes. The, the kids loved it. Minutes. That was a 20 minute long cut so scene. this is how his Parasite Eve playthrough ended. This is the exact I ending of the Parasite the Eve playthrough. Scene. Why would I want to save? I want to watch all that shit over again and again. In fact, it was longer than that. Look. The last time I saved was 6.58. It's now 7.16. He couldn't even survive eight hours in this game. I don't think Parasite Eve that bad. So it's actually been... Oh my god. It's I liked the game enough when I played minutes. it. That was a long I thought I would scene. not like it before I played God it for real. Damn. But it's, it's kind of fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of the playthrough. Wow. What a legacy. What a fucking legacy. He bragged about being around for 15 years and you watched something from 2014. This is a classic game. People love Parasite Eve. Didn't finish it. Didn't even say not finished in the description, title, or anything. Go fuck yourself. Figure out he's not finished it. Maybe you can send him a tip and ask him to beat the game. And he'll say, I'll finish it if you guys want to see it. I've admitted... Jesus Christ. Add two and two together. I've told you guys, yeah, I play mobile games. But I'm not going to tell you what ones I play. I'm not going to give you my account names. Because if I did, <sighs> they'd fucking try to fuck without all of it. You understand? They would. Can't, we're still going to take a shot. Me, okay? Get ready. I've literally told you guys this already. <laughs> videos just like this i've mentioned it before and i i'll say it today i say that guess what they'll forget about this that i mentioned this okay let's see it'll be ha ha we have evidence phil plays mobile games like but Thanks i told you i did we still have evidence you play them and you told us that you didn't i said this in the beginning of the stream i got like uh gin hiccups i said this in the beginning of the stream at one point in time this dude went out of his fucking way to tell us that he was going to stop playing mobile games because he was getting married. So think about this. Think about this. Think about this this way. Like I'm kind of seasoning the water a little bit. But think about this. If somebody goes out of their way to tell you that they're not going to do something due to them getting married, 
you probably think it's got a big impact on their life, right? I'm not going to drink anymore because I'm getting married. I'm not going to do drugs anymore because I'm getting married. I'm not going to play games all day because I'm getting married. I'm not going to fuck random women because I'm getting married. That type of shit. He said this about mobile games. He said this about mobile games with no bait. I really wish I could find the clip. You sadly just have to believe me because I'm not going to go fucking find it. Maybe pig, pig, go got it. Who fucking knows? But I know for a fact before this dude moved in with Kat, he said he was going to stop playing mobile games because he wanted to spend more time with her. What that shit go? Now he playing. He say he playing when he's next to her, when he's chilling with Kat. He's on super champion, super card champion. Get out of here. Right, now, do I spend insane, over the top, ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games? No, I do not. That's ludicrous. Top. We're gonna have to I rewind do. this a lot. All right. Now, I'm gonna rewind this the I whole ad break. Insane, over the top, <laughs> ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games. Well, I fix no, my next shot. I do. And things that I've mentioned it's the reason why the years. I already pointed right. out earlier though. And if you put two and two together, you'd probably realize the truth. You would. You know, in a nu in a nutshell, I of course I play mobile too. games. I've told you guys I do. I've admitted it publicly. I've told you guys, yeah, to I play mobile shot. games. But I'm not gonna tell you what ones I play. I'm not you gonna tell you my account names. You told I us did, already. They fucking he already gave us the account names. Try to fuck without all of it. You understand? They would. They would try to ruin it for me. Okay, I've literally. And my question is, <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it, but at the same time, I don't get it. When you use terms like "they will try to ruin it for me," and you're talking about just playing mobile games, I'm like, how much did this mobile game mean to you, bro? Whatever. I'm gonna make my fucking point again with these stupid ads running. I love ads. Make another shot. Am I gonna get something? I gotta get something to drink after this. All right. What did I miss with Phil? I was at work all day, got an interview next week. Dude, TJ Gamebox, you literally missed the thing. He went on a massive WWE Champions rant. Is that the name? Yeah, a massive WWE Champions rant. Like, unbelievable WWE Champions rant. And in conclusion, he pretty much tell us, Oh yeah, I do play those games, man. But I'm not going to tell you how much I spend. I'm not going to tell you my account names. Why would I name myself DSP? He didn't say that exactly. But he's like basically saying, why would he name himself this and that? And I'm like, dude, you're named Dark Side Phil in Injustice 2. That fucking mobile game. You were named DSP Gaming in Dokkan Battle, which is a name he, ma he name drops in this video as a game he spent a good bit of money on. And then he's saying, add two and two. And I'm like, I already did. So now I believe you even more that the they call me DSP super champion, uh, WWE champions account is just him. Because you know what? He was called the dark side Phil on this fucking app. He was called DSP gaming on this fucking app. He was called DSP gaming on Pokemon Go. And he was called, they call me DSP on WWE champions told you guys this already do you know what i'm saying in videos just like this i've mentioned it before and i, I i'll say it today i say that guess what they'll forget about this that i mentioned this he's and used like every form of being dsp games, like but i told you i did i gotta go to go back to the spot hopefully i can find it do with the content we're about he's like why would i call myself I this you fucking idiot do with this stream can't do that here but the content we're about to do their talk own i will say is if i i urge okay that's it if Maybe. You, my videos, my content, things that I've mentioned, I'm probably realize the truth. I play mobile nope. games. I've told you guys I do. Video oh, this is the nonsense. Dude, we're about to play shit. It has nothing to do. Who got banned? Get the account closed. Fuck. Not exaggerating. Korean because they didn't believe that. I'm I not gonna be able school. to find it now. They try to go as this whole world of saying. I just want to find a part when he's like. Look at this. Why would I call said, myself this? I can't think of a word in a mobile game. Or a Found it. 
Wouldn't I want to be a totally different fucking Jeez, thing? So man. This is it. Think about it this way. We'll watch Why this the fuck again. would I use my Twitter handle in a fucking mobile game to begin with? Wouldn't I want to be DSP or DSP Gaming? Or for that matter, wouldn't I want to be a totally different fucking name so no one can find me in a mobile game? I mean, duh. And why don't you think I don't want to actually open my phone right now and prove something to you? Because then you'd know the fucking name I would use in a mobile game or other... I wonder how many mobile games DSP play now. And he don't call himself DSP or Dark Side Phil. It's just going to make people ask so many more questions and they're going to get mad about them. For accounts all over the internet. Because I'm already guess asking what they them. Would do. Get me. all over the internet using that name, find all the accounts, try to hack them, try to ruin my life. You understand? You understand? This is what I mean. Like, Jesus Christ. It's it's exhausting living with this shit. They contacted every one of my utility companies. They called I watched this already during the like stream. Anyone who I have any interaction with. Yeah, I'm I have to, that's why. And again, I know I'm addressing the super chatter who got banned because he specifically mentioned the name of the video, which he shouldn't have done. He shouldn't have mentioned the channel and the name of the video. I like that he pretends that the dude wouldn't have got banned if he did it without mentioning the name of a video. Like, come on, man. Just, just stop this fucking pretending. He's just spawning this long. Like basically to a ghost. Just like I say, sometimes you go too long about something and you have to realize as a content creator, when you've been talking about something too long, that's maybe not worth talking about, but you won't get a positive outcome from it. This is definitely past that point and we've got no positive outcome from this rant. Unless you can say me making fun of it is a positive outcome. And in DSP's world, that's not. Unless he's watching the stream. Okay, can't do that here. But you have to understand. I think Cat watching though. Why. So this worked out for Cat. I can't ex talk about any of this. You know shit what? Has She's not watching anymore. DSP got off work. Nothing to do with this stream. It has nothing to do with the content we're about to do. We're about to play Final Fantasy. When he's done on this part, before we go to the next fuck? subject, I'm gonna take a shot. The and then this is gonna be the last part of this thing. Outside of this, have to do with reality. Nothing. It this has nothing to do with anything. Insane, fabricated world. All right. We got a weird voice. And what I will say What's is going on? I, I urge you. If Nothing you are weird such is going a conspiracy on, theorist, I think. All right. Don't be a conspiracy theorist. If you just go back and don't look at anything that they've made up or said or fabricated. Go back to the stuff you can confirm. All right. Oh, I confirmed some stuff. Go look at the stuff from my videos, my content, things that I've mentioned from over the years. I can confirm him talking about spending money on Hearthstone. I can confirm him... Talking about spending money on Dokkan Battle. I can confirm him not streaming and going on 2K forums to complain about Supercard. I can confirm him playing Super Champions. We all saw the, 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 the phone, right? The phone segment. He's going to bring that up during this too. Like, how much more things can we confirm, bro? Come on. All right. Be honest. And if you put two and two together, you'd probably realize that... Do the math. Look, Do the math and figure you know, out DSP's a, a real scammer and not I, a fake one. Of course I play mobile games. I've told you guys I do. I've admitted it publicly. I of course that, I, yeah, play I play mobile games. games. I told you guys I do. I play. I'm not going to give you my account names because if I did, they'd fucking try to fuck without all of it. You understand? <laughs> Taking these shades off changed my world. For me. I forgot okay? I kind of had I them on the whole stream. I told you guys this already. In videos just like this, I've mentioned it before. And Did you? I, I'll say it today. Was I that? Say that. Guess what? Give Don't me the pre-stream name. That I mentioned this, and then tomorrow it'll be ha ha. We have Wait a minute. Plays mobile. I didn't forget it all. I just pointed out all the times he told us. You want me to find the video? Like for me to find him talking about when he played champions back in the day, Supercard back in the day. I would have to like legit find a fucking Fred video. Like actually, I would have to find a Fred video. I think it was a free video. I told you I did. All right. Now, do I spend insane, over the top, ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games? No. This shit's so lame. Like saying this makes it sound kind of worse. It's very suspicious. And I, I'll say it today. I say that. Guess what? They'll forget about this. That I mentioned this. And then tomorrow it'll be, ha ha. We have evidence Phil plays mobile games. Like, but I told you I did. Not this part. All right. Now, do I spend insane, over the top, ridiculous amounts? Insane, over the top, ridiculous amounts of money. What does that even mean? Insane, over-the-top, ridiculous might mean enough to actually put him in a poor house and not enough to make him beg. Amounts of money on mobile <sighs> games? No. 
I do not. That's ludicrous. I don't have the money to fucking spend. I've told you guys, all my money is going to bills, back taxes, responsibilities I have. If I had... I mean, his responsibility could be spending money on super champions. Money... I'd be spending it on my family. You sure? I would be spending it on a dumb fucking game. Right. All the shit that they fucking say about this is so hurtful. Because. Oh shit, I just noticed my I stream didn't crash. My family. That's pretty good. I do. I think I, I had enough tabs closed then. The 28 the gigs of RAM was good enough. I'm hoping that things will get for better. For stupid VTuber you know, stuff. Forward in the next and two cameras. That, but this He's taking a long time grow. on this subject. I'm dying. The will get better. That things will get a little bit better. And I won't, I won't be in the situation I'm in. You know what Inflation. I'm saying? But it's just utter fucking stupidity. Like, literally, the, the video that they keep referencing, July 23rd. And the police Rapp, interrogation I'm is called Reductio, 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 Absurdum. I told you I play mobile games, you fucking idiot. He really did do some specific mind over game over. shit. And I don't think he's I that smart. It's them. just an accident. All right? It's just the way but he works. He just do this shit I by do, accident. And I'm not who you say I am in those games. It's loot. It's so dumb. It's so July 23rd, Daily Wrap. Glad I rewind it. I like how this is going to be his most popular Daily Wrap. Only DSP. Only motherfucking DSP. It's so weird to find this, like, organically. Uh, that's a backup of it too that's nice so yeah the point of this daily rap is that right. his phone showed and you look at the phone it's literally wwe fucking champions like it's literally wwe champions it's just that right side of the screen this is just the game pc situation it's just the game and he was being so fucking greedy this is just greed that made this happen he was being so fucking greedy he wanted to film his fucking cat sitting in a chair and being cute and it was a minute and like 30 seconds of like basically the worst thing shown on his phone. Somehow, the worst thing that could show on DSP phone was on his phone for a minute and 30 seconds in this video. The worst thing. I think it would be better if a random naked woman was on his phone. Because he probably wouldn't even got banned for it. Maybe he would have lost his wife. But it would have been better for him if he was cheating on Cat and a random woman was on his phone. It actually yeah, so like, might have been less drama. Like you could watch him sit here. <laughs> Fucking like, idiots oh, are saying I cheated oh, on my wife? Uh, no. She left me months ago. Yeah, I'm trying to pet you. You don't have to fight me. You don't have to move. Uh, okay. I'm doing the daily rap. Today was... <laughs> now nah, he didn't have Today a chance to Saturday, talk. This is the daily rap. The 23rd of July, 2022. It's a, a backup ah. of Ann Lee when they were watching it on every stream. <laughs> what do we it do was today? lit. Everybody well, was like, what's on his phone? What's on his phone? That's champions. Champions. Is that champions? Champions. Champions. Is that, is that champions? Champions. Is that champions? It's like, yo, it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just is. Hell. So, it was a good show. All right, then on the mainstream, we finished. This is a really good cat video, though. And he, he actually do seem like he kind of don't like him. I don't know. It's been so long since I've played with a cat. Wait. So I don't know how to act anymore, man. But this seemed like... It's like a dog a dog relationship he got with DSP. He's acting like a little dog. It's how Anonymous act. And she's a guinea pig. But I like this. They instantly go into like... This pose. This suspicious cat pose. All right, then, it's on super the cute. stream, we finished up Stray, and Mr. Jasper Kitty, oh, <laughs> Mr. Jasper Kitty was here. He probably got him in a habit of doing this, Stray. like he did this one day, and that was three years ago. Jasper. So now every time he interacts with the cat, it's like an actual Kitty, fight. Oh, Mr. Jasper Kitty was here, for most of it, actually. He was actually there, pawing the TV, doing all kinds of silly stuff. I just took a couple pictures of him in the office today. As but well, this is July 23rd, the, uh, the Daily Wrap. Later tonight, and this is probably going to be his most popular daily rap video ever. And it's something else, like some other really, really lame DSP video. That's his most watched video for like this year or last year. And I forgot what it was. I think it's maybe him playing Elden Ring and he clear his throat in the beginning of the video. Something. Basically, all of DSP's most watched videos are really, 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 really bad. Like. If you watch him from the algorithm, you're not going to want to watch any other videos. 
And this might be the best one because of some dude playing with his cat and people love cat videos. I mean, come on, look at him. He's got triangle ears and midden feet. This dude's hilarious. So check that out. Um, but anyway. We Bro, look at him. It's a cat. Up stray, straight Dude, I love, I love cats. They're so stupid. And I literally teared up at the end because I loved it. So okay, what I need to tell you about you crying about a video game. But uh, yeah, that's that. And this is definitely, by at least 4,000 views, the most watched daily rap. And it's going to be the most watched daily rap probably forever. Yeah. 2.2K is the most views. This is going to be the most watched daily rap video ever. And let's catwalk on stream one day and say Phil isn't going to be showing up anymore. That's probably going to get the most views for a daily rap. And it's him not even doing anything. It's basically a cat video, but it's his phone showing. And that's why I got so much views. Jeez Louise, man. Oh, well. Let's see what he got I say. told you I play <laughs> mobile games. You fucking idiot. So does he I play? So does he play WWE champions? Look, I don't know. Just listen to him. The, the He's not going to actually answer, by the way. Video that they keep referencing. July 23rd, Daily Wrap. I've told you I play mobile games. You fucking idiots. I outright said it over and over. I've said I play them. When? All right? But I don't like do three what years you ago? say I do. And I'm not who you say I am in those But I don't do what you say I do. And I'm not who you say I am in those games. It's don't do what you say I do. And I'm not who you say I am in those games. It's loot. It's so dumb. I've literally. I can do, listen to this part over and over. You, it hit right? different every time. But I don't. Do I what don't you do say what you say I do. I do and I'm not. And I'm who not who you say I am. Say I, am. It's, I don't do what you say I do. And I'm not who you say I am in those games. It's loot. It's so dumb. I've literally <sighs> admitted this. <laughs> I said it in videos. I said, Poor yes, BSP. I play mobile games, but I'm not telling you which ones. I'm not giving you my account name. I'm not stupid. Man, how so much I mobile games right do you think Right now, I will not turn on my phone and show you. Here is, here. I'm not dumb. You know what I mean? But again, this is, why? Why, this is what they say and do. They say, oh, you I say, thought you liked hanging out with your phone wife. Lit up in a video with Jasper and it showed a mobile game. And? A mobile game. Dude, people say that show. I'm not gonna show it again. People say that show WWE Champions. That's the main game that should be an accused of spending like a hundred thousand dollars on. It's a big difference between that and a mobile game. What the fuck, man? Get in. <laughs> and what? What is your fucking point? It proves nothing. You fucking idiots. I'm so tired of it. it I mean. Oh, we finally got him red-handed. Red-handed what? Doing what I told you I do. But what does that have to do with this podcast? What does that have to do with, with Final Fantasy VII? Nothing! Sons of SmackDown. Nothing! There's no crossover at all. It has nothing to do with Didn't anything. he make Sons so of SmackDown? Do you keep bringing this it up? dude, man. You're a loser. Is that, you is that like, in this roundabout way, the Sons of Kojima being rent free in his head? Come on. The this Sons of SmackDown. This is conspiracy around me to try to cause this drama and keep pushing your fucking narratives that are bullshit. This game better be and fun. I'm tired of it. And then you know I it's not fucking tired It's not like it. fun fun, right? I don't know, man. What is fun? Oh my god. Eating DoorDash. Like insane. And now of course what they'll do, here we go. Well, what do they do? Phil, is it what I did? Phil admits he plays mobile games, which I've already That's what I should have named the stream. It's too late now, but I can do it anyway. Big Exposé. Phil plays mobile. Phil plays mobile games. Love those typing sounds, I bet. Big expose. Phil plays mobile games. T pose. Already done in the past. I've already outright said this. But what about the times when Phil said he doesn't play these particular mobile games? Well, let me think. I like him saying, I told you before that I played these games, you fucking idiots. And then he says, But what about the time I said I didn't play these games? About I can't this. even rewind anymore. I'm not if rewinding that. I'm just trying to have a fucking normal day. All right? On a stream. I'm trying to have a good day mm -hmm. with my audience that doesn't care about this shit that you guys keep talking about because you're losers. Right? 
Maybe no, I that's fucking listen, fun. What's the better option? Maybe I'll lie. Talk about it for half so hour. basically, he's saying, I'll rather lie. Now, this shit lame as hell. Because this dude just basically told us that he always said that he played those mobile games. And that we're fucking idiots for not just noticing him admit to this. And then he say, now maybe some people asked me about it and I said no. Well, think about this. Do I want to stream and say um, that I play mobile games all day? Probably not. And that's why you lied. And that's what people are talking about, that you lied. So you're basically telling us that you lied before. Yeah, duh. That's what you do. An hour like I just did. Or just say, I guess it doesn't care about this shit that you guys keep talking about because you're losing. Let's see if I'm right. right. I might be wrong. Maybe I say, listen, what's the better option? Sit here and talk about it for half an hour like I just did. Or just say, I don't play mobile games. Fuck it. So he's saying he lied. What's the better option? To talk about it or to say I don't do it and lie? Well, probably to lie. Like, realistically, it's probably the best option to lie. Realistically, it's the best option for him to actually be a positive content creator and not talk about other people's downfall every day and people failing and game companies going under and outlasting people and people getting their channels deleted. Well, he don't really talk about that. But you get the point I'm trying to make. Fuck this. You know, I don't know, don't man. listen to them, right? What's the quicker option? What's the quicker option? To tell a truth or to lie? That's DSP's tr like true question right here. If you if you do the math, if you do the math, his real question right here is what should I do? Lie or tell a truth? What's the better option? Let's go back again. Let's listen to this whole little little mini segment. I won't talk to some. And I'm tired of it. I am. I'm fucking tired of it, man. <clears throat> Oh my God, it's just like insane. And now of course what they'll do, here we go. Well, Phil, big expose, Phil admits he plays mobile games, which I've already done in the past. I've already outright said this. But what about the times when Phil said he doesn't play these particular mobile games? I already said this. Hey, Phil admits he plays mobile games, which I've already done in the past. I've already outright said this. But what about the times when Phil said he doesn't play these particular mobile games? What? Well, let me think about this. If I'm just trying to have a fucking normal day, all right, on a stream, I'm trying to have a good day with my audience that doesn't care about this shit that you guys keep talking about because you're losers, right? Maybe I'd say, listen, what's the better option? Sit here and talk about it for a half an hour like I just did or just say, I don't play mobile games. Fuck this. You know, don't listen to them, right? What's the quicker option? Just say, fuck it, I don't do it. And then people, all right, now we can stop talking about it today, right? You know, I just had enough. I just had enough. I'm fed up with the bullshit. I am, you know? You know? Or would you be fucking muted? <laughs> Damn it! Damn. I'm blaming the VTuber model on this. I'm blaming them. Shit. It's not my fault. Don't worry, I didn't no. say anything. Don't worry, I didn't say anything. I was muted on purpose. It was a... Uh, yeah, I just had enough. I just had enough. I'm fed up. What should I do? What should I do, you guys? Should I be honest about being muted by accident? Or should I just say it was on purpose? Right? What's gonna should I just talk about being muted for 20 minutes straight? Or should I just move on? <laughs> right? It was my audience that doesn't care about this shit that you guys keep talking about because you're losers, right? You're losers. Maybe I listen. What's the better option? Sit here and talk about it for half an hour like I just did. Yeah, or just say, I don't play mobile games. Fuck this. Best you know, don't listen to them. Right? What's the quicker option? Just say, fuck it, I don't do it. And then people, the quicker right, option is to lie. Right? What a cool guy. Yeah, you know, I just had enough. I, just I don't had really know what other way you can see this part. You know? Besides him basically saying he, he needed to lie to save his career. <laughs> he needed to lie to get those tips. I don't play mobile I games. Much. I literally haven't said anything. Literally in this moment. 
of this podcast, I've not said anything I've not said before. And that's <sighs> what I mean. If you go back and you actually I don't know if that's really true. Over the years, and this is what I've said in them. You know how fucking cringe this shit is? Like, first of all, if you actually do that, he's going to call you all kinds of names. He's going to treat you the way he treats me. DSP loves me, by the way. We all know this. But what is he really asking us to do? Is he asking us to overanalyze this? If you go back over the last couple of years, first of all, this dude just told us how he rather lie instead of tell the truth, which of course, that's how lying work. You rather lie instead of tell the truth. But he basically told us that, but in some roundabout way. And now he's simultaneously telling us to go back and find him talking about it and being truthful about it. But it's no such thing as him being truthful about it because we don't know the real truth. You ever thought about it that way? We don't know the real truth because it don't exist. <laughs> of course, he's lying to us and we can't tell a truth because we can only say speculation and bullshit. We don't know what the real truth is. We're just looking up at the sky. But he want us to go over what now? I'm only four months back. He said a couple of years. So what does he want me to do? How does he want me to get this information? Does he want me to watch his, his fucking videos? Does he want me to watch 115 Skyrim videos? Or does he want me to watch the fucking, uh, what the fuck this game is he stopped playing? Does he, want my, does he want me to watch Dead by Daylight videos? Do you think he talk about mobile games in this? Like, what is this dude a actually asking for? His fucking fans don't watch these videos, man. He ain't want people that don't like him to watch this. So he can call them cringe and say they're stalkers because they paid attention to what he said. Nah, bro, I paid attention the first time because it was fucking lame. I was probably bored and doing some stupid stream. I'm not going to watch these videos again, though, DSP. You, you, you're not going to get those views from me, pimp. But I appreciate the effort. Connect I the dots. Said Do the math. It's already been said. I already. I just said, what was it, like a month ago? I said, yeah, I play mobile games, but I'm not going to tell you guys what they are because you know what would happen, right? I'm not stupid. I'm not going to tell you. Dude, that's the thing. You, you might have been here when I did that. I tried to look up on Pig Pig Go when he said there was some like combination of words it's probably this week in particular because i remember him saying that during so many night streams this week in particular i'm gonna need tips this week in particular tips help but you look it up now and you can't even find it really because all of those night pre-streams don't fucking exist on his channel so how many times you think this dude told us something in a night pre-stream you know how honest those night pre-streams are because he know he's never going to upload them. And if somebody else upload them, he know eventually they're going to get taken off the fucking internet. He's an honest guy. That's why he don't upload his night pre-streams. And he never did. And he probably never will. What I'm doing I wonder right why he don't upload them. I mean? He upload everything else. Everything See, I else. I agree. Vacation says, I don't think you owe anyone any explanation. Oh, well. I agree with you. I agree. The problem is that there's so many idiots on the internet. That to them, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna consider that a discussion doing, break. Right? I'm not stupid. I'm not He's not stupid. What I'm doing or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, DSP isn't stupid. That's how we're gonna end the. We're not. We're not gonna end it, but I'm going to get something else to drink. And we're taking another shot. Yeah, I got my boots on me. Nose underscore vacuum cheered. One hundred bits. Yo, what about the? I don't have time to do anything. You have time to play mobile games. Dude, that shit annoying as hell. I already know what he would say, though. He would say it doesn't take any effort to do it. But it don't take effort to do a lot of stuff he say he can't do. I am if that makes sense. Which is one of the I am super wet, which is one of the best things you can get in life. <laughs> Big ups. DJ Filthy Rich. 512. The five give the subs to Big Blast Sonic, they didn't, they didn't tell me. Francis Jock Morgan, the seven month, Creamy Load Blast, the first month, and Leafy Zero, the 18th month. Okay, Nose Vacuum, the 100 bits. Uh, biscuit Bun Cream, the 100 bits early. He must be drinking some spicy gin on his vid. Quality rank, quality dodging the issue. Like I say, he probably wanted a 3 p.m. stream more than anybody else because he was popping the fuck off. I was almost going to be late to start this stream because I was waiting for this pre-stream to be over. 
And the, the and funny the thing, thing is, is, for some for reason, some reason I, woke I woke up today thinking to myself, dude, myself, dude I should watch should DSP's pre-stream on my stream. stream. I'm going to be gonna super be random and do that. And instead, I went to Walmart. And then I was making, like, a shitty pizza. And I was just hearing this dude go the fuck off. And it was more than normal going off, because he basically go off every pre-stream. That's basically, 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 basically. A massive point of his pre-stream is to just hear him complain about something, even if he don't notice it. That's why, like I was saying earlier, this dude, like, his core content and his actual values and shit are, like, based on him being negative. He can be a nice guy. Even if you give him a $1,000, it's basically going to even him out. He's not going to actually be nice, positive, or chill. He can't be. And it's very sad. But what if he could be? What if he could be? Why the fuck don't I have meows? Yeah, man. The meows are the most important thing on the stream. But uh, it's time to do a shot. The last shot for the next, like, 20 minutes, probably. But I gotta go get some more Coca-Cola after this. And that's the Raisin Cane's bread on the cow ears. I got an ice cream cone, 1017 chain. I got a dingus on one boot. Some Raisin Cane's bread as earrings. I got my championship belt on. This is why VTubers have way too much fun. Way too much fucking fun. It's actually unfair. Uh, I hate it. Anyway. Uh, 76543. We can dedicate this shot to Rexum, DJ Filthy Rich, OIOIO. -O -O -O. Uh, white guy, 0015. Uh, Lil Crookie. Newplex underscore, D Trash Man. Have you ever tried making grilled cheese using Kane's bread? Kinda. But not really. Nah, not real grilled cheese. You better take a sip. You know what really outlandish idea? You get some Cane's bread and cut it in half because it's really thick. And then, you know, take a slice cheese and some sugar. How many people put sugar on that? You better take a sip. Grilled cheese. I don't know if that's a real thing, but that's what I used to do. I talked about it before and people seem mildly confused. But I also put syrup on spaghetti. So, we don't need to talk about that today. Uh, catwalk, catcall. Little Crookie, Nose Vacuum, Peaches and Keem, D-Trash Man, Francis, Jock Morgan, Mothanea, Mock Mosh Pit, Jazzy51, Nato Cog, uh, Catwalk, Catcall, Aloof One, Shawnee Bot, Peaches and Keem, uh, DJ Filthy Rich, Stream Elements, Dalton KY, Theo Dead Streams, Pancake mix, bow rock, retro wise, make it, make it piss. I hate this name. Uh, and everybody else. Seven six five four, three two one go. You better take a sip. Oh man. You better take a sip. You better take a <sighs> sip. That was a little rough. Extra, extra warm. Goddamn. <sighs> okay, I definitely have to go get something to drink now. <sighs> it's okay, I have Icebreakers Duo. Oh man. I'm gonna be okay. I'm just hyping it up. I'm exaggerating. Let's see if song requests work. Probably not. I really don't know why they broke the way they broke today. Like, I've been using the same song request bot for like seven years, and it never broke this way. But it does have an update that I didn't download. So that might be why. These people never push updates out because they basically gave up on the program. So maybe something broke. I didn't think about it. I might try to download the update. Now when I could I do something to stall? I can get a song. One of my super chill free songs. Yeah, I got my glow on me. I ain't trying to gamble right now. And if a mob ban me, 
I can go complain right now. Did this say it's not what? Shenanigans. <laughs> That's what we get instead. And we get a lizard check for the break, even though Pancake Man is completely out of it. He's probably watching the stream. He's probably, he's watching me. He's actually like staring at me right now. He's being super weird. My mouse in the wrong spot. I'm still trying to find a good spot to put my mouse in. Yeah, we're gonna... What? Okay, my reward's fucked up. Unless somebody did it, and I didn't notice. Oh my god, lizard check was redeemed. Was redeemed? Two motherfucking hours ago. Four hours ago. And that's it. Well, we get it now. <laughs> They're still here. <laughs> It's kind of scary almost. I gotta download an update for this Streamlabs bot and maybe all of the song requests will work then. Ooh, woo. We're gonna have to see, dude. And we sadly have to sit in silence until then. It's actually not my fault. I did nothing wrong. This is the Streamlabs chat bot fault. It's doing weird stuff and it might crash OBS. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if it crash OBS. I survived this long. What the fuck you mean you can't access the specific specified device? What? What? Get the fuck out of here. I think it worked now. We gotta wait a little longer. Those my Gex clips don't even work. We've lost visual, Captain. Shot it. <sighs> this better fucking work. Let's see. Let's try that. Second version added to the list. Uh, come on. Oh, no. It still don't work. No. My song request broke. They're broke in a very specific, suspicious, unexplainable way. I'm going to have to work on it behind the scenes. This may change everything if song requests don't work. Request permission to everyone, veto permission to everyone, skip permission to everyone. Max duration five minutes, max queue twelve minutes, no limits on. Regular max one sub max two. Why the fuck don't it work? I'm panicking right now, dude. Even Garfield can't help me through this. This fucking sucks. This might be Pokemon fault. If she didn't cancel Streamlabs, they would still be good. Well, that's what we do. I'm gonna try to fix this for like another 50 seconds. Yeah, it's fucked. Finesse two times work. Um. I'm gonna give him a real request. Yeah, look at that. Gugats. Something's very weird happening with this. I don't know how I feel about it. You can't even see this dude, by the way. He's right here. <laughs> like, the glass is right here. This is the closest he can be. Every once in a while, he gets in this spot and stares in this direction. And I'm sitting right here. It's like, bro, why are you looking at me? Basically, he's doing that. It's like super chill. 
What's this red dot? It's a fucking sniper or something. What the hell? I wonder what's creating it. Yeah, I don't know what's making it. I don't know why these song requests fucked up though. Hopefully I can figure out eventually because I'm definitely not figuring it out today. Maybe it could just be an API thing and it's actually nothing I can do about it because I did upload the pro update the program. Fuck them. <laughs> this song is my shit. I listen to it every day. This is my favorite rapper that just got out of jail. It's at least like 20 of them at all times. And he ain't that special. But in reality, what rapper is special? People just have that time. And some people don't. And this is the guy who has his time. At least for a little while. And that's probably pretty chill. Yeah, we're gonna get Pancake Man for like five minutes. I'm gonna go and get a Coca-Cola and maybe some water. We're gonna take another shot when I get back. And we're almost, almost done with whatever this rant was from DSP. But don't worry. Everybody else is gonna listen to this shit. And if you want the archive, hold on. This is going to get archived because it was, uh, it basically got fucking paid to be archived. So go and follow this channel. Go and follow this channel on YouTube that I'm posting a link right now. And when this stream's done, eventually it will be uploaded to this channel. And the last DSP stream, the 10 hour closet cleaning thing. I'll post to this channel too, because I mean, why not at this point? Uh, blame Kane Z7. In the beginning of the stream, I was like annoyed. And I said, if somebody give 10 subs, I'll upload this to an archive channel. They get the 10 subs. So it's going to get uploaded to that archive channel. <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty cool and super chill. All right, I'll be back. We can at least get shout outs on this screen and you can look at a bearded dragon he's probably watching the guinea pigs if i was to pretend like he's looking at something my shout outs not work i would say he's looking at the guinea pigs because they're basically in that direction and if he turn his head a little bit more then he's just going to be looking at me he was doing it earlier i called him out and he tried to act cool he always do that shit my shout outs not work oh god everything broke help <laughs> bruh nothing worked you know shit fucked up when a shout out don't do anything you don't get the like Jack. response help. oh man I wonder what pancake man think about this We got nothing. Whatever. Can I at least run some ads? I can run manual ads when I leave. Something a good streamer should do. To be honest. I know what I can do. We can advertise something while I'm going to. I got this hot redeem. It's called Hey Tevin, buy this game. If you put something in it, it's got to be a Steam game. I'll add it to a list. And I'm going to do a vote. And whatever game win the vote, I'm going to buy it. It could be a $5 game, a $10 game, a $20 game, a $70 game. One whole channel point. And you can name a game. Oh, you can spend 11 channel points to meow. <laughs> or 47 points to give a raccoon a sip. Speaking of, then I'm going to get my drinks after this because I'm fucking around now. My raccoon is glowed the fuck up. Once we, once we got into the upper echelon of raccoons and stream pets, 
<laughs> really, really ball the fuck out. I got a level 60 raccoon now. Level 60. Dude, I remember when it was level zero and I thought to myself, damn, one day I'm gonna be in a top 10. We're really? Okay, I'm not in the top 10. But I was like, damn, one day I'm gonna be in a top 50 of raccoons. Of stream pets. That was the voice I made. I think my slight lack of RAM is catching up with me. Because I took some RAM out of this computer to put in my stream PC because Amazon fucking me around. And it's, it's kind of coming out. Help! Don't say anything. Don't say anything! Look at this. It's not going to load. Everything's too buggy. No, I can't close my tabs. I have a thousand of them. Come on, man. Stop being weird. Big up, Shinzo. You're here at the perfect time. Hey, let's get some more links. Why not? If you want a download link to Thugging It and Loving It 1. You got a link right there to Thugging It and Loving It 1. If you want a link to Thugging It and Loving It 2. You got it right there. The original quality. No edits. Nothing weird done. It's just ripped and downloaded or uploaded. Super chill. And you can probably still download it. I'm going to make another version to watch on my stream and to send to Roderick. And we can watch it and not get banned. <laughs> Why is this not loading? Come on, I want to look at my raccoon rank. It's mad important. So I have to do it now. I'm giving myself 30 more seconds. Go! Look at this. I think we just, we an API hell a day. I think this is an API day. Nothing works. Nothing works that's supposed to work. Shout outs don't work. Song requests don't work. My fucking raccoon. My raccoon don't have information. Anyway, it's like level 60. So I probably won't be kicked out of the top 50 for raccoons. Because it's like six or seven of them below me. Oh my God, Rexum underscore gifted me a tier one subscription to Rexum underscore. Bro, I got like three gift subs in the last couple of days. This is very chill. You know how suspicious people are like, they'll be like, oh my God, I got to gift this sub to a channel I don't watch. Imagine halfway complaining about getting a gift. Unbelievable. That's like getting a $2 check in the mail. But it's only for one thing, and you can't choose what to spend it on. I love getting random gift subs, especially the channels I don't watch. Oh, well, I'm about to go and get my fucking drink now before I fuck around too much and stall for another 35 hours. So we don't have shout outs because nothing works. Thanks for following red underscore head. Fair enough. So now I work halfway, but not the other way. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Does anything work? Can you guess Pokemon? Bro. This is API horror. What's going on behind the scenes? This is supposed to automatically make a Pokemon pop up on the screen. You can guess the Pokemon, but instead you just see Slim Jesus. It's drill time. It's a bunch of weird shit don't work, and I'm wondering how much of it is real and how much of it is on my end. I'm going to assume nothing is on my end. But I do think this is an API day, though. We're getting rolled by the API pretty bad. Like, song requests don't work? Yeah, man. We love song requests. Oh, God, a Detroit beat. 
Look at that. It don't matter what I say. Exclamation mark. SR is supposed to get you something. And it ain't getting us even... It ain't even getting us a bad response. We get no response. But thankfully, we get a Baby Tron song. So I'm definitely walking away for this. I'll be back with... Uh, you know what? We're going to do a poll. We're going to do an interaction poll. We're going to do an interaction poll on what snack to taste when I get back. And hopefully I don't crash the stream opening a new tab. I like opening one tab and how much it scares me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm about to open a tab. Everybody hold back. Just stop. Just start blocking. Hold back. Hold back! Wait, 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 wait. Fuck this shit, I'm out. It's taking too long to load. I think the poll website might be broke too. This website always down. Yeah, we're being API hard. Very hard. The poll made site down. This what this website's always down. It's been so many times I was about to stream at like 9 p.m. or some shit. Okay, I'm lying. There's been so many times I was about to stream at like 1, 1 a.m. I'm like, oh man, I'm going to stop my stream and do a poll. And then I refresh the fucking site and it don't work. And I'm like, damn. Oh. And then I start streaming and I don't have anything to do or no poll to set. And then I like complain about something. And so yeah, poll map don't work. This is API day. This is actual API day. We're getting destroyed. I got to do a lame scam poll. We're gonna do a snack try and pull. It's gonna be Doritos, Tangy, Tamarind, Tam, Tamarind. I totally know what a Tamarind is. Or uh, Fruity Loops gummies. You can do one bit per additional vote or a hundred fake glow per vote. And it's going to be a 10 minute poll. So make sure to vote on a poll. It's the super lame poll that shows on the screen like this. Uh, if you don't see it at all, you might live in a different country and you can't use polls. I don't know. But yeah, Doritos, Tamarind or Fruity Loops gummy candy. I could even vote only once though. Fair enough. And if you want to waste channel points or bits, you can do spam votes for one. But Dorito is probably going to win. It's legit just more interesting than Fruity Loops gummy candy. It's it's a pretty, uh, pretty stacked vote. And Big Up's Pepsi Addict for the Baby Shark. 125 bits. It's probably playing out. I don't even have my headphones on. Is it playing? It is. <laughs> Wait. The sound alerts not work. I heard Baby Shark, damn it. I heard it. Oh my God, you didn't hear it? No fucking way. No fucking way. It's a disaster stream. Nothing works. Never mind. One person say they heard it. It might have been real. I got to confirm. Oh, it's quiet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I turned my desktop audio down a lot earlier. This shit isn't gonna load either. Waiting for play.google. Yeah, something's going on today. And I feel in the dark because I don't know if this is real or if I'm just thinking it. This might be in my head. I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> Can we get Baby Shark at least? Like the whole shark? I replayed it. Where is it? Where is it? It's not there. We're in silence. We got nothing. What the fuck? Thanks for following <laughs> Meg Eat Piss. <laughs> What's going on? Everything's broke. <sighs> what 
whatever. I'm restarting the Baby Tron song. I might be back before this song done playing. Jeez Louise. I'm not even trying to play a shout out or anything. I fucking give up. This is API day. Nothing works. Uh, make sure to vote on the poll. We currently have 212 votes for Fruity Loops Gummy Candy and 212 votes for Doritos Tamarind. Whichever one win is going to get a Tevin C. Tries it. Does TTS work? I don't even want to check what don't work at this fucking point, man. Nothing worked. I'm pretty sure like half of the things I use don't work because they're all connected to the same websites. Like, for instance, the TTS is connected to the shout out website. So, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Streamlabs is connected to like five things. And oddly enough, the. What do they call? Not captions. Credits. The credits run, which is a part of Streamlabs. But yeah, this looked like an API day. What happened on my YouTube channel? They're fucking deleted. That's what happened to YouTube channels. Think about this. If a YouTube channel isn't around any anymore, what could have possibly happened to it? Do you think the government shut it down? You know what? The government might have shut it down. I think DSP works with the United States um, federal government. And him and his friend shut it down. I just don't know that part yet. But I might get it back. I'm working with lawyers behind the scenes. The lawyer is me. I'm better than real lawyers, I think. Because real lawyers don't even know how to send fucking counterclaims. And I do. So big ups to me. I should have the channel back by the end of the month. And if I don't, YouTube copyright counterclaims don't work. But I tell you what don't work. Uh, other people's copyright counterclaim messages. I'm not shitting on somebody directly because I didn't talk to anybody directly about it. I just did a lot of research. I drove myself fucking crazy about it. It's okay. It's like the fifth time that happened in the last three months. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm just sitting here fucking around. I'm going to get some more uh, Coca-Cola. We're going to do another shot when I get back. And we don't have song requests because nothing fucking worked. So we get to listen to one of my favorite songs. Persona 2. Maya theme. The happy version. From the PSP game. One of the best songs you can listen to. It's going to be after this. So you're going to have to suffer, I guess. But yeah, like I said earlier, I did the counterclaims and all of my counterclaims went through. It took me like actually days to come up with the right word and to make it work. So unless that dude wants to literally take me to court, I should get the YouTube channels back. And if I don't, then YouTube factually deleted them and they're gone forever it's either or but i did what i'm supposed to do so you know i could have did it a lot earlier but i ended up eventually doing it and that's something I forgot. We had Pancake Man camera earlier. Hey, he moved!
All right. I have uh, four super delicious super worms. And they look really happy to be here. Can we get a zoom in? I'm going to try. Yeah, that's kind of a zoom in. These dudes look super, super chill. Super cool. They're always having a good time. Wiggling around and being worms. Isn't Ligma what Ninja was um, diagnosed with? It's a very dangerous disease. Dude, it's a whole ass worm right there. He's right there. He's playing dead. Bruh. You can see him, right? <laughs> right? He's actually not a real worm. That's like a super dead one. Yeah, it is. It's not a live worm. My bad. That dude died a long time ago. He's basically like invisible. He's flat. He don't exist. He died. He's dead. He's not going to eat that. I'm going to get another one. That one got too dry. I got to treat him like a, I got to treat him like Jasper Kitty. I move my hands around and make them, make them turn. Hey, come over here, man. God damn. Yeah, we don't, uh, we can't eat this. This is like nothing. That's like a, like a Dorito or something. This is not an, an edible worm. Exactly. If he doesn't know that they're suffering when he eats them, it's not worth eating them. They have to, they have to go through pain. I know I was lying. I'm giving them one more. Actually, one more. Sometimes you take too long to grab one. And my Google was yelling at me. Oh my God, it's another Detroit beat. <laughs> Listen to this. I don't know why I hate these beats so much. They offend me.
Oh yeah, I forgot about the pole. It's probably been, yeah, it's been enough time now. This is it. This is the song we all needed. <laughs> With Tevin stream 3 p.m. Wednesday, as promised. Holy shit, Ivana's still streaming? What the fuck? Exactly, you pull straight out. Okay. Let's go oh, that's because she's streaming Google. with somebody else. Because she, like, this is not her normal time, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? P Fan left us like hours ago. He's supposed to stream 12 hours on Wednesday. This is bullshit. I'm actually kind of pissed off about it. I'm not going to lie, chat. Yeah, I'm kind of mad about it. I won't even talk about Elden Ring today. This is supposed to be a fun, chill stream. As Ivana is playing Elden Ring. We're going to ignore that. We all actually we love it. ASP fan. <laughs> he went to the gym. Motherfucker. He actually did the real life thing he wanted to do. And he didn't sit around on stream all day. Get out of here. It's okay. We all understand. As P fan fans, we understand. Next Wednesday. He's going to be like, yeah, last Wednesday I went to the gym. So this Wednesday, and then dot, dot, dot. And everybody's going to say, damn, Tevin, you remember that P-Fan stream? And I'm going to say, fuck, I was asleep. But next Wednesday is going to be fire. And Snake's Revenge, what did you miss? Literally everything. Uh, What did you miss? DSP basically just went on a really, really, really ridiculous rant. His entire pre-stream today was a rant about trolls negativity uh super uh <laughs> wwe champions not super champions he admitted to playing a bunch of mobile games he yelled and yelled and yelled i'm not done yet but that's basically what you miss I'm and working. uh it's technically gonna be archived i got tricked so if you want to watch it on the archive that's gonna be easy to watch you can sub to this channel and it's going to be on that channel whenever it's done or whenever I can upload it. So you got that at least. And uh, my actual YouTube channels, all of my counterclaims, like I went through all the work to make them work and make them go through. So I should get my other YouTube channels back by like the 20th of this month or so. And if I don't, then that means the YouTube systems don't work. And we all got rolled. But I did what I was supposed to do. So that's basically what you miss. DSP complained and yelled a lot, which is pretty much every stream. But it was like extra special, which is what made me do this stream. And uh, the YouTube copyright thing that I did. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. And we're gonna take another shot. Since I said I was doing one, I got one. One when I got back. My God, I try to talk way too fast in the modern era. I remember people say I talked way too slow. You I talked it way you too slow. Take a sip. And now I try to talk way too fast. I don't know what happened now. It might be the perks or something, or too much G fuel over long periods of time. It changed my brain anatomy or some shit. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to think of me at the, au the autopsy table. What the fuck was wrong with this dude? He was, he should have been with the white coats. He was fucking great. He was, what would DSP say? He was fucking out of his fucking, you know, out of his fucking shit, man. He like lost his fucking, you know what I mean? Uh, they listened to the Maya thing, but it was the sad version. I fucking hate the sad version. It's so annoying. When I hear that doo 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 doo, I get so pissed off. This is the correct version. This is the one you're supposed to listen to. Yep, soil and G fuel. Ooh woo. I forgot to check for soil when I went to Walmart earlier. Because they probably had it in stock, the vanilla soil. 
because everything was restocked except meat. Those shelves, I wish I streamed in Walmart earlier because people are, it's at least one person jealous of my shelves in Walmart now because that's the world we live in. But uh, man, my shelves in this Walmart today were extra fucking stuffed. All of them. It was like a clown world now, dude. Every shelf was full to the front, except the meat. Except the meat. Everything. Cereal, chips, the snacks, the, the fucking grits, the peanut butter cups, the pizza, the chicken, the ham, the turkey, the pepperonis, the cheese, literally everything. It was, it was unbelievable. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I don't think we have Publix. I'm pretty sure, uh, like, I know what Publix is, but I don't know. I'm just going to say it's like a Walmart type place. But I don't think we have that out there. Publix is in, like, Atlanta, man. I'm just saying that because I heard of Atlanta rapper referencing. But uh, we're going to take a shot. A Florida grocery store. Three states. Yeah, we definitely don't have that. We have Piggly Wiggly. Do you have a Piggly Wiggly? When is the hoodie going on sale? Oh, the thing behind me, huh? It's funny you mention that because you better take a sip. I just, in the last 24 hours, signed the deal and I got the discount code. So technically, you can go to the website now and go through your own effort and save a fat 10% and I get a 20% commission. But it didn't, uh, I didn't set it up all the way up. But it do technically exist. If I really wanted to, I could say, you guys, go and do this. What was I watching? Am I allowed to watch this still? Did DSP ban me from watching it? See, I agree. Looks Big ups, I can still watch it. The title confused me. I agree with Quest you. to stop the meteor. The problem is that there's so many idiots on the internet that to them, rather than focus on the fact that Phil is All right, a we're gonna take a shot. year long content creator. He started with we the dedicate guys. this shot still here today to yeah, being 14 year long content creators with engaged fan bases, bases you know I mean? who are positive about content, your life his fans are engaged in and life. engaged yeah, content, content, content so. fans and no toxicity. Yeah. For over a week, uh, every day, it's the same spam. We dedicated to Jesse, Peaches and King, Bust by Frank Castle, Razzle Senpai, Broken Mailman. It's fucking stupid. Theo Dutch Streams. Or wherever my mouse cursor is. Uh, Dalton KY, so D Trashman. Give you a final Slotherman. All right. Paris 410. Bust Bot. Uh, Doobie Bro. Dapper underscore Don. You better take a sip. Make it piss. And everybody else, seven six five four, three two one. Super delicious tangy shot of forty seven percent. Let's fucking go. Black spice Let's run. fucking go. Pretty good. <sighs> Speaking of, I still need to see what one of the thing. It's so annoying to find old polls. I have to sh change my stream manager layout to look them up on this computer. It's very suspicious and interesting and unique. And a little bit tangy. So we had 310 votes for Fruity Loops Gummy Candy. This is definitely a troll got this to happen. And uh, Doritos, second place, 305 votes. So we get to taste test Fruity Loops gummy candy they got peaches in the game the 148 bits and kenishi with the 6,000 channel points i don't know which one i used it for i don't really know how to read the poll screen but we try these oh god yo pancake man's into it This is the spot he moved in. And once I open the bag, he's like, wait a minute. You got snacks? Bro, 
You didn't say anything. And you don't even react to bag sounds. Oh god. Well, it definitely uh, it looks like the cereal. Whoa, man. And it smells like the cereal. Sadly enough. Yeah, I don't know why you want to do this. Like, why would you purposely make a fruit snack taste like fruit flavored cereal? I don't know how I feel about it. On this bullshit. So now people can say Phil finally addressed it. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, do I play It was worth buying two dollars. Buying for two dollars. Yes, I did. Alright. Do I play mobile games casually? Bullshit. Yes, so I do. Can say Phil finally addressed it. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, do I play mobile games casually? Yes. But it really do taste like if you eat dry fruit loops, it tastes like that. But if it was exaggerated. It's got like this suspicious, I say suspicious so much now, but it's got this like suspicious cereal-like flavor. It's such a dumb flavor to replicate. It makes no fucking sense. It's, a, in a, it's an illogical flavor. And it makes sense if you like Fruit Loops, I guess you will like Fruit Loops gummies. But I'm like, dude, why would you make a snack taste like cereal kinda? It ain't right. It's just a weird muted flavor. And of course, the number one ingredient is corn syrup. The number two ingredient is sugar. Number three, apple juice from concentrate. Very nice. And besides that, we got well, some, some water, some cornstarch, some beef gelatin, citric acid. Citric acid tastes good as fuck. Some natural flavors, titanium dioxide for color. Red four, yellow five, yellow six, and blue one. Big ups all my blue ones. Big bees, know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to Kellogg for holding it down. Find the fun. Gallerycandy.com. What the fuck? Kellogg advertising, like, conspiracy theories. I bet you if I go to this website, they're going to tell me DSP play mobile games. It's going to be a picture of DSP's phone. <laughs> Does DSP play this game? You go to the website and type in a mobile game, and it lets you know if DSP plays it or not. Holy shit. Oh, it's two packs. Well, this is this. It's the same thing I'm eating right now, dude. Maybe a real fruit juice. I think the Fruit Loops say that on the box, too. Fruit Loops do taste really weird, to me at least. And this does kind of mimic that weirdness that the Fruit Loops cereal offer that you can't get from any other cereal. So I guess they did it right. I don't like Fruit Loops, by the way. But me saying that is worthless. I don't really like cereal that much. The only cereal I like is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's it. And the last time I ate cereal was like multiple years ago before fucking COVID started. I bought a bunch of cereal, didn't eat it, it all went bad. Hey, so this Holy is fuck! Wrong video. It was so loud. Oh my god. Oh my god, DSP, why are your videos so quiet? Oh my god. Yes, I do. Alright? I'll tell okay. you Okay, mobile games. It's nothing new and it's nothing that proves anything. It's stupidity. It's fucking stupidity. Oh yeah, P fan. <clears throat> So here. I like how I mute myself. Just picking up a bag anyway. But I got these two. Doritos Tangy Tamarind flavor. So we're gonna taste test this as well. Because I'm already I'm already pretty confused about how stuff should taste. Apparently this is a fruit. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I barely know what a tamarind is. It's apparently a it's apparently a fruit. But yeah, I didn't notice Dorito flavor existed, and it had this shit like separated from the normal Doritos. The chip aisle was stacked. I never saw the chip aisle looking like that. It's been years since I saw the chip aisle looking like that in Walmart. My Walmart, this is like, I remember I was, I was, I went to Walmart on, I think it was Wednesday, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago. And I said, they always, they always restock on Tuesdays and they always restock on Wednesdays. And it was dead in that bitch. But man, they restocked today and yesterday. They were still restocking when I was in there. It was balling. There were so many people with masks on. I'm, I feel so sad when I see people with masks on. It just makes me, uh, it's like, it brings out a doomer mood in me. Like, oh, fuck. You know, it's hard to explain, but that's just kind of me being random. But anyway, I saw these Doritos, and now I'm smelling them, and they smell really weird. But I had to buy them. Sure, they're almost $6 for a bag of Doritos in 2022. But uh, these are the things we go through to eat tamarind flavored Doritos. Tangy tamarind. Spicy, sour, zing, artificially flavored. And of course it is. I wonder what it tastes like, man. Hmm. Yeah, I'm frowning pretty bad behind these shades. It's definitely tangy. It is sour. It is also spicy. I feel like I ate three different Doritos in one. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to reset this. Every once in a while. It's really awkward to like know how I'm sitting. And if I look at myself too much, I get like positioned a certain way. Yeah, I don't want to eat any more of these for now. I don't like them, pimp. And I knew for a fact, for some reason, something told me when I bought those Doritos that I wouldn't like them. I don't like them. They're going to be good enough. I'm eventually going to finish eating them. Like, as I. Me as a human being, I can't throw away Doritos. But these are definitely my least favorite type of Doritos. These are fucking lame. They taste like the spicy nacho, but not. And they also taste like another Dorito flavor, but not. And they also taste like... I don't remember the name. What's the name of those things? They're like long. Uh, that's not going to explain it. They're almost like a straw, but it's a corn chip and it's rolled up. Takis. I knew somebody would figure it out if I explained it weird enough. It's like, it tastes like a taki too. It tastes like a taki. Or is it tack? It's not tacky. It tastes like that mixed with. Some bad Dorito flavor mixed with something else. It ain't good, though. It ain't busting, pimp. I don't know what context you're going to eat these Doritos in. This is a very diverse flavor. I see why they had this shit quarantined from the other Doritos. What the fuck? It's some bullshit flavor, dude. I hate it. I don't hate it, but I kind of hate it. I'm never buying it. I'm not buying it again. It's like an orange flavor in the back, too. Like a, like a delayed flavor. I'm tasting this orange. This orangey flavor. Bro, it's fucking this trash. The more I think about it, the more I hate it. No. I spent a thousand dollars on this bag of Doritos. Ladies and gentlemen. Bro, I spent I 20 grand on these casually. fucking chips. Yes, I do. Yes, I play mobile games. Okay. Yes, I spent $20,000 on Doritos. And? People are like... Wow, Tevin, you spent $100,000 on Doritos. So? First of all, you should mind your fucking business. And second of all, 
That has nothing to do with you. What I do with my free time has nothing to do with you as the viewer. And what makes me happy should not have anything to do with you as the viewer. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, do I play mobile games casually? Yes, I do. All right? I'll tell you that more than one. I play more than one. Oh, yeah, you play more than one, all right. Mobile game casually in my free time, which is not a lot. But every once in a while, there's a little bit of time to kill, or maybe I'm, you know, relaxing with my wife. And I, I'll grind. Whew. That's when it starts to hurt a little bit, pimp. I gotta find something to listen to in the background. Because everything's just flying back to me. Next thing's gonna be talking about how we drink coffee and how we said he wasn't gonna drink caffeine. This dude went out of his way to tell us he was gonna basically go the rest of his life without caffeine. Guys. My wife told me to stop drinking caffeine, to stop taking caffeine, stop drinking coffee. And you know what? I will. I'm decaffeinating, you guys. You listen to this dude now he's streaming at like fucking seven o'clock his time. And he's like, oh yeah, I fucking drink a coffee. Man, chill out. Y'all wanna y'all wanna hit a pill bottle? You wish. Literally everybody watching the stream right now, they wish without even wishing that I could find a bottle first. I got two of them. The more work I have to do to find a second bottle, the less of a chance it is I'm going to look for it. I know where it is. Give me a second. Has Tevin been covering Dave more lately? I used to watch all this shit like four years ago. It's a mixed bag. But no, not technically no. He did his closet cleaning stream and I watched that and I'm watching this and I'm going to watch his next closet cleaning stream. But besides that, I I, I can't really promise anything else. Because I, I was listening to this anyway. But if it wouldn't have been this cringe, I wouldn't have watched it on stream. It hit a certain level of being specifically cringe. But I was like, bro, I gotta watch this on stream. It's so ridiculous. It hit different. You wish. You wish. We was rolling like this every day, pimp. This one's basically empty, but I bought this like three years ago. I bought this maybe a couple of months ago. They changed the formula and everything. It's been that long. I'm going to show you the, the difference in pill size. It's a ton of caffeine powder in one of them. Cause, um, you know, sometimes you don't want the two, the whole 200 milligrams, man. You want like 150. So you pour something out. Know what I'm saying? But look at the difference. This is the old one. And this is the new one. It's the same amount of caffeine. They somehow shrunk it over the course of like three years. And some scientists working behind the scenes. He probably played play Fall Guys all day. He wanted his pills to be smaller. That's what DSP needs to do. I'm not drinking coffee anymore, you guys. I'm taking caffeine pills. He's going to stream like 15 hours. No, he's actually not. He will still clock out on time. He's just going to stay up extra late playing champions. He's going to play champions for like 15 fucking hours if this dude... He don't need to do caffeine pills. He's going to spend so much money. He's going to go bankrupt overnight. He's going to have to do a new bankruptcy like 24 hours later. This is pretty funny, you guys. I think I got trolled again. Uh, some fucking troll idiot stole my identity, and now I have to file for bankruptcy. 
And I'm going to be saying, bro, I watched the stream. You were fucking rolling off caffeine pills and you were playing champions. He's going to say, uh, no. A bunch of fucking idiots say that. And he's going to make this face. This exact face. Grind in a mobile game or whatever it may be. Okay. Do I spend exorbitant amounts of money in mobile games? No, I Does DSP spend exorbitant amounts of money on mobile games? No, he does not. Does he spend a lot of money on mobile games? No, he does not. Now, what does exorbitant mean or a lot mean in DSP's universe? Who knows? I'm boned. I do and I never have. The last time that I actually spent... Look, this is great. He, like, unravels so much towards the end. Amounts of money. We gotta listen to it again. We have to overanalyze everything. Why if I, I'll grind in a mobile game or whatever it may be. Okay. Do I spend exorbitant amounts of money in mobile games? Does he spend exorbitant amounts? No, I do not. No. And I never have. Never have. The last. But what is exorbitant? Like you're basing this not on fact. You're basing this on what you think, what your opinion of it is. Like I could have five dollars and I can say, do I spend a million dollars on mobile mobile games? Uh, no. Well, of course I don't. I have a million dollars. I could have twenty dollars and say, do I spend a lot? A lot could be fifteen, but I'm spending fifteen out of twenty. I'm broke now. I got five dollars to my name because I spent fifteen dollars on some mobile game. Did I spend a lot of money? It's not a lot if I tell you it ain't a lot. It's not a lot of money, man. And you ask me how much I really spent, I'm like, shit, it was like fifteen dollars. And you're like, damn, that ain't that much. But then I'm like, well, I only had twenty. And I had to do a begging stream the next day, and Derek showed up. Last time that I actually spent a good amount of money in a Derek game, didn't tip. And this is me being truthful with all of you. <laughs> Look, this is him being truthful. Look at this truthful guy. We're gonna zoom in on this truthful guy. Now oh, I forgot to like unpause the recording. We're recording again. If you missed anything. From the archive, we're looking at Dark Side Phil. Uh, show his truthful side as I have hiccups. This is him being truthful. And this is the face he makes, and this is the hand sign he does when he's being truthful. He looks up at the guy. It's bigger than the guy. This is very specific, but it's one of those things I get annoyed about, like behind the scenes, and I don't talk about it on stream. Because DSP fucking do cringy ass pre streams literally every day. But he went on one day about how it's not in his Catholic beliefs to do charity and then talk about the charity. And I had so many thoughts pop up in my head when I heard that. And so many organizations and so many things and so many people. But one of the main things I thought about is such a simple one. This dude say swear to god and he's swearing to god so many times even when it comes to stupid shit like i swear to god i don't play these mobile games that type of shit and i'm like bro how are you trying to hide behind being a catholic i'm, I'm a catholic so i don't talk about charity publicly but you're saying you swear to god when it comes to some goofy corny shit that's fucking irrelevant huh i i, I feel like Swearing to God as a Catholic person should be a serious thing, right? I don't know. I'm not fucking Catholic, but I feel like swearing to God would actually like mean something or maybe it's something you shouldn't do to begin with, especially if you want to say you don't do something because of your Catholic religion or upbringing or you do do something because of it. Saying you swear to God on anything seems a little sus. Isn't that like using his name in vain? Oh, I swear to God, I don't play WWE champions. Wow. I don't think God believe you, but I'm glad you lied to him. This is the Catholic guy. Big Catholic guy. He can't talk about public charity because he's Catholic, but he constantly swears to God. Really? Come on, man. The last time I swear, like... I'm not going to go into religion, but you know, I'm not that religion. But the last time I swear to God was a long ass time ago. I don't fucking do that. It's literally worthless, to be honest. But 
I feel like if you use being Catholic as an excuse to not do something, you should also not say you swear to God. But I don't know. I don't fucking know. Because I'm not Catholic. But you get what I'm trying to get at. You get the point I'm making. And he might have did it in this. I'm going to assume he didn't, but he might He might have. I don't know. He say he swear to God a lot. And he say it about more and more worthless shit every time he do it. And I'm like, wait. Huh? Catholic guy. I know you don't really care about being Catholic, but you also bring up that you're Catholic when it come to people asking you about doing charity. Because Catholic, Catholic people and religious people don't talk about charity. Right. Right. We're going to just move Actually, on. I'm not going to say anything else about that. Battle. When I really wanted this particular game, I'll grind no the battle. game or whatever it may be. Okay. Pay attention. So We're getting some suspicious money, lore. No, I do not. And I never have. The last time that I actually spent a good amount Do I spend exorbitant amounts of money on games? Mobile games? No, I do not. The last time I spent money. So was it exorbitant? What is exorbitant? 20 grand? Five? Ten? Couple hundred? Who knows? Amount of money in a mobile game. Look at him. Look at his face. This is his face when he talks about anything honestly. This is the face he makes this is me. when he talks about stuff honestly. The last 10 years. You can watch videos from DSP when I first started making fun of him. That wasn't 10 years ago, but you get the point. You can watch fucking DSP videos from 7 years ago, 8 years ago, 9 years ago, 5 years ago, 4 years ago, 3 years ago, 2 years ago, 6 months ago, yesterday. And he looks at the sky, and he makes this face, and he reaches and flails, and you're supposed to believe him. And it's not very believable. Being truthful with all of you. He's being truthful. Look at his face and look at his eyes. This entire time. Go out of your way to pay attention to his face and his eyes and his hands. This entire time. Yes, I this is a dude being truthful. And this is somebody that's been talking to a camera and in front of a camera longer than all of us. Consistently. And he still can't do it. I wonder why. Yeah. All right. This is where it starts. Look at him. I'll tell you, more than one. I play more than one mobile game casually in my free time, which is not a lot, <laughs> but every once in a while, a little bit of time He just to flies away, away more and more every time he makes you know, a statement. Relaxing with my wife. And, and the next thing you know, he's in a different dimension. Relaxing with his wife. When he's relaxing with his wife, he's playing mobile games. Bro, before this dude got married, I talked about this in the beginning of the stream. Before this dude got married, he went out of his way to say he's not going to play mobile games anymore. I'm getting married, you guys. I'm not going to waste money and time on fucking stupid mobile games. It's not exactly what he said, but that's pretty much what he said. But now he's playing them when he's hanging out with his wife. How boring is this bitch? If you're willing to play fucking super card champions, that's stupid shit. Jesus Christ. I know Kat's fucking boring, bro, but she not that boring. Uh, I like how it's just called Super Jam in my mind. I pig noses myself in the thing and it's this. Uh, we need gameplay of it. I like how DSP is one of the top searches because who's really searching fucking WWE champions? Andrick Maximus just resubbed for one This is our guy. All right, guys. So welcome back to the channel so for some more W. Because DSP is so quiet. Okay. Go through right now of the graphics look pretty sweet. Moves leveled up. Wow. So let's move back. Or actually. Pretty All right, cool right stuff, side of the screen. Cool this is champion and gameplay. As as I can tell, yeah, she looks pretty good. I know. Not she got bad. recruited. We need some gameplay, some raw gameplay. That's, that's I think he's just like opening me. packs. This is what DSP do when he's next to Cat. He just open card packs. Yeah, I got a six star Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Will I find gameplay of this stupid shit? It exists. This is it. This is it. This is the gameplay. This is what DSP is doing. Instead of playing real games, quote unquote, with his fans. He's doing this. He's getting gym damage and Triple H is showing you up. Take a sip. You got three chances to deal enough damage. It's like the tutorial. Yeah, it actually is. Now, I love me some match threes, pimp, but I ain't playing them on a the phone. I'd never play phone games. I hate phone games. I barely even use my phone as is. Yeah, it's just a match three game. Um, you're matching something. I don't know how much. I'm going to guess it's three. 
It's a very specific in match three game. With really, really lame gameplay. And this is what DSP has like half ruined his life plan. He can't even tell you about the wrestlers on TV. Not because he don't watch it, but because they're fucking uninteresting and lame. And he probably still watch it. And he's scared to admit that he watch it because this game? I don't know, man. I don't know. But modern wrestling is not interesting. I have no idea why DSP tricked himself into playing this game. But according to him, he don't. Yeah, sure. According to him, a lot of things. According to him, I should be in jail. So, you know? <laughs> Who fucking cares what he say? If you pay too much attention to DSP, you're gonna be like Derek. You wanna be like Derek? You're gonna end up in a cell next to him. Next to DSP. What you in here for, stupid shit? That's the professional answer. Oh man, you didn't even see the game the whole way. I'm so sad. You've been missing out on half the gameplay. We weren't uh, fully zoomed in or zoomed out. This is it. This is the real gameplay. Now you can see the whole screen. <sighs> Select them gems, pimp. He's doing this when he's sitting next, sitting next to his supermodel wife. He's watching wrestlers he don't like play in a video game with bad gameplay. And he's spending money on it. Shit don't make sense. Maybe maybe it is just the trolls making stuff up. There's no way Phil would play such a bad video game. No way. Right? Right? No, but he told us he did play it. He don't spend a lot of money on it. And he don't, he can't show us his account name. Because if he did that, then we would do something bad. <laughs> we would ruin his account. We would get him banned from wasting money on mobile games. You know what, DSP? I think that would be a good thing. Maybe you can spend your money on drugs and actually have some real fun. Because holy shit, I'd rather be high in a fucking alleyway than play this shit. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm I'd rather actually be strung out in an alleyway. Do I spend exorbitant amounts of money in Do I spend exorbitant games? amounts of money on crack? No, I never have. I, I just buy like dime bags, bro. Chill out. And this is Calm down, bro. Is, I'm being truthful. Only buy dime bags. Would be actually one time when I was playing Dokkan Bath. This shit dumb as fuck and so annoying. And he's still staring at the sky and holding up his hand like he's actually fucking in court. This is me being truthful. What is this? He should have said, I swear to God. With all of you. Then I would believe be him even more, obviously. Actually, one time when I was playing Dokkan Battle. Let's say this again, because I'm just amounts talking over it. Games. No, I do not. Does he, ex does he spend exorbitant amounts? No. I never have. Never have. The last time that I actually spent a good amount of money. Last time he spent a good amount of money was in Dokkan Battle. Which, I don't really believe him. I think that was the time before he spent a lot of money last time. And I mean, what is a lot of money to DSP? And what is a lot of money to DSP in a mobile game? But his name was DSP Gaming in Dokkan Battle. According to him, the last game he spent a good amount of money in. But also according to him, he can't tell us what his account names are in any of these games because people are going to figure stuff out and do something to him. Which makes it sound even more sus. In a mobile game? He might as well just say the chat is full of police. Oh my god, he finally private it. DSP fucking ruined the stream. We gotta wait. Look at this. We were almost done. No! <laughs> no! He just did it. He finally fucking tabbed over. It was me. It was me and one of the person. It was me and one other person watching. No, we got to watch the on demand video. Fuck. No. I stalled too long. I had like 20 minutes left, dude. 20 fucking minutes left. Fuck. Well, I knew he was going to make it private eventually. Game pass. Oh, I'm learning. damn. He's streaming right now. Holy shit. 
Yeah, he actually is. Oh, big ups. We're gonna listen to DSP's pre-stream tonight. This is gonna be very exciting. I like how this segment lasted this long. This is very suspicious to have in stream. Level one podcast, <laughs> yes, right there. It's like he made it private the second this was uploaded. Oh, DSP. So let's see what we name this. Because we know what this whole video was. This entire video was drama. And he named it, what should the member's goal be? Wait, slash final say on mobile BS. Like Alabama? Did DSP get accused of going to mobile Alabama? Because I would fucking deny that too. Who the fuck wants to go to Alabama? I love Alabama. I want to see how much dislikes I got. Six dislikes, five likes. It's pretty chill. And no comments. Well, I mean, if it got them, I can't read them anyway. <sighs> oh, DSP. The guy. Having fun and chilling. Game Pass Exploration. Good evening, everyone. DSP, hi. Let's fucking go. Almost a two hour long pre stream. He was having so much fun. Okay, he's making this face. And what he made, what face he made before this. Okay, I might be able to find it. Yeah, he's still playing music. So we can listen to DSP music while I find a part from the thing. Casually mentioned them over the years. But that's the thing. <laughs> the facts are there, but people don't want to listen to the facts. Instead, they just want to mobile. believe their own bullshit. Okay? I'm not going to say Mobile, no, Alabama. What they're saying. Go fuck bullshit. yourself. They're literally lying constantly. I okay? hate Alabama. Um, so, that's the deal. And I'm just tired of it. Well, all right? Out of if you, this is the wrong layout. I'm not going to ever give you any further information of this because, like I said, it, it just puts me at risk. I can't... I literally cannot go to Costco and broadcast myself at Costco because they would fucking do something fucked up. No. Man, there's a lot left to this, huh? You know, relaxing with my wife. I, I'll grind in a mobile game or whatever it may be. Yeah, it is. People into it. You know? For over a week, it's every day. It's the same spam shit in the chat. And it's nothing. Bruh. To try to cause this drama and keep pushing your fucking narratives that are bullshit. And I'm tired of it. I am. I'm fucking tired of it, man. <clears throat> oh my god. It's just like insane. And now, of course, what they'll do. Here we go. Whoa, Phil. Big expose. Phil admits he plays mobile games, which I've already done in the past. I've already outright said this. But what about the times when Phil said he doesn't play these particular mobile games? Well, let me think about this. That was the last segment. If I'm just trying to have a fucking We get to day, listen to this again. All right? On a stream. I'm trying Pay to attention day, to this. With my audience that doesn't care about this shit that you guys keep talking about because you're losers, right? Maybe I'd say, listen, what's the better option? Sit here and talk about it for half an hour like I just did. Or just say, I don't play mobile games. Fuck this. You know, don't listen to them, right? What's the quicker option? Just what's the quicker option? To lie or not? Say, Fuck it, I don't do it. And then people, all right, now we can stop talking about it today, right? You know, right? I just had enough. I just had enough. I you know? I gotta keep lying. Not the table, Carlos. <laughs> Rather than focus on the fact that Phil is a 14-year-long content creator. He started with the old guys. He's still here today. He has a, an engaged fan base. Yo. He's positive about life these days. Yo. You know what I mean? Everything's so... Yo. Yo. Bring it back one time, you know what I'm saying? So Yo, that bang, you random think? guy, algorithm, one view, let's fucking go. I'm not going to give him any advertisement. I don't want anybody to show up and be thing. suspicious in his chat. Okay. But one fucking view and YouTube's like, you got to watch this dude. He's playing Yakuza Remastered 4. Holy shit. What the fuck kind of dots connected to make me watch a guy with actually one view? 
Where is he even? Does he even still show up? Bro, he's not even here anymore. I don't even know how I got there. Big ups. So much better. I'm gonna like the video. His fans are engaged. Seven likes now. They have to create this toxic atmosphere and then try to draw other people into it. Holy shit. Yakuza one is Yakuza four remaster is the best game ever. That's why it's being recommended. It's stupidity. It's fucking stupidity. So here, allow me to give you a final summary. All right, and this will be the final summary. He's probably here on his real stream so now at this point. Phil finally addressed it. Well, his okay. night stream. Ladies and gentlemen, do I play mobile games casually? Yes, I do. All right, I'll tell you that more than one. I play more than one mobile game casually in my free time, which is not a lot. But every once in a while, there's a little bit of time to kill, or maybe I'm, you know, relaxing. You don't need a lot of time to spend a lot of money, dude. Game or whatever he noticed, okay. like, literally right, right. by being a streamer. Mobile games. No, I do and not. what's an absorbent have, amount? The last Check. time that I actually spent a good amount of Help. money in a mobile game. And yeah, it's Dokkan Battle. I already looked at Dokkan Battle. Would be actually one time when I was playing Dokkan. Yeah, Battle, one time. I really wanted this particular stupid fucking you know, version of whoever. Of oh, whoever. Or whatever. Yeah. And I was really right. trying to get Piccolo them. Right. Piccolo or whatever. Like, pulling, pulling, pulling. Right. And, and he spent like money pulling, like, pulling, pulling. We're going to pretend like this didn't happen again. Right? Right? Yeah, sure. Actually, one time when I was playing Dokkan Battle. When I you really should have got a physical Bible. Stupid fucking, you know, version of whoever it was. Goku I swear Piccolo on the Bible that I've never them, played I fucking money, pulling, Champions. Pulling, pulling. And, and I like spent an exorbitant like, amount. Like, I've never spent an exorbitant like, amount in WWE what? Champions. Game. You know what, what's funny about that is... Here's the funny know, thing. Years later. What's funny? I went back to try to play Dokkan Battle. Just oh. To see what, what happened. I like, I, like, I like this. I like this. This is like... I'm not trying to accuse him of too much, but, you know... Just like earlier when he was talking about... Um, well, I talked about it because I'm not going to look at this up. I'm not going to look this up. I fucking refuse to, dude. I actually refuse to. Because I'm going to tell you what happened and you have to fucking believe me or you don't. Find it yourself. But uh, he was talking about like when he first was moving in, when Cat was first moving in. He was telling us how he was going to stop playing mobile games. Because he wanted to spend time with his new girlfriend who was moving in. And he didn't want to sit around and play fucking stupid mobile games. That just waste his time. And blah, 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 blah. You know how we talk about mobile games. But listen to him now. And uh, like I was saying back then, people that talk about something like that. It has a big impact on their life. To go out of your way and tell strangers, I'm not going to play a mobile game anymore because my girlfriend is moving in. Just that being a thing lets you know that that mobile game got a lot going on. Like it's got a big impact on that person's life. Just like if somebody will say, I'm getting married, so I'm not going to drink anymore. I'm getting married, so I'm not going to this anymore. I'm moving out, so I'm not going to that anymore. I'm doing this, so I'm not going to that anymore. People don't do that if it's something that's irrelevant or not a big deal. For him to do that with fucking mobile games, that up front lets you know that mobile games is a big fucking deal in his due life. Guys, I'm moving in with my new girlfriend, and I don't want to waste time playing mobile games all day. You get what I mean, right? I don't know. The fact that he did that even... Even that tell you that he know he had a fucking problem, and he didn't fully address it. I didn't but listen to him today. The count's gone, so I guess what happens in Dokkan trying to get them. And I remember I listen to him talk Dokkan about Dokkan battle. battle. When I really so wanted this he game. told us he didn't spend an exorbitant amount of money on mobile games, and then he say, "Well, I spent some money on Dokkan battle." Because I wanted to keep pulling and pulling and pulling. And then he tells us he went back to it to see what would happen. What the fuck you mean to see what would happen? DSP, just tell us you're addicted. Particular stupid fucking. Because acting like this, somebody's going to analyze this way more than I did. And they're going to just say he's a fucking addict. And it sounds like he kind of is, right? Right? You know, version of whoever. Well, you know what I mean? Goku or Piccolo he wanted or a version of whoever. He don't even remember what the fuck it was. He's pretending like he don't remember what it was, but he remember. But he's pretending like he don't. But he spent money and time on it. Like, what is this saying? Does this make you look worse or the game? I didn't even know what the fuck I wanted, but I was spending money and on it. I was it. really trying to get them. I, I was really trying to get them. But he didn't know what it was? He knew what it was. He just don't want to admit to it.
because he know people are going to make fun of him. If he was to say he was trying to get a level seven Piccolo, then level seven Piccolo would be the next thing. Just like level, what is it? Fucking five star Hulk Hogan. And now you got to get a six star Hogan. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. It wasn't a problem, by the way. Pulling, pulling, pulling. I wanted to get whatever. But it wasn't a problem. Like that was like the last time when I was like, this is fucking stupid. Was it like, the last what time? For what? For this game. You know what, what's funny about that is, you know, years later. On battle. What I really yeah, I got my bits on me. Razo Senpai cheer. Is this the last it's time? Best. Razo Senpai, no, you're going to keep pulling, pulling, pulling? the crack and reminisce about whole times. Not smoke it. 500 IQ you know, darts for the logic. Was, Goku or Piccolo or whatever. Listen to him. This is him talking about trying to get a pull. And I was really trying to get them. And I remember I spent money pulling, pulling, pulling. And that was like the last time when I was like, this is fucking stupid. The last time. This is fucking stupid. But wait, there's more. Like, what am I doing? For what? For this game? You know what, what's funny about that? You know what's funny? I actually went back and spent my own money and time on it. That's what's the funny part. Like, actually? That is? That's the funny part. I went back. That is, you know, years later. Yeah, I got my boots on me. I tried to play Dokkan Battle. Frank 3 Castle 1994. Years later. 20 bits. Good night, Frank Castle. Friends. Uh, good night. It's fucking 9-11 PM. Well, for pulling, me. Pulling, pulling. So that's and like, that was like 4 a.m. for you. I was like, this is Don't have too stupid. many pulls, like, man. What am I doing? For what? For this game. You know what, what's funny about that is, you know, years later, I went back to try to play Dokkan Battle just to see what would happen with it. To I see it. what would happen. The account's gone. So I guess what happens in Dokkan Battle is back then, you couldn't even back up your account. And he's mad his account got no deleted. Back it up. Like, you couldn't link it to anything. That's pretty funny. And I didn't play it for a while, and I went to boot it back up. It's gone. It's just gone. Maybe like, they were helping him exist. out. It doesn't tie into anything with my. Like, I want to see how mad he is about it. Anything. So it's just gone. So all that time I spent playing the game, mm -hmm. money that I invested in it mm. years, years ago, like an idiot. Money he invested. Invested is the word he used. Years and years ago, like an idiot. I wonder how much he would have spent if they allowed him to go back. Because remember, he he tried to go back. It's funny that he tried to go back. And all of his money was basically wasted. It's funny. Maybe to other people. It's gone. Just he invested. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> you know? So it's like, wow. Wow. I would definitely keep doing he that. He probably did that claim on like his taxes and said do, it was like a right? video game he was playing. I really right, do think anyway. he claimed some of so, this weird shit on his taxes in his roundabout DSP way. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. Sounds like something smart to do, right? All right, but anyway, so we need some weirdo to tell him about the time when he said he would stop playing mobile games because he was getting married. Not even married, because he was moving in with Cat. And I want to see how he respond to it. The thing is, I, I don't don't even waste your time. Just literally don't do that. But I really, really kind of wish I can get a response on that because it's fucking annoying as hell when some actual like fucking middle-aged dude tell you that he's not going to do something because he's going to live with his girlfriend and then he's like oh yeah of course i do that you fucking idiots i told you i was doing that and i'm like wait but you didn't know you told us you stopped doing that like on purpose you went out of your way way before this is even real drama to say that you're not going to play mobile games anymore just like how we deal with caffeine. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm decaffeinating you guys. I'm not going to drink caffeine anymore because cat, I, I, my, my, my wife, uh, cat, she doesn't want me to like drink caffeine anymore. Fed that shit's all out the window, man. All out the window. All out the window. It's just annoying. I wish he would just not fucking talk about certain stuff. But he has to make everything some kind of discussion. Even if it's not that interesting or if it's kind of cringe. And then you bring it up again and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why are you bringing up me not drinking alcohol? Why do you care? Why are you spying on my life? Well, why the fuck you made me care, dude? I don't fucking want to care about some random asshole drinking alcohol. I don't give a fuck about if you're killing yourself or not killing yourself slowly or fast or whatever. I don't fucking care, dude. You're not my kid. You know? You think Derek care? Derek probably care less than I do. Derek fucking stupid ass. 
We're not going to have a Derek rant, but why the fuck does Derek only talk to DSP and porn stars? Does he not respect anybody? Or does he respect them more than anybody else? I don't even think Derek talked to himself. He probably respect himself more than he respect DSP. Whatever. We're going to take another shot. We can dedicate the shot to questionable activity. And the inside being mango. And the kids not knowing Grinch and understanding the lingo. Uh, we also dedicated to Razzo you Senpai, Greedy Gob, White Guy 0015, Phantom Skull, uh, Supreme, probably said that wrong, Solid Moon 27, Ghost MC, Stargent Solidus, Fevgo, with the tier one, 25 months. I miss January 2020, Phil always saying he doesn't play you mobile games. Yeah, sip. exactly. You take a sip. You know how many fucking restreams I watched? How many LSB streams I watched? With this dude saying he don't play mobile games at all? At all. 2022, he's making this face. I've always played mobile games, you fucking idiots. What? When? <sighs> anyway, 7654321. Uh, super delicious, tangy, and amazing. Kraken. I'm using the wrong keyboard. Kraken. Black Spice Rum. Let's fucking go! Let's you better fucking take a go! Sip. What's the delay on the LSDs? Alright, let's fucking go. 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 Alright. <coughs> Ooh! See? <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm alright. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just this, I don't know, man, but I survived. I made it through. Oh, man. Chat. Help, Chat. That was pretty close to a chat help. Help, Chat. Pretty close. Help. Holy. Chat. Help. I'm drinking cherry Coca-Cola. Next time I do a shot, it's got to be a scam. I got to use this. I think you can see it. Them over the years. But that's the thing. <laughs> the facts are there, but people don't want to listen to the facts. Instead, they just want to believe their own bullshit. Okay? How long is broken no, now, man? Huh? I am not Dude, you've been here all time. the same, all right, as, as what people say about me. I have, No one knows about any of my accounts in any mobile game. No one no, knows about any of his accounts in any no mobile games. Thank this is sus as fuck, too. Like, this, like, some of the things you say is going to make people try more to figure stuff out. And even if they don't figure anything out, the fact that they're trying is going to make his nerves bad. And it's like, I don't know. It just don't come across right. You're being accused of something, and your response is, you don't know about the accounts I'm being accused of doing this on. Bro, you play mobile games all the time. Well, you guys don't know about the accounts I used to play mobile games. That's basically his point. Like, what the fuck? It just... Nah. It, it just did, come you know, off what wrong. The moment they figured them out, they tried to probably cancel the accounts, get me in trouble with the. You know what I mean? They would likely. Like try I to said, it would it would okay? help him so if people got his accounts deleted in these mobile Everything games. Because then he could actually spend time or with his wife. On a nugget of truth. Like, in his oh, weird cat. And maybe he can play, edit his videos and saying, make his OBS work better or something. I don't know. Shit up and make maybe in, you stuff. know what? Maybe instead of relaxing with his wife and playing some mobile games, he could relax with his wife and mess with OBS. Or he could relax with his wife and eat a pussy or something. I don't fucking know. Find a nugget of truth, bro. Out of it so that they have something else to talk about today because there's nothing going on dramatic on my stream today. Yeah, you know this is I mean? the it's dramatic fun. thing. He it's created fun. it. It's chill. It's interesting. Like but I said earlier, if DSP didn't do whatever this segment was, if it was even 30% less suspicious, because a normal DSP is a normal DSP stream is pretty much this. It's very, very sad how generally negative his pre-stream is if you actually pay attention to the content in it. 
But this one was extra special. And he's like, oh, they don't fucking have anything to talk about. It's like, you should have just said I'm giving them something to talk about and left it at that. What they're saying. It's bullshit. He can't they're even ego lying. stroke off of this type of stuff. Okay. Um, and he tried to, but it don't work. Because he's DSP. He just can't do anything right. I don't so, know. I wonder what Derek think about deal, this. I like how Derek doesn't talk during these moments either. We never get Derek's opinion on shit like this. I bet you Derek showed up during a stream that, that's happening tonight. If he's playing fucking Pokemon or some Spongebob game. And he probably told him that he's liking the game or some stupid shit. And I'm like, bro, do you know anything that's happening? Are you just ignoring these weird segments? So you don't get banned? Because you probably get banned everywhere else? I don't know. All right. I wonder who else Derek watch. I'm, I'm not going to ever give you. I hope he gets ignored everywhere else like because said, he deserves it. He should get ignored everywhere. He should literally not, not get any attention to anywhere. He should only get attention to get, get shamed. So, I love Derek. He's fucking that's sucks. Deal, and I'm just tired of it. All right. If you. So I hope I'm his parents say him too. I'm give you any further information of this because like I I'm said. sorry. I've been drinking. I can't. I literally. <laughs> cannot go to Costco and broadcast myself at Costco. This is dumb. He says he can't go to co Costco and broadcast himself at Costco because the trolls, right? The trolls. But he said way earlier in his pre-stream that he can't do that because it's illegal. He can't record himself in a store because it's illegal. And he would get like kicked out or something. I don't fucking know. Whatever the fuck he said. Is that true? Who knows? I don't know. I fucking stream inside a Walmart all the time. What the fuck are they going to do? Kick me out? I'm just go to another Walmart. Jesus Christ, it's not that big of a deal. Could you imagine if I got kicked out of Walmart? That's going to be so, like, super funny. And a bunch of people will clip it. But <sighs> I got to rewind again now. It, it just puts me at risk. I can't. No, no, I, no, no. No, I'm not going to do my fitness journey online because they would do something fucked up with that. I'm sure. No, I'm not going to tell you what mobile games I play. I'm not going to tell you what accounts I have with various different companies. I'm not going to do any of it. I'm not stupid. They will fuck it, try to fuck my life up. So, no, you're not going to get any of that information. All right? But at this point, I have now addressed it. All right? But, um, I mean... Fair enough. That's all you're ever getting. No Big more. ups. We're like, never hearing about it again. I'm not gonna, you know, the mobile game the thing is dead. The next expose, don't tell them about anything. Themselves. They can right go up, fuck themselves. That's all they, they can sexually uh, pleasure themselves. It's funny or meaningful or there's some kind of crazy crusaders for the internet. They can go sexually pleasure themselves because they don't like me playing mobile games and not spending time with my wife. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I I'm might try to do it later tonight. Games I play, I'm not going to tell you what accounts I have with various different I'll make companies. sure to not think I'm about not DSP when I do it. It might they mess the vibe up. It, try to fuck my life up. So no, you're not going to get any of that information. Will I fuck myself right? straight up my point, ass? I have now addressed Probably not. All right? That's all you're ever getting. No more. I'm no more. Bullshit. I'm not going to, you know, don't tell me about the next documentary, the next expose. They can go fuck themselves. Right up their fucking asses. Because that's all they are. They're a bunch of fucking losers. They're that's messed up all they are. It's funny. That doesn't even make sense. Crazy crusaders for the internet. They can go fuck themselves. Let me hear this again. Right. I got it again. That's all you're ever getting. No more. En enough of their bullshit. I'm not going to, you know, don't tell me about the next documentary, the next expose. They can go fuck themselves. Right up their fucking asses. Because that's Ooh, all they are. They're a bunch of fucking losers. What are they, though? They can fuck themselves right up their asses because that's all they are. Dot, dot, dot. A bunch of fucking losers. losers. They're messed up up here. Do losers fuck themselves in the ass? I'm confused about what this means. It's funny or meaningful. There's some kind of crazy crusaders for the internet. They're nuts. Oh, DSP. Anyone who would entertain that shit is fucking nuts. Oh, DSP. Nuts. You're here. You that tip's totally at four dollars though. Was popping at this point. With me. It's okay. You didn't You're do shout out yet. Time with games to enjoy a fun podcast. Why the fuck do you care about shit in my personal life? That's nothing. See, this is the thing though. He says this. Oh, if you care about this, then blah blah blah. blah. No, 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 no. The thing is, if you don't care about it, you still made people care about it pretty much for an hour and a half. Pretty much for an hour and a half. So if you don't care about it, you've listened for an hour and a half to something you don't care about.
if this alleged DSP viewer exists. So, you know? Nothing to do with anything. I don't know what to say. Why? 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 Do you care? Think about that for a Think about Wait it. Wait a minute. Why? Why? You know? If you, you know? Oh, I like this musician. I like, I like this music. musician. Why the fuck do you care about? It's a really, really bad point. I like this musician. Why would you care about what they do behind the scenes? Bro, everybody care about what everybody do behind the scenes, you fucking idiot. It's 2022. DSP fucking should understand this by now. He's been working for a living on the internet since 2011. How is he this fucking stupid? Just like how we can't Google what companies buy and sell stuff in his hometown. He's this fucking dense. It's got to be an act, but it's not. He's just being him. <laughs> Every piece of their personal life, personal life that has nothing to do with anything. He's of just being Why? him. Why? 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 Do you care? Do you care? Think about that for Think one, about second. That for one second. Wait a minute. You know? Why? You know? Oh, I like this musician. I like their music. Why the fuck do you care about every piece of their personal life? Every what is piece. What's wrong with you? That's obsession. I mean, if Solange's a scammer, I wouldn't like her music anymore because she's a fucking scammer. I don't think Solange ever scammed anybody, though. Lil J is a scammer. And you know what? I like Lil J more than I, more than I like DSP. So, I don't know. But he is a scammer. He scammed less than DSP, though. Allegedly. You need help. <laughs> Stop with that shit. Seriously. Stop. Get help. You need it. Okay? You need Stop. He gave us the fucking Michael Jordan meme, but not really. He well, basically yeah, unironically did the Michael Jordan meme. Wrong? And you know he was thinking about it, but he couldn't necessarily connect the dots because you don't really know it. He probably saw it, like, out of context. And it flashed in his head for that second. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Stop it. Go get some help. Yeah, go get some help for your fucking champion's addiction, you obsession. asshole. You need You're help. obsessed with fucking stop bad with mobile shit. games. Seriously, stop. Get help. Seriously, stop. You get some help. Okay? You need it. You need the fucking help. If you're stop playing like mobile games. Crazy about stop it. playing champions. Right. Go, go, go feed your fucking family. I like how we tell us that shit, too. Bro, if this dude... I, I'm just going to say at this point, fuck it. DSP didn't spend any money on WWE motherfucking champions, obviously. Because why would he do that? He has a family. He has a cat and a wife. Why would he spend his money on doing something besides spending time with them? Right? Isn't that the point he tried to make? Now, let's be real here. How many fucking married men wasted their money? own anything besides their wife we really gonna pretend like dsp will make money and spend it on some bitch come on bro come on stop it get some help stop the fucking cap that shit irrelevant as hell yeah we all know like really uh i'm not gonna say really rich dudes but you get the point i'm trying to make we all know really rich guys who are just spending all that money on a woman and, and not them having fun and being rich. Rappers, they waste all their money on their wives. Rappers have wives. Those dudes that make songs about fucking other people bitches, a lot of them got wives. And uh, they obviously spend all of their money on their wife. And they don't buy chains and stupid stuff. Just like DSP, when he spent all his money on Cat. And he didn't buy champions and stupid stuff. Yes. Just like when he had a girlfriend and he was buying trophies and statues, right? Why would he buy trophies and fucking statues? He can just buy stuff for his girlfriend and spend money on his girlfriend. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, his wife, right? I don't really believe that. That's not going to really make me believe you, pimp. To point out that you're married? Nah. I get the, I get the effort, though. I understand the effort. I appreciate it. You got to get help. You got to get help. Yeah, I think you do need some help, pimp. All right. Maybe you can stop lying to Derek. I'm talking about it now. It's over. I'm not addressing it any further. I got it off my chest. Enough Come on, my dog. Shit. All right. You want to keep bringing up nonsense? I already addressed it. Watch You're going to get banned. Level one podcast. Get that August ass banned. August 3rd, 2022. If that's not do you want to play the fucking Holy game? Holy shit, that was loud. Okay. <clears throat> Come on now, dog. Come oh, on, man. End Times re their membership for 14 months. Thank you so much, End Times, for that. I appreciate that. That's it. Uh, okay. See you next month, bitch. 
Here we go. <laughs> Captain Wiseman did a super J. He says, you know what will give you support? Admitting you have a gambling... I love how, like, actual DSP fans get no real reaction to any amount of support. It could be 100 It could be $5. It could be a 20-month resub. It really don't matter. You only get a response if you talk about something that he don't want to talk about. And then he's going to respond. You can say you're a fan for 20 years. You can say you're a fan for two months. This shit don't hit the same, dude. You tell him that you watched him play Super Champions on Tevin's channel and he's going to talk about it for 30 minutes. And you know what? Some people, all they want is to get some fucking asshole to talk about him for 30 minutes or respond, for the, respond to them for 30 minutes. And man, DSP have a lot of those. And then Derek show up and Derek says it's sunny outside and I'm watching your stream. And he says, oh, Derek is here. And Derek says it's sunny outside and he's watching my stream. Thank you for showing up, Derek. And everybody else is like, what? I gave this dude like $1,000 and he don't talk to me. Why the fuck is he talking to Derek? A dude who robbed his parents to give money to DSP. And a dude who asked community members to give money to DSP. A pitiful fucking person. This is turning to me shitting on Derek again. It's okay, he's over 18 now. Problem in getting to me and all my homies fucking hate Derek, bro. He's actually so trash. <laughs> he's so trash. Jesus, can we cancel Derek from DSP's fan base? Can we make DSP ban Derek? Fuck. Yeah. When I have problems, I admit them. I've told you, I used to be an alcoholic. I've out oh, I'm so glad I stuck around. This part pissed me off when I first heard it. This part is the this this part like made it really hit different. Holy, this dude is so disgusting, so fucking disgusting and Why greasy and slimy. Chances? You know what will give you support? Admitting you have a gambling problem and getting to rehab. I don't think he got a gambling problem. I just think he got a wasting money on a dumb thing problem. He can waste money on perks and it would be more worth it. He could have more fun off perks. When I have problems, I admit But it, it is I what it is. You. When I have problems, I admit them. I used to be an alcoholic. I told you I used to be an alcoholic. Bro, he told us he used to be an alcoholic fucking 10 years after the fact. So is he going to tell us he used to be addicted to champions 10 years from now? Because he didn't tell us he was an alcoholic when he was an alcoholic. If you don't know who DSP is, you would actually think that this dude, like, not came out as an alcoholic. I can't give him the right word. But you would actually think he came out as an alcoholic, right? That's what you would think. And that didn't happen. It just didn't. It just didn't. Bro, I watched those old, old, old DSP videos. And if anything, he would tell you that he wasn't drinking at all. This alcoholism shit is super recent. When he talked about Jaha beating them up and basically said that he told them he was an alcoholic to not get beat up. And now... He makes that into him saying that he was an alcoholic since day one. Like, no, you didn't say you were an alcoholic in 2008, dude. Because according to DSP and DSP's own story on his own issues, he was an alcoholic basically before we even fucking knew who he was. So how did he tell us he was an alcoholic? Because he fucking didn't. I'm going to listen to this again. Now, to overanalyze it some more. times re-up their membership for 14 months. Because it's really, so really lame. I, I it's really, really hate uh, this okay. part. <laughs> Here we go. Captain Wiseman did a super chat. He says, you know what will give you support? Admitting you have a gambling problem and getting to rehab. Big leg slap. When I have problems, I admit them. When I have problems, I admit them. What fucking problem DSP had that he admitted while he had it? Because that alcoholic shit, he tell us that that was in the past. He basically told us he was an alcoholic 15 years ago. He didn't say he was an alcoholic two months ago. He didn't say he was an alcoholic now. And he's pretending like he did. Like I say, if you watching this out of context as a random like guy, you're going to think, damn, DSP admitted to being an alcoholic on his stream. Oh, shit. This dude fucking real as hell. That shit didn't happen. Oh, it literally didn't happen. I've told you I used to be an alcoholic. It just didn't happen. Him saying he was an alcoholic was during some random fucking stream when he talked about some dude beating him up and he basically told the guy that was about to beat him up that he's an alcoholic.
That's how he, that's him saying he's an alcoholic. Don't beat me up. I'm an alcoholic. You better take a step. How can somebody be so pitiful? Like, unironically, this pitiful. This is unbelievable. It's like, if I was to actually fucking explain how pitiful this dude is, I might get banned. And you know what? Getting banned for DSP actually isn't worth it. You know how people will be like, oh, that shit ain't worth it, bro. Getting banned for DSP actually isn't worth it on any website because he's fucking garbage. The people that like him don't even like him. And the people that do like him are weirdos like Derek. You think Derek actually liked DSP? I don't think he do. I really don't think he do. I think Derek is some kind of other type of person, but I don't think Derek likes DSP. I think Derek is just fucking Derek. And I really hope he go away one day. I oh, mean, uh, in in a positive way, like he just stopped watching DSP. I used to have major, I used but to have he fucking rage sucks. Rage and emotion in my life, and I used to be an alcoholic. <laughs> I gotta not so shit on Derek television. every day. All right, we- but uh, man, I fucking hate Derek. He sucks. <laughs> Here we go, Captain Wiseman. He blows. Super J says, "You know what will give you support? Admitting you have a gambling problem and getting to rehab." When I have problems, I admit them. I've told you I used to be an alcoholic. I've outright admitted this on streams. I used to have major. I used to have problems with rage and emotion in my life. And I used to be an alcoholic. He still have problems with rage and emotion. And you know what? In reality, what is a problem with rage and emotion? Who are we basing this on? Himself? What he think? Because this dude's an alcoholic. I can't trust his judgment. Bleh. If I have these problems, I'll admit them. All right? Nah. Nah. What what problem has DSP admitted to having in the last 15 years? He's been on the internet for 15 years. What problem has he admitted to having? He never called his streams bad. He never said that he raged too much. He never really did anything criticizing himself. Never. And the only time he did, and I'm kind of doing what he would do by saying that something never happened, and the only time it happened, which is basically going against what you said. But the only time he kind of did that was if somebody did it before him. Like, oh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That type of shit. But this dude never criticized his own stream for real. And he never criticized himself for real. He only do it in weird ways to get out of stuff. He called himself an alcoholic so people wouldn't shit on him. And so he wouldn't get beat up in real life. And you know what? The thing is, if he is a real alcoholic, right? If he actually has a problem with drinking or if he had a problem with drinking i ain't gonna take him serious and a lot of other people ain't gonna take him serious because he used it to get out of like weird situations how much of a fucking drunk are you if you can tell somebody bro i'm a fucking alcoholic so you shouldn't beat me up because my uh thoughts are augmented by the alcohol and i'm really an alcoholic like fuck that shit bro if you such a fucking alcoholic, you shouldn't fucking talk when you drunk, bitch. You're going to get your ass beat. Shut the fuck up. Right? Right? That's how I'm going to fucking you feel. Take a sip. He's augmented by alcohol. It's like, I couldn't think of another one. But this shit's so lame, dude. It's so lame. Holy shit. His, like, alcoholism excuse is so fucking lame. I, I, like, I want to say more about it. But I don't want to get in trouble for this clown. But if I saw him in an alleyway and he was telling me, I don't beat me up, I'm an alcoholic. Bro, I'm going to find more people what to fucking help. Is fucking fabricated what you're saying is bullshit. fabricated it's bullshit. Not it's not, not real. Fess up I agree. Narrative you're stupid what I just bullshit. said isn't real. <clears throat> I was just role playing. <clears throat> Let me clip my throat in a microphone. Okay. Let me purposely and do I'm it in a microphone. I'm going to let you listen to it again. I'm going to mute myself too. fucking narrative because you're stupid and you believe it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you like that show of dom dominance right there? Narrative. You fucking idiot. You're stupid and you believe You're it. stupid and you believe anything. Okay. What a fun see. guy. An anonymous dollar for these Remember that clip? Somebody clipped it too. This dude was leaning in his closet and he turned his fucking head to Bert. You're speaking truth. I can find a clip. We're going to find a clip. Fuck it. Who cares? Uh, if you don't like this stream, I'm going to tell you that I don't play mobile games. So you're a fucking idiot. Get rolled. 
Almighty Frogger. I think I was clipping by accident. Yeah, I did. I legit clipped by accident in Frogger's chat because I was mashing on my phone when I was in Walmart. I think I'll be able to find this. Damn, I wish people named their clips. Found it. Because it was named. Let's fucking go. Six, six, this five, is... two cheer. <laughs> 25 bits. Okay. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great clip. Maybe one day I'll have a YouTube channel. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at him. He's so far away. And it goes through. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a this lame is the most DSP clip, dude. Unique burp DSP's ever given us. <laughs> Cause he's leaning away. He's so far away. He could have just burped into the ground. I like me following Yoshi. I gotta from watch the past. slow motion. Just mute the fucking stream. Just mute the stream for the next fifty seconds. For the next this is seconds. embarrassing. I can't even say it's embarrassing. Seconds. It's so purpose. Seconds. Dude, the fucking it's stream. no Just way you can say this is an accident. This is the most on purpose, on stream <laughs> burp I've ever seen for in my life. Seconds. Uh, <laughs> for the next 50 seconds. Uh, my God. Really? Yeah, I got my bits on me. Feels bad, man, or sad day might be the crying clip. Oh, it We're is. a little bit behind, too. I didn't even notice. I'm a few I'm glad that these Six have names. Six minutes behind. Because no. people do clips and they don't well, name them. Just, just have and I understand. Just have them. Because it's effort. Thanks, T. One day I'll delete a bunch of this clips. I still have to do a clip cry. deleting stream. Like Look at man. his face. He and he's banning him. someone with that face. No. Thanks, no. This is worse than the other cry. No. He's banning somebody like mid band. Mid cry. It's very specific. That was the kind of guy that he was. That was the kind of guy. Like the night Just he take the toys. Die. Take the toys, Phil. They're yours, pimp. That shit oh. yours. T, one day it was DSP and T, and they were in the trap house. It was a hundred, hundred thousand dollars worth of money around them. Worth of money, you see. It was all dollar bills. Because, no, it was all dollar thirties. It was a dollar and thirty cents tape to it, so they could send a tip. <laughs> and T, T was like, this shit yours, bro. And DSP, he made that face. Membership bomb because of it. Damn, I wonder what the chat. And he said, "You know what? Thank you for the positive contribution. I remember you." He forgot his name the next day. I'm so sad. I'm behind six minutes now. Because he passed away. Wait, yeah. He was murdered. I couldn't have. He was murdered. You know, everyone in Connecticut. Everyone in Connecticut. We were all, you know. You better take. They made T Town. They gave him his own neighborhood. It's like you when know. Tuga died. Yeah, <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Tuga. Uh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Tuga, bro. That's how I feel every time I okay. think about it. On folks. I wanted it so fucking bad. I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> Why the guys have to go out like that, bro? Why you have to be lacking, bro? Man, that shit bogus as hell. Damn, DSP, why you have to be lacking like that, bro? You're so fucking trash, dude. Fuck. <laughs> What's the crying clip? <laughs> no. Did I skip past it? Okay. You fucking suck, T. So fucking bad. So you better hope I don't pop up wherever he at. I'm gonna pull up on him in the afterlife. Why you make DSP cry, bro? You gonna say, whoop? You don't even know who he is! Oh. God damn it. Well, that was the crying segment. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna finish watching this.
Really? He's the one time he's been about uh, eating sushi see if, at a strip There's mall. no way he said anything Judy interesting Farms in his pre-stream that happened tonight. Of the strip but I'm listening to it anyway. Within Let's see here. An anonymous dollar for the YouTuber says you're speaking truth. Really? He's the one time you spoke about eating sushi at a strip mall. Kiwi Farms immediately found the location of the strip mall within minutes. I mean, it probably did happen. I wouldn't know. I'm nah, he know. Over there. He probably Trust made me, the, the threat. Times I've been over there because people are like, Phil, you got to go over there because there's real bad shit about you and your family over you there. You better take a sip. The few times, it's like, it's literally like. This shit's so weird to me, man. When he tell us that people that like him tell him to go out of his way to look up stuff that is like negative about him. And I get it, right? You can pretend like it's important enough to look at, but I think technically it never is. I don't know. I feel like if if I'm a nice guy and I make positive content, somebody that like me and they like me as a content creator, they wouldn't tell me to go out of my way to look up somebody basically hating on me. R right? That sounds like a little a little bit of trolling, you know? That sounds like some shit that somebody that wouldn't like me would do. Yo, bro, you got to fucking check this shit out with a bunch of people shitting on you. What the fuck you mean, dude? Why you want me to look at people shitting on me? What the fuck? Who are you? Are you a fit? Are you a hater? It's not like a hater, bro. You're huh? jumping in a toilet full of turds. And, and we get some poo. Liquid shit. And you're just completely immersed in it. It's, it's fucking gross being over there. It really is. So. Gross. It's I'm pretty gross over, watching I, the I DSP believe, stream. I believe you. And Kiwi phones don't confirm. ask me for money. Let's put it that way. Uh, an anonymous two dollar tipper says, "Did you see the at least not yet. direct from today? No. Uh, new information on Scarlet and Violet. I have not <laughs> this dude's it. like, yo, DSP, you care about video games? Uh, no. I watched this Pokemon thing on Dingus stream. It was so depressing. Dingus fucking hates Pokemon. I don't know why. He explained it. Don't care because I didn't watch it, and I don't want him to explain it again. But he fucking hates Pokemon. It was such a vibe kill when I watched the Pokemon trail on his stream. I was so depressed after." Only was me blade to I was gonna make a Pokemon TV forms threat. Confirm. Let's put it that way. I changed my mind at the uh, last minute. two dollar tipper says, "Did you see the Pokemon Direct from today? Uh, new information on Scarlet and Violet. I have not seen information from the Pokemon Direct this morning." I'm, and I'm fucking good. Frank Castle bitch ass was hating on it. Like, bro, you can't even fucking afford a Nintendo Switch. Get your broke ass That's out of here. Okay. Yeah. Only was me blade to me two dollars. <laughs> okay, not the biggest. We already had. Uh, Nico earlier. Says, Would you play Smash or Street Fighter Five? I know you say they're dead games. Isn't that technically? I think GPM actually do got a switch though. He was playing SMT Five, right? I'm pretty sure he got one. I'm just being extra. I'm just being extra. But like, okay, my official of opinion of the Pokemon trailer. I'm probably not gonna get the game, but it do look better than the last Pokemon game. But I think the last Pokemon game was purposely different like you caught a bunch of them and i don't know man the last pokemon game i really don't understand what people was doing i just remember reading people experiences on it and it was like yo i caught like 80 fucking this and that and i'm like why the fuck you caught 80 of them what i don't even want to catch one and you running around like throwing balls at everything and shit weird man that's not a real pokemon in a new bundle no it's not a matter that they're dead games it's a matter that to play them, I would have to play them a lot to get back to any kind of comp competitive. So basically, my There's point is that I think the new Pokemon game looked better than the last Pokemon game, but that doesn't really mean much because you probably think the last Pokemon game wasn't that good. Between just play Street Fighter Five, okay? I turn it on, I play for an hour, lose a million times. Are we gonna beg? A couple wins, and that's it. What was the point? What was the point? What you want me to do is learn Street Fighter Five, so when I play it. Bro, Street Fighter Five is a six-year-old game, right? Just want to see me this game is like actually ancient. Street Fighter Five, in my opinion, is considered an old game, especially because it's a game that you can play online. You could have learned how to play it five years ago, and if you learned how to play it really, really good, I like Street Fighter Five. Uh, what is it? San Fernandino Valley OG. Uh, wink. Somebody know what that means. Somebody know what that mean. P fan watching. February 4th, 2020. Go fuck yourself. No, really, I mean that. You pissed me off. I'm actually annoyed about that, that I read that fucking fake shitty information. February fucking 2020. 
My God, they're talking about like the last version of the game or something. I'm so annoyed about it. That game came out in 2015, bro. Go fuck yourself. It came out in like 2015. Street Fighter Five, old as fuck. If you, oh, I like this, musician. this dude could have learned how to play CS:GO or something. He could have learned how to play every game that exists in the last six years. You have to play this fucking like shitty ass game. Why the fuck do you care about every Street Fighter Five? Boring life? as fuck. I don't want to talk what about it. What's wrong with you? That's obsession. <laughs> I looked you at it help. too many times. Stop with that shit. Serious. You, That's I why I'm not going to watch Evo. I told you I used to be an alcoholic. Yeah, I watched Evo when I was an alcoholic. I, I make better choices with my life now. And it was on topic of what we were talking about. How am I about. so far behind? I had enough of their bullshit and I said, let's just fucking get it out of the way. And I did. Okay, now I got to go back. Because now he's explaining why he talked it. about troll point. shit. What you want me to do is learn Street Fighter V so when I play it, there's actually good gameplay there and interesting insight. Hmm. You just want to see me turn on a game and lose, lose, lose. So I don't even understand anything in it. DSP right? Street Fighter came out like half a decade ago. You could have learned how to play since then. You could have played it against your wife. Right? But no, that's why I don't play those games. It takes too much time. It's to mad cringe that him and Cat don't, don't play fighting, fighting games together. About this in the past. She hates like, him more than his actual Cat do. Study. You have to lab. You have to memorize. You have to research. You have to practice. You see? Yeah. Jesse, how much you uh, studied oh, Street Fighter V? Lies about mobile games. Studied. You expose yourself in a video with Jasper right. the other week. You're a fucking idiot. I just You're a fucking you idiot if you're studying you Street Fighter V. Study some bitches, bro. Why are you talking about Study it? some because bitches. Did a super chat about it. And Jesus it Christ. We were talking about, and I, had enough of their I don't even want to pretend that Street Fighter V is that important or that deep of a game. This dude's off so many fucking drugs. Holy. He is an idiot. Just pick Aramika and fucking yeah, mash in the corner. Uh, Stop being weird, man. You're being actually cringe when you talk about that fucking game. Just don't even talk about it anymore. Pretend like Street Fighter V don't exist. You know how, you know, bro, 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 bro. And I know he would say, oh my god, you guys, I'm a fucking competitive fighting game player. And all that stupid shit. But it's merch. I got way more time in Street Fighter V than he do. How often do I talk about Street Fighter V? When I'm not playing this fucking stupid game, I'm not talking about it. DSP definitely don't have 1300 hours. He don't even have 500 hours. He don't even know how to do crush counter combos. He factually never learned any crush counter combos. Basically, the main thing you need to learn how to fucking do if you want to win in the game consistently. So him talking about it is irrelevant because he's trash at it and he don't know anything about it. And he will say, well, I don't know anything about it because it's a bad game. Do you know anything about your fucking wife? Probably not, for the same fucking reasons. I'm sorry, I'm being toxic. This is almost done. You know, and you know what someone just said? Drama content What did they say? YouTube. You want to know what the sad fact You want to know what the is? sad part about it is? If YouTube Everybody's getting shit, banned for making fun of me. Drama, unsubstantiated slander, defamation. If they just had balls. Right. And said... If they just banned our everybody? Site, our site is a business website. Oh, yeah? So we want... Business related content. On business here, related no content. Actual shit. Like DSP talking to Derek. People or do you know? If they just put their. We don't down, want just insulting people like DSP. DSP never insults people. He never does a blanket insults. Bro, this dude fucking made a, a Holocaust joke, bro. And of course he would say that was a decade ago or whatever. But uh, it's still a Holocaust joke, bro. Just saying. And actually cleaned up their site. Literally, this would all go away. Overnight. Just saying. Uh, um, the point I'm trying to make is if YouTube cleaned up their site, they would probably get rid of people who make Holocaust Holocaust jokes. I can't even say it right. But you get the point I'm trying to make. They would probably get rid of that guy as opposed to the people who make fun of that guy, even if it was 10 years ago. Me calling him stupid over and over and over is nowhere near as offensive as the actual Holocaust jokes. And I don't care what he say or what anybody else say or what anybody else think. You can go fuck yourself. No, really, I mean that. All the and you can make all the stupid faces you want to. You can make all the stupid faces you want. It's all because they allow... It's all irrelevant. They allow insulting, untrue YouTube shit. also allows Holocaust they jokes. That's why your channel jokes. still exists, DSP. And that's Did why you never got banned, like, suspiciously. Place? Did you know in India, if you do this, you go to jail? Nah, we're not going to India. Fuck India. I don't live in India, and DSP don't live in India either. No way. Sorry for being so toxic, actually, but this shit's um, actually, yeah, like, right. factually like, irrelevant. Actually There's no point in caring about it, thinking about it, talking about it, paying attention to it. We're actually going to move on. 
I don't care what happens in India. He's trying to tell us that people in India go to jail or get incarcerated or something for defam d defaming someone. But it's so much more details to it. And it's not that simple. And it's worthless because he don't live in India and nobody making fun of him live in fucking India. And if he have such a problem with people making fun of him, he should move to India and see how much fun he have there. I don't even know how to do that. Shit's so worthless, bro. I'm just gonna go as far to say he probably wouldn't work with my current setup anyway. You know what? The Holy. What's he? What's he lying about now? Mobile games? Um, but I would have to look into it. There's no way. Okay, I know what this part is, and I'm not gonna rewind. I watch him listen to it. Uh, watch him say it and listen to it. Some dude was like, "Yo, would you play mobile games on a stream?" And his response is basically, he don't know how to do it. Of course, it's easy as fuck to play mobile games on the stream. There's so many apps that you can stream from. There's so many ways you can capture a phone. DSP figured out how to capture phones. He had an iPad capture set up like actually 10 years ago. And he did a whole video dedicated to it. And he pretends like he didn't do that. In 2022, he pretend like he didn't do it. And he say, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to stream from my phone. You already did it, dude. DSP at one point in time was planning on making mobile game, mobile game content. When people was playing fucking Mortal Kombat or some stupid shit on their phone, he wanted to gravy train it. And he didn't do it because he's lazy. And now he's pretending 10 years later that he don't know how to fucking capture a phone. And then he pretends that if he figured out how to do it, he will go through with it. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, you told us you wouldn't stream off a of 3DS. Because if he streamed off a of 3DS, you, you can see me, right? Yeah. If he streamed off a of 3DS, he would be looking down like this. So it wouldn't be interesting. But he's trying to tell us he would stream off his fucking phone. What the fuck would that be? Him looking down like this. That shit never going to happen, man. It don't matter what games come out on the phone. I don't know why. He, like, I'm not saying he lied to people. He's just like misdirecting people. I don't know. It's annoying. But it's something that people do to keep people watching. Oh, you going to play this? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. Uh, if people want to see it. Yeah, six months later, they're asking for the same fucking game. You're basically just wasting that time. And DSP has less of a right to waste anybody's time than any other person in the fucking world. I feel bad for anybody. That gets their time wasted by DSP and isn't making content, basically fucking making fun of them. If you're wasting money, wasting time and not making fun of them, not laughing at them, holy shit. And if you missed, if you were missing, I'd rather drink a bunch of Coca Cola's or do really something. Missing, Just I'm do like anything. Year style experience. Game if of the year. What's he hyping game, up? Then likely, yes, I would probably try. Oh, if a mobile game was the game of the year, then he would try mobile streaming. Bro, okay. To find a way. <laughs> game of the game. year on phones. This is like actually never gonna happen because no one's gonna allow it. No one's gonna allow it to happen. A game of the year on phones. Know how to how to capture like from a phone? I don't. I'm sure he don't know how to capture from a phone, even though he did it before. He's done it before, and. This dude makes his living on the internet. Why does he act like he doesn't know how technology works? Dude, if you don't know how to do something, you can just fucking Google it, dude. Like, what the fuck? Why are you being so dumb? There's no point. Does he want Derek to look this up? Bro, this is probably not the right thing, but holy shit, you got Amazon, you got Prime. Fucking keep looking, dude. When you're playing WWE Champions, instead of playing Champions, install an Amazon app. And spend that $20, that $30, that $40, that $50, that $100 on pools, instead of spending that on pools, spend $30 on a fucking HDMI capture. Spend $50 on a, a, a classic console HDMI capture and you can stream from the fucking Sega Genesis or something. You can actually figure something out to make your stupid fucking streams better. And then maybe you'll stop getting weird layouts made by people that are pretending to be 15 year olds. And you have shit that look like this.
fucking Ryu standing on top of a building. And then you got Mega Man here. This dude ain't playing a Mega Man game in like three fucking years. Come on, man. That money, that money he's spending on whatever mobile game he's playing because he don't spend a lot of money. He's just spending some money. Okay, whatever money he's spending, find some fucking asshole on Fiverr and get him to make a layout for you. Learn how to make your own layouts. Maybe you can come up with an actual color scheme. Maybe, maybe after 15 years, maybe the 15th year anniversary for DSP, he can actually have something that's him. That's his. Because nothing for DSP is his. Everything he got is from somebody else. He don't have his own look or style. The only thing that, no, the only thing that DSP got is his style or that's his is his facial hair. And you look at, look at it, look at it. Let's be real here. The only thing holding your identity together is facial hair. And this is the facial hair you got in real life. I think we need to figure something out. Your boy need a logo or a color scheme or something. And this is supposed to be a logo, right? But this isn't a real logo. This is just the shit you click on to go to his YouTube. This dude needs something. I mean, I don't know about need, but he could figure out something. He had 15 fucking years to find a color scheme. He don't even have a color scheme. He don't even have, like, a vibe. After 15 fucking years, what's the vibe of a DSP stream? Some fucking asshole asking you for money? That's the vibe. That's the vibe of a DSP stream. You show up to his stream, you don't expect a certain type of music. You don't expect to see a certain type of colors, a certain type of notifications, a certain type of anything. You just expect some dude to ask you for money. And everything he got is made by a random guy. So nothing matches. Everything. Lose, lose, lose. Lose, lose, lose. It, right? <laughs> What's the point? It's pretty good. What's the point of turning on a game for an hour just to fucking suck at it? He's been around for that long, and right? he still ain't no, doing anything to make it's himself so unique. Time and investment to become competitive Poor in guy. fighting game. I already talked about this in the past. Unlike other games, fighting games you have to like, study, you have to laugh, like, you have to random. I remember in like 2010, 2011, maybe tw maybe 2009, a little bit of 2008. It was this certain time period when rappers like changed how they present present themselves. Like rappers started having logos and shit. Uh, a good one is, I think Mac Miller used to have this like font logo type thing, and it was some shoelaces tied up spelling his name. But I might be wrong about the rapper it was. But like rappers didn't have that type of thing, and they fucking got it. Rappers got basically they got logos or they got a certain way you spell a name or a certain way you write it or a certain way to chain look and all of that shit. Everybody got some kind of something, whether it be a color or a way that the layout might function or like something. You watch the Shinko Flourish stream and he got the glaze shit, right? And you got all of these wiggly colors and it's like a lava lamp and shit. And that dude ain't been around for 15 fucking years. DSP been around for 15 fucking years. And what does he have? Shit made by random people that can't be replicated and shitty layouts. That's unbelievable. Memorize. You have to research. You have to He's been around for 15 See? fucking years and he didn't develop his own aesthetic, his own style, his own look, his own logo. Nothing. And it's so many other people that just naturally find it. Like even Nova. Nova's in the chat right now. Nova just naturally found his aesthetic. You find your aesthetic naturally. You don't know it's your aesthetic. It just happened. DSP can't do that. He can't do it on purpose. No way he's going to do it by accident. He had 15 fucking years. No Brandon, no nothing. Nothing. He gets, he gets random people to make stuff for him. And then when he don't, he asks for random people to make stuff for him. And then he makes shit for him, and it's like red and burgundy and pink and blue and purple. And it, it makes no fucking sense. Because it's what they like. It's their aesthetic, and it's what they want. And he don't have anything to do with it. Bro, he can give somebody $5, and it can make something the way he wanted to be made. Like, jeez, Brian. Jesus Christ, man. 
And he could just learn how to do something. He's had 15 years to learn how to do something. And he's learned how to do nothing. He don't even know how to work OBS. And of course he would say he does because he streams every day, right? But he don't. He fucking don't. He don't. He don't uh, know how to do anything. GSP lies about mobile games to the dollar. And me saying that is being negative as fuck, but that's how I feel. He don't know how to do anything. He's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking dunce. I explained everything. I don't need to say it again. You see? He spent more time. He spent more time hanging out with his wife playing mobile games. If if he spent one night not playing mobile games and fucking around in OBS and being a loser like me and like all other people that actually care about their fucking stupid stream, then he would know how it feel to actually, actually be a content creator, aka doing some shit that people might not give a fuck about the next day. But instead, he plays mobile games and lie about it the next day. Uh, oh, here you go. Do you here you go. About mobile games I'm sorry, I'm being toxic. Oh, I'm gonna stop. yourself in a video with Jasper the other week. I'm done now. Idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Thoughts. Snow Carl to the dollar fifty says, just "Thanks, got Snow here. Carl. I like Snow Carl with the fucking troll right at the end. He's like, you know what? Let me get some more bait. The fish has been biting. Can I get a little bit more? Welcome to the stream, to the Snow Carl. Says, Expose yourself in a video with Jasper the other week. Did you send a dollar fifty? Explained it. You're a dunce. You're a dunce. Snow Carl to the dollar fifty. It was a dollar fifty. Let's fucking go. I just got here. The stream is in an uproar. Why are you talking about this? Because someone did a super chat about it." And it was on topic of what we were talking. They got about. banned, by the I way. Had enough of their bullshit, and I said, let's just fucking get it out of the way. They got and banned. I, now we're done with it. By the way, the I'm person that did the super well, chat is banned. banned. They were banned the before he even responded, okay. and he said right, that they so, should have been banned because they were advertising was, someone else's content. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more right. tips. Thank you guys. <clears throat> even though he told us himself about what is it, week uh, daily wrap, July twenty third. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Daily wrap, July twenty third. It says common DSP win. There you go. Thank you, Zane. These people try to suck him off, and he basically don't respond to them. You know, and you know what? Someone just said drama content is killing YouTube. He responds to negativity. A dude says pretty much DSP, you beat the trolls. He gives them like no response, and then he says, you know what? And then he responds. He double down responses responds to another guy. Who was more negative? This dude's insane. Oh, exactly. Like I said earlier, he can't be positive. If you give him a hundred dollars and say you're super cool, he's still gonna say, and here's the thing: some people don't like me. For some reason, fucking idiots don't like me. He will still do that. He can't be a nice guy or a positive guy, no matter what you give him. It's always going to be negative or it's balanced out. You give him $100 and call him a cool guy. He's going to say, well, fucking idiots think I'm not for some reason. And he's going to feel like he got $0. He's going to end the stream and say, well, we got $100 earlier. But if I didn't get that $100 tip, I would have had like $5. About all this is, What's the fact? If YouTube didn't allow that shit. If YouTube banned everybody. Wait, what? They kind of do, though. Because the copyright system is really chill. They didn't allow. <laughs> if YouTube banned everybody, DSP wouldn't get shit on. Drama. No way. Substantiated slander, defamation. If they just had balls and said. If they have balls to delete website, everybody, that shit on DSP. So Honestly, the person that deserves to get shit on more than anybody else. Maybe like Shane Dawson or something is lamber than him. But I don't fucking watch those dudes. I, some, some, for some fucking godforsaken reason know who DSP is. And he sucks. And he should get made fun of for it. I mean, damn, he still got his YouTube channel. His channel not getting deleted. Jeez, fucking just deal with it, dude. Business related content on here. That you don't want to get made fun of so much. Shit. Play you Metal Gear Solid again. I don't know. Insulting people or do, you know. <laughs> ben Derek. They just put their foot down and actually cleaned up their site. <laughs> if DSP banned Derek, I'm never gonna make fun of him again. Literally, this would all go away overnight. <laughs> all and if he ban him, I'm gonna say I didn't say that. And it's not substantial, not substantial evidence behind it. And then I'm going to call Derek a fucking clown all, all and shit, still make fun of DSP after that. Years, it's all because they allow it. They allow insulting, untrue shit. To be Didn't he insult people during his video? Fucking website. Didn't this he say untrue stuff during his video? What's OK? He said that they, uh, they allow untrue stuff. How is YouTube supposed to know what's true or not?
Come on, man. He's asking too many questions. I'm asking too many questions. Do you guys know what happened in India? Bro, you know how many things I probably can't do in India? It's like, I, I feel so bad basically skipping forward and saying I don't give a fuck about what happens in India. But I actually don't. Because I would probably have a lot of problems if I was in India. I don't know. I don't fucking know what the fuck goes on in India. But I think me, me being almighty Tevin and looking the way I look, maybe I have even more problems in India. I don't fucking know. Fuck well, India. No, not, from the things I've I don't heard. live there. Would there eventually maybe be a game? I live in fucking Louisiana. That would be interesting to play. In India. Play through, maybe? You guys uh, know in India that you can't make fun of DSP because it might be illegal? Uh, obviously, I need a lot more things changed and upgraded. Or something? Up. You know I, I don't know. Like, I don't live do in India. Right um, India. True fans don't believe you so here's the True fans. I wonder what a true DSP fan is, Derek. You can do it right now. Um, the dude they respect them so much to talk to him and porn Here's stars only again like anything malcolm uh oh, malcolm that those guys say is based on a nugget of truth they take this tiny little what's your badge id right? malcolm imagine this imagine you had a tiny little chicken nugget okay really sure, the nugget of truth i like that the nugget of truth turned into an actual chicken nugget because DSP had to steal food analogies from me seven years ago it's, it's actually a real chicken nugget it's he didn't steal it from me right but what they keep Controlling. doing is they take handfuls of sticky breading and they just keep sticking it to the outside. I like that when he does it, it's they, not funny. The truth is still there in the center. This time and he's so massively exaggerated about it. Working on, but they just keep pasting breading on the outside. Now you have a ginormous boulder sized thing. of. And bread. it's a small piece of chicken in the middle. Well, it's real. And a small piece of chicken in the middle of all of the breading is the nugget of truth. But you see the big nugget of breading, and the breading is all fake. The breading is the lies, and the nugget inside of the breading is the truth. But it's like, what's the fucking truth then? Is the truth that you play mobile games and spend money on them? Okay, so what's the nugget of truth about you being a pedophile, bro? I've been wondering what the fuck that shit was about for like five years. He's like, oh my god, people are saying I'm a pedophile. It's a nugget of truth. Like, is the nugget of truth that you dated a young girl? Because you probably shouldn't use this weird fucking stupid word because it make you sound worse. I don't know why he's stuck behind his nugget of truth thing for like actually half a decade. Longer than that. Nugget of truth has been a thing since before I was making fun of this fucking dude. And I don't know why he's stuck behind this. It's so fucking stupid. Because if you don't, if you do like somebody and they say that, oh, this thing's happening and you don't like it, yeah, I don't know, like him spending a bunch of money on mobile games. And he say it's a nugget of truth. So I'm going to think to myself as a random guy who doesn't fully trust DSP, damn, what's the nugget of truth? Is the nugget of truth this? Is the nugget of truth that? What if I find the nugget of truth? And the nugget of truth is good enough for me to believe. Now, I'm a, I'm a hater now. Or I'm not a supporter anymore. And it's his fault. Nugget of truth. This nugget of truth shit's stupid as fuck. There's so many stupid things, Real, DSP. Do. Tiny but uh, yeah, he's pay he's basically making a point I was making. The <laughs> breading is the fake part, yeah. and the chicken is the real part. A little piece of chicken in the middle, where you started, is what was real. But they have all this insane jump, logic jumps, and con and controversial conspiracy shit that's not true. Thanks but they for also, following Solari. E -E. Tiny little thing is real. All of this must be real too. When it's it, you. A logical person doesn't make that jump. Okay, so what is the N-word, DSP? Right? <laughs> Again, I literally told you guys. If I ever see DSP in real life, I'm going to ask him. Um, first of all, my first question is going to be, what's the N-word? And my second question is going to be, are you the guy? Over the years that I did play certain mobile games, but I'm not going to talk about it publicly because all that's going to happen is they're going to use that to hurt me. I admitted this. Multiple huh. times, but it's like I never said it. It's literally like it never <laughs> happened. I never said it. Gotta take a sip. The refreshing sip. Okay, I know. Okay. I want to end the drama too. I think we were almost done with shout outs, right? No, the whole stream was well, like drama. Stream. You didn't do any you shout outs, to be honest. Super J says the goose is loose. The goose they don't know what that means. The loosey goosey. I think the goose is him admitting to playing mobile games, Loki. <laughs> He don't know what the goose is. Mm -mm. 
Okay, how the fuck you spell this dude's name and you don't spell other people's names? That's late, like way less complicated. Man, there's so much bias in his name on a screen yeah, thing. It's Only disgusting. Coffee, when I said I didn't have much to talk about on pre-stream today, it would be a shorter one. Funny how that worked out, right? It never yeah, does. funny how that worked out. You <laughs> it got baited. It never does, okay? You legit just got baited. I'm gonna Gotta turn his AC on. It's getting warmer I like how sun, noticeable it sun, is. Sun it's it's so loud. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're good. I think we covered everything. All right? And uh, I don't think that command was real. It's actually not. Um, Nightbot is factually incorrect. A very brief break. I just got like I use use the restroom very. Quickly. The real command list is on my channel. You Final gotta Fantasy scroll VII. down. Again, I've really enjoyed the Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is uh nah. Why didn't you talk about it for the last hour and a half? If you like it so much. <laughs> In blasting air conditioned air. He complained about the weather, and then he talked about drama for an oh, hour. What a short pre-stream. Well, that's finally Imagine. done.